Join us for two weeks of pure enchantment as we celebrate jewellery maker's 14th birthday in style. Indulge in the allure of our exquisite new gemstone launches, experience the brilliance of our esteemed guest designers and their unparalleled vision and expertise with exclusive masterclasses. And mark your calendars for a special occasion. On the 4th, we're extending our hours, giving you even more time to immerse yourself in the celebration. Embrace the magic and let your creativity sparkle as we toast to 14 years of elegance and innovation on Jewelry Maker. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker, 14 years, of which I've been there 12. Um, it's been wonderful and you're a huge part of our lives. So thank you to everybody. Hey, yeah, you know, yes, yes. Happy birthday, jewelry yeah, makers. Grumpy, you were grumpy, oh dear. Well, thank you, jewelry makers, for all your loyalty. You're I an amazing. I love you. Yeah, we love you. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. We couldn't do it without you. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here and Thomas. You going to say something? No, you're going to think about it. We're both here today to wish Joy Maker the happiest of 14th birthdays. It's going to be an incredible fortnight. We've got an amazing lineup. And all I want to do is get the celebration started. Good morning, Jewelry Makers. How are we all? It's the birthday. Oh, it's our favourite time of the year, officially. Birthday. Jewellery maker shows are always utterly, utterly epic. And, you know, to add to that epicness. <laughs> it's that word, I don't know. Look who we've got with us today. It's the beautiful Deb. Surrounded by balloons. Oh, it's literally like a... Like a Look, like, I really like it. I'm like in the you middle have of an balloons. aura of blue balloons. How, this show, I came in and I went straight to that desk and went... <gasps> I know. This show, woof. I know. Woof. Woof. <laughs> Woof! Have you been watching Bottom? Oh. That is off Bottom, isn't it? Woof! I love Bottom and I like the young ones. And the, my dog's famous. Did you see the, the dog? Oh, Just now. And did you see the little girls? The little Tiggy and Willie. So women? cute. I tried to do one with Clemmy. I'll put it on my Facebook page. The outtakes are hysterical. Yeah, they're funny, aren't they? One, I almost got to the end and then she just went off. She just walked off. She just left. Never walk, work with children and animals. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, they got one take with me. That's amazing. Like, because to be fair, Tiggy, Tiggy's got an attention span. <laughs> so, as you can pull Willow though, she's like this in the oh. background. <laughs> You wanted to get in on the action. Aww. That's a day in the life of Willow and Tiggy, that is, so in, in one clip. Happy birthday, jewellery makers. Can I just say, this is our first um, yeah. birthday show. Thank you to every single one of you for, you know, your friendship, yes. your loyalty. Yeah, you're lovely and you're incredible. They're so loyal, jewellery makers. They really are, are, yeah. And, you know, everybody who always puts lovely comments on my social media, and I, n I notice you every single time, and I thank you, and if I ever miss, miss you and I miss a thank you, it's just because I've missed it. Yeah. Because thank you so much. You are so lovely and supportive. It does mean a huge amount, yeah. doesn't it? And um, yeah, I know it sounds a little bit cliche, but genuinely, it is a family. Yeah. It is a big family. Um, 14 years, you know, and we've evolved, haven't we, yeah. over the oh, years? Yeah. Very much so. Um, here's to another 14, eh, jewellery makers? Uh, uh, uh. We missed the cake, though, so I'm like, slightly gutted about that. Is there cakes knocking about? Yeah, but are they, like, four days old? Because <laughs> if they're four days old, I'm not sure if I want them, because we're not the best at putting them in boxes here uh, at Jewellery Maker. They are in boxes, yes, right? Cake. Okay, I stand corrected. Cake. Because I wouldn't have been surprised if somebody passed me one, it had just been left out for three the days. Side. There you go, Al. You might have to dip it in your tea because it's lost all moisture. <laughs> but, <laughs> but happy birthday. <laughs> oh, birthday biscuits after the fourth day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, guess who's back off his travels again? Dave. Yeah, <laughs> I was more thinking Roscoe. Oh, well, I thought David had been so... Oh, right, I didn't know Ross had... I knew he, he wasn't Ross here. Ross has been away. Oh, he's I'm... been to Hamburg. Have you? Yeah, he's been to Hamburg. He's back. I knew he wasn't up with here. friends. 
is in there somewhere. Can you see? There oh, he is. Yeah, there he is. Th actually. There. Oh. Do you know you almost look like some sort of, like a nineties boy band right there, Ross? <laughs> you do. You know like that? I like the wink. That is really good. Just do some air grab. He's cool, isn't he? He is cool. Um, <laughs> I am the best. There you go. We have got the most amazing Wednesday show for you, Jewelry Maker. Truly, Debs wasn't kidding. When you step into the studio and we see the beautiful display that our lovely Lauren has put out, it is a case of wow, 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 wow. And what you need to remember, Jewelry Makers, is your birthday shows quite literally take a year of planning. A year. Sorry, this was moving and it was just... just, just. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm anxious about balloons at the best of time, let alone moving balloons. Um, anyway, so yeah, a year of planning. Oh yeah, so much work goes into the birthday. Do you want to see the deal of the day? Yeah. So we have wonderful Dave, our other traveller. Sorry, yeah, that's who I thought oh, you Oh, before meant. we look at that, do you want to look at what? Okay, the coming up. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so... Have a little read through, lovely jewellery makers. You've got at... Well, that's funny, isn't it? Mine's different. Um, coming up at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You've got your plastic Ziploc bags. You were saying, oh, they're so handy. Yeah, they're really good ones. Really cool. Yeah, quality ones. Yeah. Um, that come in different sizes as well. So that's your early bird. Take a look, little look on the, um, on the website. Um, they're in item number one. Roscoe, how many have you got? 250 so if you want to stock up on those you absolutely can nine o'clock we have the most exquisite variety of agate honestly um i don't think i've seen anything like it to be truthful breathtaking you've got these Isn't wonderful it? like bullseye patterns inside i mean deb's you're excited about this aren't you <gasps> oh, I, so I opened nice. it up and thought goodness me what's this i've never seen anything like you say like it yeah it's almost almost as nice as peacock angel eye oh right and that's there. me saying that. know, they're quite similar aren't they they are and i made a bracelet can i show you my bracelet beautiful so these are this is the size you know my peacock oh actually i've got it on haven't i there's my peacock angel eye bracelet it has got similarities obviously different colors but do you know what i mean like the specialness of yeah it. did i just make up a word but yes, this is um, this is today, and look, today? look at that. Mm. And every single one, it looks like someone's painted on it. Like every single one, is amazing. So when you get them home, you'll you'll look at it for ages before you decide yeah, what I to bet. do. I bet. Um, we've never had that size before as well, Debs. So that's a that's a launch today. Oh, um, can we just show your beautiful pearl and um, eye agate? necklace because that's absolutely stunning isn't it so these are at nine o'clock and yeah. i will tell you jewelry makers they're surprisingly affordable oh i don't know the price okay. yeah oh surprisingly affordable so that's coming up at nine o'clock um oh yeah says adam <laughs> <laughs> and then peak. at 10 o'clock of course you've got the wonderful dave when we say fireball pearls now i looked at this and i was like okay beautiful we've got an amazing strand no you get all this you get a tea bar of beautiful natural pearls. Now we have 100 available. <gasps> Not a good. lot for what it's going to. It's a true birthday deal, jewelry makers. So you've got, you get everything, five natural strands with your fireball pearls. So they're coming up at 10 o'clock today. Then at 11 o'clock today, lots of birthday deals, amazing birthday deals coming your way. I've got a, right, a lovely selection um, before me. 12 o'clock then, Debs, is your masterclass. Um, Master now again, smitten. I'm completely smitten with your masterclass. This is, even Lauren went, oh, I bet that's difficult, like when I came in. It's not difficult. It's, it's like a spiral uh, rope. Yeah. I call it a shaggy spiral. That is not its name. <laughs> shaggy spiral. Shaggy spiral. Um, and it's repetitive. Yeah. So, and you can really modify it as well with a number of beads as long as you keep them the same. Um, so you can really make it your own as well. So I'll be showing you how to do that. And I've written the instructions as well. So the instructions, you can make the earrings, bracelet, or the necklace with the instructions. Yes. Yeah. So, and they're amazing colours. It's Aww. so happy. It's such a happy project. Beautiful. So that's at 12 o'clock. It's five hours of just 
stunning gemstones don't forget as well we have lots of incentives as well over the birthday so shop over the birthday to win a mystery prize worth over 1400 pounds oh my good including but not limited to diamonds jadeite and one carat of sarite wow i mean seriously for the sarite alone that's amazing um all you have to do is shop over the birthday and that's that's the the 14 day birthday um t's and c's one winner only etc and we'll announce all of that plus we have lots of games and things like that going over the course of each and every single day as always jewelry makers but in particularly today we want to hear from you so do yeah. text in lots and lots and lots of interaction today you've got wheel deals oh do i get to spin the wheel Oh, it's a virtual one, is it? Okay, that's fine. Um, so we've got wheel deals, so lots of incentives today as well. Shall we get cracking? Shall we start with a beautiful, faceted, white opal? Happy birthday, jewelry makers! Yay! There best be cake. I, you know, we will be disappointed if there isn't any cake for us. Just saying. But I don't <laughs> want the four-day-old cake. Who's watching, says Roscoe. <laughs> A natural, pure white opal. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, uh, oh, Ross. He's back. He is back, everybody. <clears throat> Are you ready? Are you ready? No, we didn't have any of these over the weekend. Du -du 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 -du. Spoons. 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 <laughs> Come on, Debs. It's a spoon. Spoons. Oh, my, mine sounded a bit aggressive. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, like good morning birth. is that sandra you're right there debs don't hurt yourself um <laughs> hi beautiful ladies this is going to be a fabulous show it sure is debbie's designs are stunning and l you have me in stitches love you both oh, bless you sandra thank Mwah. You. venetia in west Midlands saying good morning alan deb happy birthday day three looking forward to another fun-filled day with you uh gorgeous dave and the gang he is fairly gorgeous, he's isn't gorgeous, he? He's gorgeous, isn't he? Especially, he is gorgeous. I saw him in a bit more of a James Bond light when I saw him in that VT when he was in the sea. When he was in his swimming trunks. When he was in his yeah. swimming trunks. He was having a Daniel Craig moment. <laughs> he is gorgeous. In not just on the exterior as well, inside he yeah. is. Um, let's bring you some beautiful labradorite, shall we? Here we go. In a beautiful cube. Cube. Amazing cube with a big drill hole. Um, okay. You've got eight carrots. Am I reading that right? It's a pen. It's a, it's a pen. <laughs> I can't do it. It's a pen. You've got to be old Frank Butcher. It's Frank a pen. Butcher. Pe 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 I'm from London. Practice, and I can't pe yeah, you're a Londoner. Think, pen. think. Pe it's pe a pen. Pe 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 pen. <laughs> well done everybody make sure you're checking out your baskets keep those messages coming through we're gonna have fun today um and by the way if you wanted to have that continuity um do you like that i do um continuity then we've got a labradorite sterling silver box glass check this out deb so i think this is a bit of you this so the box clasp is inside your labradorite i've never seen that before it's good isn't it do you know what else is a little bit of you, says Ross? Happy birthday, jewellery makers. We have 65. <gasps> it's a pen. Pen. <laughs> Look, it is getting worse, so we need to change the, the price because... <laughs> okay, do it in Kermit's voice then. Oh, I can't do Kermit. Can't you do it? Okay, do it in Zippy's voice. <laughs> you can do Zippy. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a pad. <laughs> That's very good. What about um, George? George. It's a pound. What about Bungle? Can you do, do Bungle? Um, um, <laughs> Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey. Um, um, I think that your pound is a bit silly. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Why did Bungle wear pajamas to bed, but nothing in the day? Because he was an exhibitionist. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> he always put his pajamas on when he went to bed, <laughs> didn't he, Bungle? Never saw him wearing a single stitch by day, though. What's wrong with you, Bungle? Get dressed. Bungle, get a grip. <laughs> Sold out. Well done, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do? My God, it's briolette. Oh yeah. Oh, I love a briolette. These ones. Who are these? 
Okay, now we can't get them to pound. a pound. Beautiful brulettes. Oh, we were asking about these, Deb. They're not, oh, they're not topaz. What are they? White quartz. Oh, I love Some them. Some of the best white quartz ever. I looked at those this morning. They're you lovely. Did? Beautiful. Can't get them to a pound, says Ross. Okay. But he'll do something pretty good, he says. Okay. Do you pinky promise, Roscoe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good guy, is our Ross. He's very cool. He is very cool. Yeah. Did you know you're cool, Ross? You're cool, Ross. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Four pounds and ninety nine yeah. pence. Adam's not buying that. You don't think Ross is cool? That is quite laid back, aren't you, Ross? He's very quite chill. Chill. Yeah. Chill is the word. Chill. Relaxed to the max. <laughs> I wish I could be relaxed to the max. I'm a bit. Yeah. I don't, I feel like I'm not relaxed to the max enough. Oh, really? Yeah. As you get older, you care less. I like to be, you know when you get to the end of the day and you go, oh, that was a productive day. I like that. Oh, so do I. Yeah, I like being productive. 4 99 That's amazing. That's unbelievable. Yeah, they're lovely. And you get in the box as well, Debs. I love those boxes. They're great for display. Yeah, absolutely. You can put your pieces of jewellery in there. Not even stopping there. It's your first day, four, fifth, first day, <laughs> 14th birthday <laughs> celebrations three pounds i can't do that one in a frank butcher voice though i can't do it it just doesn't roll off the tongue we've got a hundred available jewelry makers lots of you there lucy linda paula should we do a wheel deal oh yes i'm excited because i've not seen this apparently it's a virtual one so i don't actually physically have to spin the wheel although i quite like that yeah. a little bit nostalgic isn't just it just pretend to spin the wheel <clears throat> should we get it started now can you hear me or not yeah, okay. Da, oh, this music's great, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Listen, Ross, every time we have these wheel deals, you kick off with what it lands on. 30% off, four ninety-nine. Just He says, for easier maths, I'm going to take it to 33. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Those wheel deals don't account uh, for our limited math skills, do they? Um, okay. Two pounds. Very, very good. Very good. Two pounds. Da, 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 da. I see we haven't um, updated our music on the wheel deals then. Da, 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 da. <laughs> proper, proper 80s game show style, isn't it? I like it? it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What was your favourite uh, 80s game show, jewellery makers? <gasps> blankety blank. Blankety blank. Blankety blank. blank. Was, he was that with Dusty Bin? That was, was no, that was Terry. Oh, I like Dusty Bin as well. No, that's Terry Dust Wogan because he makes me laugh. Yeah, I had a Dusty Bin. Oh, Dusty Bin was so cool. He was good. How yeah. did you get a Dusty Bin? I had like literally Dusty Bin was was like quite a big toy bin, oh, and I put all so my soft cool. toys in there. Do you know, I think I did too. Yeah, I bet you they're worth some money now. I bet yeah. you Dusty Bin, a bit like Bag Puss. Like an original bag puss oh, would be yeah, worth some money, wouldn't it? Text in what was your favourite 80s game show? I mean, I know you can't participate in this, Dan, sorry. Or Lauren, for that matter. Can you, Ross, just about? Ross, can you participate? You're 1990. Ads, you can, can't you? <laughs> you were three at the end of it, but still, you'll still remember. Why are they all so young? I know, I know. Um, I always like Bullseye as well. And here's what you could have won. Yeah, oh, young thanks. and gorgeous. Yeah. They, are. they used to used to rub it in, didn't they? Do you want to see what you could have won? No, I don't. <laughs> don't rub it in. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> How about some multicoloured bicones jewellery makers? Yes, please. These are pretty. Five to six millimetres, full of sparkle, aren't oh, they? Oh, these are these would be good with the twelve o'clock kits because it's good to have different shapes in those designs. Yeah, amazing. I was thinking exactly the same. Very. It's nice. all the colours, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's a party in a strand. Straight away, we've got collectors on the web checking out your baskets. How many have you got? 21. Like Ross's age. <laughs> um, previously been on air and closed at £12.99, which is a fantastic That's jewellery maker good. deal. However, today is not just a usual jewellery maker day. It's our birthday celebrations. £3 for the third day third day of the celebration very three good. pounds i like that ross that's catchy very catchy you're going to do another one of those have you just have you just kind of gone oh that's a good idea by me <laughs> <laughs> on his pre-show <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he's going to say that he did that on purpose, but he didn't at all. No, no, he didn't. He didn't, yeah. Although that, that, yeah, catchy, Ross. Um, well done, everybody. So, like, tomorrow you'll have fourth day. You could do four-day deals, couldn't you? Next one, what? Sorry. <laughs> Dragon scale be beads. Oh, yeah, I got them. I got them, I got them, I got them. Okay, a genuine gemstone plus this cut. These launched at nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. We absolutely, categorically cannot do a third-day birthday celebration price tag, can we? Definitely not. Not for the cutting. Oh. <laughs> we know better. He's just. You're a tinker, you are, Ross. He's a tinker. Um, I was on Blankety <gasps> Blank with Les Dawson. What a nice Were man he was. You? Really, Michael? Blankety Blank, Blankety Blank, Blankety Blank, Blankety Blank. Yeah, that was good. I also like Blind Date. Blind Date was good, wasn't it? And she, um, um, what was it? What did she used to sing at Blind Date? Didn't Scylla used to come out and sing? No, didn't. Uh, that was surprise, so surprise. No, surprise, 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 surprise. Yes, love it. Annika Rice, all those. Don't oh, make yeah. them like they used to. Annika Rice, yeah. What was that called, Annika? Uh, Challenge Annika. Yes. And she used to jump out of helicopters a lot, didn't she? She did. Yeah, brave lady. Um, well done, everybody. Linda, Jacqueline, Dawn. I love that, Michael. That's a that's awesome, isn't it? I've been on blankety blank. Very cool. Very that cool. Is. Very cool. I wish I. Gone on late. I always used to enter Tony Hart, but never got shown. Um, oh. As you mentioned, your angel like Debs. Yes. Should we do one of the last strands? <gasps> Literally. Oh, oh, there we go. I can confirm this is the last five strands that we have of Peacock Angel like And also, we can't get it anymore. We've... No, I know. Can't oh, get it. Oh, that's amazing. I don't, I, think don't know, I don't know for sure. You'll have to ask Wayno if it's mined out or if we're priced out, but either way, it'll be one of those two. Um, I've got five strands, jewelry makers. This is Last Chance Saloon. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. I'm a bit I'm a bit I'm a bit random. It's at the price, jewelry makers. Launched. Closing out. 45 sold out i've got the final five and that's it that's in our entire vault nothing on order um wayne was quite out it's a shame it's my favorite variety I we'll love hold it. this on screen for one minute i've got five available that's it well done suzanne in essex hello Teresa, mariska london sue west midlands and lisa but you need to check them out though um it is i agree ross is just saying this is one of our most popular gemstones um i when we had this conversation deb you and i didn't yeah. we i was saying i love angel light in the blue i do but there's something about but it. But I'm, I'm head over heels with Peacock Angel Me like. too. I mean, I'm so glad we managed to get some because I, I was questioning Wayne as well. Can you, can you get any more? He gets so more I just Wayne. can't at the minute. I just yeah. can't. So I he don't gets, he gets a little bit sulky if you push it too much as well with Wayne. I'm like, come on, Wayne. I can't. I can't get any more. I think he should go and mine it himself. Yeah, well, that's not good enough, Wayne. <laughs> go on, Wayne. Come on. You need to hop on that plane. Take your pick with you, your pickaxe. <laughs> get us get us some. come and get us some please Wayne. please i've only got to go to peru it's not far exactly. um 39.99 sue you've got yours well done lovely i have literally three <coughs> by my calculations three left in the vault and that's it i'll leave it with you because we're super over allocated two left oh is there two left right okay um as we're talking about peru whilst he's there wayne might as well pick up some turquoise too We'll just send him Wayne packing with his um, to get some more peacock angel light. Do you know that's so weird because I used this, it might have even been this strand in between this angel light bracelet. That is Did you? Crazy. I wonder if it's this strand. Well, Peru, if, if, if your angel light's from Peru, it's going to complement the turquoise, isn't it? I because I had I think I told you this I had sterling silver in between and they kind of oxidized a bit and I didn't like it so I re-strung oh yeah can yeah can you see I think it's the same strand Deb. Look, I think it's the same strand oh yeah so I decided to, I wanted to keep the color but still have something in between otherwise you know when as you move it shows the, yeah. the string um, I'm sure it's the same strand well there we go if you want to remake Deb's beautiful bracelet these are three millimeters they're gorgeous. Peruvian turquoise. Really I love lovely. Peruvian turquoise because it's like more of a pastel shade. Exactly. Lo really pretty. Um, totally natural as well. Natural yeah. turquoise. Beautiful. Who wants this under £20 jewellery makers today? Nineteen ninety nine for turquoise. 
Very I mean, good. let's not forget, it is an expensive gemstone, whatever the location, whether it's USA, Mexico, Peru, whichever. How many do we have? 28 available and already collectors getting involved. Three mil faceted natural Peruvian turquoise. Well, that's what Debs was saying. She's put it in between her peacock. He never listens to me. Um, Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, hello, Mandy. The Gold Shot was one of my favourite game shows back in the 70s with Bob Monkhouse. Um, but uh, young ones won't remember it. I remember Bob, uh, Bob Monkhouse. Because he was quite handsome, wasn't he, Bob Monkhouse? Yes, he was. He was charming. Yeah, very quite handsome. I do remember him. I don't remember the show. No, I don't. I was born in 78, Mandy. So, yeah. But I remember Bob Monkhouse, definitely. And, and do you know, oh, they, they, they didn't do it. Yeah, I see. Do you remember that, the gold shot? No. No, I don't remember that one. Um, do you remember, oh, what was the one where they all used to dress up as characters and run around like an assault course? It's a knockout. It's an, oh, and he used to laugh his head off. I he? used such to a funny love laugh. that. Used to love that. So wanted to go at It's a Knockout. <laughs> And they had to do all these games in these big costumes. Yeah, these big that, costumes running oh, around. That was so good, they that one. They need to bring it back, don't they? I love they? that one. Um, okay, how about 14th birthday and all that? 14 99 That's I amazing. That. It has closed here in the past. But we're going to do a, a, a deal wheel. Ah. I almost said a wheel deal. <laughs> da 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 yeah yes. Woohoo! 20% what's that i can't do that oh yeah three pounds three pounds off that price tag that's good isn't it that's is really good da, 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 da. we're gonna go to bed tonight going da, 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 da. brushing our teeth da, 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 da. on turquoise says roscoe <laughs> he's just done the numbers and realized just how low this is <laughs> he went oh that's really good <laughs> Brand new low, twelve pounds and a penny. Super good. Super good for natural Peruvian turquoise. It is one of my favourite locations of turquoise. Actually, it's very, it's it's very um, different. I think to USA turquoise, and that's why Agreed. I love it. Agreed. I love USA turquoise too, Agreed. but I like the difference in it. Um, we had how many did you say? Twenty, twenty. 28 we started with five snapped up two heather richard and Elia, helen hello to you jan hello to you mariska jennifer christine another christine hello to you gloucestershire and gilliam make sure you're checking out keep those messages coming through we're talking what was your favorite let's just say game show it doesn't have to be 80s or 70s your favorite game show as a child uh what's that what's that say? Oh yeah! Oh, come, come on, down. the price down. is right. Yes, that was good. That was good. Was the price is right? Am I getting the right one? Higher, lower? Is that yes? That was play cards, oh, right? Oh. Uh, well, you have to guess the price of a microwave. What well, that was, price is right. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I've got a good one. Go on. This is a child's one. Do you remember Cracker Jack where they had to stand there and hold as many things as they could and as many cabbages? And if they, if they dropped a cabbage, then they would... This is probably me being old now. If you said, please, someone, please, give me a rope here. And you would have to stand there and they had to hold it. And if they dropped it, they lost. Oh. Do you remember Cracker Jack? No. Does anyone remember Cracker Jack? Well, I reckon I'd be good at that game. Yeah, and it, so we used to say, oh, don't drop the cabbage. You to, I don't know what a cabbage had oh, to do Oh, so it wasn't it. even the prizes they They're were holding. They're prizes and then cabbages. So I don't, okay. I don't know why. Cabbages are quite hard to hold. Yeah, big They're quite yeah, big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're quite big. So that, yeah, that was good. I think we need to do, can we do a jewellery maker show that is all these kind of eight, 70s, 80s <laughs> game show ideas? I think that sounds amazing. Bronca Onyx, yes, I do, in a beautiful haigu. 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 <laughs> Should we do a brand new low on your haigu? <laughs> um, <laughs> one price crash. Oh, look at that. Totally natural. Ooh, and then lovely. we're going to do a minute on screen. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, <laughs> totally natural Brazilian Bronca Onyx. Brand new low, but we need to see you there. Oh, look at that. The glow, the translucency. That's lovely, isn't it? It's stunning. And we cut. It's 9 99 goodness me, That's for a high really goo. Good. It's so huge. Good. 
40 carats. Never been anywhere near that price tag, jewellery makers. There you go. Set a gemstone in the centre. Look how lovely that is. Unbelievable. You've got a minute. Big birthday closeout, says Roscoe. And we were talking about Broncoronics the other day, saying, like, you know, can't get your mutton fat anymore, obviously. That's quite, well, never say never, but it's highly unlikely. We brought you the final show that we believe anyway um, a few days ago. Um, so this is going to be sort of that next translucent, <laughs> pure, natural white gem. Five fellow to you, Hazel, Sandra, Mariska, Brion, hello to you, Devon, Dawn, new customers getting involved. And um, we're going to hold this on screen for just 17 more seconds. It's a massive birthday close out deal keep your messages coming through don't you think that should that would be a good show roscoe if we did like lots of like 70s 80s game show kind of like if you drop your cabbages that's money off get ross out here money off money off the price what if you just realized we've got another peacock angel light have we oh what was the first one? Oh, I, oh, I held the wrong strand then. So the first strand, you get a bigger stone. These six mils are now. Sorry, my apologies. I you held the wrong strand. <gasps> last chance saloon, though. This is it. This is that the last, from the same final parcel. But of these, I've got seven. Ooh, that's it. Um. The 10 mils did sell out at 39.99. These are the six mils, so you can see my error now. I apologize about that. I mean, you get more. <laughs> I've got these as well. We had 100, I've got seven left. Lisa's there and Ellen's there, ready and waiting for your 14th birthday deal. My goodness, me. and Lucy, 24.99. That's totally natural. Totally and utterly natural. But again, I can confirm we can't get any more Peacock Angelite, unfortunately, which is really sad. We're all gutted about it because it's such a pretty stone. So pretty. I mean, you get areas of translucency yeah. and opacity and almost chatoyancy, don't you? Oh, it's just magical. It's my absolute favourite. I yeah. just adore it. I think, yeah, absolutely. If only, if only there was more available in the world. I know. But yeah, sadly not the case. Lucy, you've done it. Well done. Samantha's there and new customer Neil and Linda. If you all check out by my calculations, we've sold out. Is that right? Yeah. If you all check out, don't let that put you off dialing through though, because they do need to check out. Um, or adding it to your basket, you can jump the queue effectively. Yeah. Dropping Tiggy off at school yesterday. And I need to, I'm trying to educate her on the fact that, you know, things like stand in line you've got to wait your turn and all that so at three they don't they're so no. impatient aren't they yeah and tiggy loves nursery so they all stand in line really cute with their backpacks on <laughs> like <laughs> bye baby <laughs> bye with their backpacks on which are usually about half the size yeah. of them anyway but tiggy will stand there in line and then just jump to the front i'm <laughs> like no you can't do that got to teach you got to wait tiggy don't just jump the queue oh what she's so get cute with her glasses i can't cope. i know she wears glasses now i can't cope with, with the glasses she's just so so cute and she's she's taken to them she's like um i must wear them all the time mummy <gasps> all the time they've sold out well done everybody well done well done uh moving on to oh i right we've got Ooh. these in gold and in silver i looked at these as well this morning i bought these these are gorgeous so pretty um which ones do you want to start with <sighs> these are the ones i bought literally same i love them have they got like a paper clip big paper clip. they're so designer yeah absolutely well we've do you know these were inspired by um mickey moto oh yeah so Mickey Moto do a design very similar to these. Of course, they're thousands of pounds on Mickey Moto. I don't know about you, but I haven't got thousands of pounds to spend on no. earrings. Um, but I still want that look. Look how pretty they, oh, are. they are. So beautiful. So, nice. so, so, so beautiful. So yeah, even if it was 149, you know, at a drop in the ocean in comparison to the Mickey Moto price tag. How beautiful are they? Yeah, I bought them. I haven't worn them yet, actually. I haven't had an occasion to wear you them. You don't need an occasion to just, wear just them. Just cos. Yeah, just to make you feel good. Do them when I can eventually do a grocery shop. Yeah. Can't do a grocery shop at the moment. Mm. So, but yeah, you can. It's one of those that would wear, would be suitable for all occasions. Um, 14th birthday deal, Roscoe. 
I love these. They weren't that long ago launched, were I they? I love those. They're gorgeous. £49.99. and pence. I mean, they'll suit everybody. They would. They're, they're not too heavy as well. You'll notice by my earlobes, not being pulled down by the weight of them. They fit and they feel really comfortable. And you've got a beautiful cultured pearl at the bottom there. These flew on launch, so we can't have many of them within the vault. 19, there Ooh. we go. Gold plated, 925 sterling silver and a cultured pearl. How about today, half price? Really? Oh, I'd have been better off shopping today, wouldn't I? <laughs> Twenty-four ninety-nine. Well done, oh, everybody. That's amazing. They're stunning. They're so beautiful, aren't they? I think it's just the simplicity of them that makes them super elegant. Do you know? I, I went um, and had a girly shopping day with Daisy. Oh, nice. And um, I'm looking at all the costume jewellery, and I'm, I'm going to her. Oh, look, that's not even real. And they want thirty pounds. I'm going to take a picture of that for the viewers. And she's like, Mum, come you on, stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me, Mum. Yeah, stop it. It's true, though. And Isn't you, it? It is true. These are precious metal. Beautiful, genuine, I, cultured pearls for twenty four ninety nine. It's just amazing. It is amazing. I agree. I, I, I'm going to wear these this weekend. I've got, I've got a couple of things to go to this weekend, so I'm going to put them on. Yeah, definitely. Nice, aren't they? With it, just with the jeans, if you like. Pair yeah. of loafers. Yeah. What are loafers? I've never owned a pair of loafers in my life. Just flat shoes. That's what I was talking about. I, th I think that's what hosh people wear. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, right. Well, I'll just say my daps <laughs> then. Um, half price for your jewellery makers, your pumps. The daps to me. So I grew up in Wales, so daps. Yeah, in in Wales we call them daps, don't we? What's a dap? A, like like a pump. Like yeah. a pump. Like a pump. Um, let's do the silver version. Now this is last chance opportunity for you to get hold of these because they are ludicrously low. Ludicrously, ludicrously low. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. Are you daps or your pumps? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. I actually can't choose my favourite colour. They're Me both neither. beautiful. Stunning. Could be 149, couldn't they? Mm hmm How many do we have left, Ross? Exactly 20. Today, who wants them under £20? Wow. £19.99 only. That's very good. That's so good. You love those. They're lovely. And so so on trend at the moment, aren't they? And you could wear like um, a single chain with just a single yeah. pearl around your neck with it, couldn't you? It'd be classy, so pretty. Yeah. very classy. Loving those. They've got, they're definitely. I know they are inspired by Mickey Moto, but they're also giving me Monica Veneda vibes, yeah. aren't they? Without the Monica Veneda price tag, of course, um, or Mickey Moto for that matter. Uh, Janet, Anita, Denise, Gillian, Elaine, Linda, Devon, Georgia. Hello to you, Richard and Elia. Make sure you check out your baskets, everyone beautiful solid 925 sterling silver you've got that wonderful mirror-like luster and a genuine cultured pearl at the bottom there i know that you can make amazing earrings but can you do it for 20 pounds that's the thing um lots of stock opportunities you're right though debs even if you looked in somewhere like i don't know marks and sparks dotty peas any of them um they wouldn't be sterling silver they wouldn't be a genuine pearl and they wouldn't be under 20 quid exactly um well done well done well done let what what did you say i didn't hear the first part pearls 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 oh i have these are gorgeous now this one edison now i know we're going to romance you with beautiful pearls at 10 o'clock oh but just to, yeah get you set set the scene <laughs> <laughs> Adam's looking forward to being romanced. I've been romanced for years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll do my best this morning. Do the, do the dogs count? <laughs> I yeah. love you. I love you. <laughs> um, Edison Pearls, we all know this, jewellery makers are up there with oh, your love Tahitian, your South Sea, your Akoya Pearls. Widely regarded some of the best in the world. My father-in-law popped over yesterday. It's nice when you have little surprise Aww. visits. Um, and he was like, oh, I was watching you the other day, Alan. You were talking about, about uh, um, pearls. And he was going, but you've just bought Julie pearls, haven't you, for her birthday? Oh, I was yeah. like, yes. Thankfully, jewelry makers still do have them. However, and told him the situation, you know, the, the pearl world has gone crazy. The prices have absolutely skyrocketed. Now, we have always said, jewelry makers, we've had our pearl buyer on air saying, look, I can, I can bring you Edison pearls. 
However, do expect a price increase on them because they are the only variety that we can actually get at the moment. Uh, the Chinese not exporting South Sea. Tahitian pearls, the harvest has been bought, uh, bought for the next decade. As has South Sea, Akoya pearls are, oh gosh, so expensive. We're at £299. These are naturally colored, naturally metallic, near round Edison pearls. One Edison per mollusk, so that's how they achieve wow. these lovely sizes. Are you ready for a 14th birthday deal? Sorry, Ross, how many did you say you had? Five, okay. Two, nine, nine. But I did just hear in my ear, are you ready? Is that not our price? No way near, says Ross. Really? We could have taken these to Hong Kong and sold them back into the market. We don't want to do that because then, you know what? Jewelry Maker hasn't got much of a show. Wetting your appetite for your deal of the day. Five chances. You have 19 minutes because you've still got the curfew on the eight o'clock hour, regardless of it being our birthday. One of the most outrageous Edison Pearl deals that quite possibly you've ever seen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, Ross, wow. are you sure we're allowed to do that? Gorgeous Dan, can you pass me a bus, lovely? Seriously, how on earth? Are, that that might, thank you, lovely. That might be, Ross, the most affordable Edison Pearl strand I've ever brought to air. Did, we didn't launch these, did we? We're not responsible for that price, are we? Oh, my goodness. Ye May, Leicestershire, Denise and Maker. Look at the split pay, 50 pounds. Edison pearls, and like I said, we'll always be upfront and honest with you. We can get Edison's, we can, but they will go up in price yeah. massively. So thankfully we've still got, I don't like this expression, but I'll say it anyway. Old stock Edison, i.e. we bought it before the price surge. Yeah. Um, so that really benefits you. Leicestershire, you're there. Ye may good luck. Denise, if you want to check out, I've only got five or rather four now. Denise, well done. Okay, I'll leave those final two with you. Well done. Marilyn, you can do it. Now, I also have... It's mad that we're doing these lengths now in the current situation of pearls. There are six available, exquisitely on braid. Can you see that there? Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, look at those. The work that goes into ombreing gemstones. You know... You've got the purest of white pearls. Then, oh, look at those. They're almost champagne-like colours. Down into your almost oh, bluey, violet, almost natural. These are all natural jewellery makers. How amazing. The work that goes into creating a strand like this. Now, we're going to do two price crashes. A 60 centimetre strand. So this is... A long length of pearls the first price crash not your price and what we'll do is leave it to fate says Ross Ooh. oh you're bold Ross you are bold that is bold and the first price crash by the way is already too low okay for the length of the strand 60 centimeters not 38 60 how about today <gasps> Totally random. <gasps> Everyone else goes yes, and Ross goes, oh. He says, it's so ra it was totally random. He's tried cheating the system to get 5%, but it never works. <laughs> no, that's why you kind of over, uh, like it's, you overshoot it then. You can't do that. Oh yeah, it's 30 pounds off, yeah. That Ross, is amazing. You can't, it's random, you can't. You haven't got the algorithm. <laughs> oh my goodness me. 30 pounds <laughs> off jewelry makers. Da -da 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 -da. 
Um, especially on pearls, <laughs> perhaps maybe don't chance the wheel deal. Um, Sue Manchester, Denise. I mean, yeah, I agree. That section at the front there for 69.99, let alone 60 centimeters. You've got a minute at this price. Ross is like, you're spitting feathers. It was your choice to do the wheel deal. Oh, oh, you, oh Adam pressured him. Right, I see. He likes the, Adam likes the fun of it. You yeah, like music, too. don't you, Ads? Da, 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 da. He likes that people get money off, absolutely. There you go, see Adam's in your corner. <laughs> Barbara and Flincher, Anne in Hampshire, Sue and Merseyside, Manchester and Denise, you've done it. By my calculations, I've got, was it one left, Ross? Uh, okay. One or two left, I can't work it out. We've got a bit of a delay. There's loads of you there though. So if you are Gillian, Janet, Anita, Breon, Maker, Christine, Kay, Anne, Angela, um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Candy as well, good luck. I'll leave it with you, 60 centimeter strand for 69. There's one left. There's literally one left. Okay, 43 of you are in basket for one chance. Adam. Can you put five seconds? <laughs> oh. Oof. Oof. It's sold out. Okay. Two, two will do. Four, two, four, five. five. There you go. Yay. It's gone anyway, Ads. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We've done some amazing deals on pearls. Getting you ready for your deal of the day. Should we do... One of those ridiculous deals on a type A jadeite carving. It's beautiful, this one. It's so intricate. It's like, honestly, the, the artistry that goes into something like this. Now, we've got oh, 10 like available, double carved as well. So not only have you got to take a gemstone that is incredibly valuable, incredibly rare, actually not being mined in this location anymore. It's got 800 years history. Um, physically as hard as steel, and yet you carve it by hand in the same old way, polished by wet bamboo. That's fascinating. Um, so you finish your work of art, you've got this amazing, beautiful, intricate pendant, and then you go, oh no, flip it over, we want it on the other side as well. Look at how exquisite that is. Would you wear it like this? Am I? Yeah, that's how I would wear it. Yeah. Then you've got a natural drill hole there. You've got the circle of heaven, you've got the beautiful lotus flower in the center. That is type A natural Burmese jadeite. 10 of these available, 14 years of jewelry maker. And that seems to justify, that seems to justify our crazy deals. What's that? Here's to the next 14. He's gonna do it again, says Ross. He says, I'm gonna leave it up to fate. Now look at the first price crash. We could close at the first price crash, couldn't we? Ross, he's lost it. He's lost it. Uh, you have lost it, Ross. Ready? Sing along, everybody. Yes. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Love it. Twenty percent off, Ross. That's very good. It's very good. It's all right, isn't it? I like the fact that you dropped to a nice round number. So that maths is easy then. Yeah. I like your tactic. Um, have we actually had a 5% or a 10% yet? Nope. No. Um, it's on screen for one minute. I've got 10 available. Wow. 79 pounds and 99 pence. The intricacy, I mean, look, we're millimetres in terms of its thickness. You've got beautiful water translucency. Of course, remember with your jadeite, you want that fine crystal, so it looks like a melting ice cube almost. Um, Kerry, Lucy, Fife and Leicestershire, you're all there. Kate and Dorset as well. Um, you've still got your split payment, even though you had the da 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 And even though, with those deals, one year ago here at Jewelry Maker, mm. this carving, would have been £199. And yeah. that's awesome. It is awesome, isn't it? 
We kind of say that as if that's, you know, an extortionate price. It's absolutely not. Not for Jadeite, one of the world's most rarest, most valuable gemstones. Uh, hello, Denise. Hello to you, Kerry. Nice to see you. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Keep those text messages coming through. We're talking favourite game shows. Um, your early birds coming up next. Our call centre are ready. They are waiting because we are going to completely bombard them. Um, if I can, well done, everybody. If I can, recommend that you shop via the web or the app. That would be most helpful because we have got 250. And, and I know very much these are perfect for people that have got a business. And I know you had business day as well. But um, these are also in, uh, really useful for storage and actually Absolutely. looking after your components. Um, it's going to go crazy on the phone lines. We're talking about your early bird, which is the Ziploc containers. Um, coming up next. <laughs> Okay, you have three sizes. One, two, three. And then Ziploc. There you go. And zip it closed you could put all your gemstones your findings your <coughs> excuse me finished pieces of jewelry finished pieces of jewelry in with a little um, anti-tarnish yeah absolutely these are amazing every time i get a bag like this if i get i buy something it comes i save them yeah because they're so much better than just regular ones well if you were to put say i don't know spacer beads in there yeah you're not going to lose no, them exactly that you haven't got a chance of the lid coming unscrewed no. and falling off um you can literally have them almost like a little filing system couldn't yeah. you yeah and they're sturdy as well yeah um so you know i do that with my sterling silver findings like i separate them all yeah and you can put them in like a filing system like you said like put them yeah. in like you would file um cards or something yeah. and so so then you can easily find them flick through them, flick through them easily. Yeah. you can even have like little dividers yeah couldn't you saying like this is your nine carat um sorry this is your gold plated silver yes. your silver and and list them all there um i mean it does it's i think it's so important you know you work with rare precious gemstones and metals you know and base metals don't mm. get me wrong it's so important that we do look after them and and, and i have to say i am as guilty I'm terrible. They, you know, that my findings will literally sort of tip out, spill out, and then you're looking in the bottoms of yeah. corners of boxes and things like that. Um, so this is nice, and you get all of these as well, jewelry makers. All of these. Now we have the label maker. Oh yes, hello, Shaolin. Stamp your logo. I knew as part of your branding. Yeah, Perfect. amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, I, you, do you remember back in the day, again, I, I must be feeling nostalgic at the moment, but remember you had those kind of file boxes that you put like yeah. recipe cards yes. and things in there, um, or notes if you were doing exams yes. and things like that. You can have one of those with these. Mm -hmm because they're nice and flat, so they're not gonna take up too much That's bulk it. or space. That's a good point, because you know you don't always have a lot of room. And also, you wanna keep them dust free, you yeah. wanna keep them separate, you wanna keep them safe, tarnish free. moisture. Free. Exactly, and I just think that, um, I've not seen, have we ever done anything like this before? I don't know if we've had, we've had, we've had bags before. Not I don't like know about this. the Ziploc ones, and I don't know about all the different sizes so you can see the three different sizes there that's almost like a well it's bigger than a business card that one isn't it you could put your carvings in yes. there couldn't you and your um any of your carvings any of your um, gemstone donuts or anything at all that you're waiting to use it would just keep them safe yeah and and we've got like the sticky machine haven't we one that puts you oh did they do that yesterday was it yesterday with the yeah so you can put that on there as oh, well. Oh yeah, that's so cool. So you can label them. Prints directly on. Oh, does it? So you could do that onto this as well that's if you really wanted good. to. So cool. We had 250 of these jewelry makers. They are your birthday early bird. And again, I know we'll always bring you beautiful gemstones, we'll bring you inspiration, we'll bring you all your lovely findings. Um, but it's components like this which are as important in looking after each of those single pieces. Um, Graphics are about to come live. We've got 250, but again, lots of you are already shopping ahead. 
good luck to each and every single one of you let me just show you as well how simple it is you get 100 we've got 100 opportunities you get a hundred bags oh, that's wow. right so we're at 50 pence per bag which is very good isn't it very very good let me show you the quality of these yeah they're really good you can feel the quality you can see it's nice and thick nice and secure zip locked so you get a hundred different bags in three different sizes and you made a suggestion earlier on. For example, I've got some spacer beads here. I could put my spacer beads in yeah, one. Definitely. I could have them in different designs. You said earlier on, Debs, I could go, okay, let's put, I want to keep my carvings nice and safe um, so they don't scratch. Would this one go in here? Yeah, no problem. There you go. I definitely do that. There you go. And you're not going to scratch it. You're not going to damage it in any way, shape or form. It's nice and safe. Keeping the dust and the damp away from the gemstone itself. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, how much are we at, Roscoe? What's this? Is it 50p per bag? Okay, so you get 50 by the way of the smaller size and you get 25 of the other sizes. How about 25p per bag, jewellery makers? That's very good, isn't it? Yes. Very good. Your own jewellery. You could put your own jewellery in here too. Earrings. Earrings are a nightmare, aren't they? I yeah. mean, I'm so guilty of just putting the earrings in a pot all together and then they all get tangled up and I can't be bothered so I don't use them. Imagine putting your earrings, you know, little things where you, you can you lose um, the backs, you can lose bits of it. You know, your finished jewellery as well, I think, and you've got hundreds, so you could do a bit of both finished jewellery and your findings and your carvings. So useful. I'm definitely getting these if there's any left. 100%. 100%. Thanks, Dan. Um, here you are. I'm just right, okay. I've, had, I've got a nice, I've stocked up my stash on my space, on my crimp covers, look. There we go. Pop the little little anti tarnish strip in there as well. I've got loads of room in there. Put your diamond art. Yeah, it's not just jewelry making this either, is it? You could use it for lots of different things. Um, okay, let's get that strand of angelite. I mean, that's going to go in one of the smaller bags, isn't it? But I will put it in a big one um, for the time being. But look, you can put loads and loads and loads in there. Finished pieces of jewelry, as you were saying there, Debs. Yeah, they're they're so useful. How many times I've done this before where you go on holiday or something like that and you put your jewellery in your wash bag and then something bursts. Say say, say with the altitude it bursts like your, your body lotion or your oh, sun yeah. cream and then it's all over your jewellery. You know, <coughs> this is going to keep it nice and safe and protected. £19.99, that's 20p oh, per bag, jewellery makers. So good. They keep so much in there, don't they? And again, it's not just us as jewellery makers, it's across multiple different mediums because you, you probably are quite crafty in other aspects too. Now, we were given a birthday prize, Ross says. And Ross is saying, I'm going to be completely open okay. and say, I'm going to disregard that price. He's ignoring the price that the powers that be gave him. He says, I'll show you what it was, just for good measure, show willing. But he is ignoring it, he says. If you are happy at the next price, start dialing through, jewellery makers. Because he's completely disregarding it. Okay, amazing. I like that, Ross. Like that. You can see you get 25 of the two larger sizes. You get 50 of the smaller. Um, we are going lower than 14.99, which was the price that we were given, jewellery makers. That's what we were instructed to do. Again, you can see they hold loads, don't they? You've got the safety aspect of your Ziploc. Um, 250 were available, but the, I've got two full rows of call screens and loads of multi-buyers. Really handy. They're really handy. And you know, like, I always take my earrings off. If I go out, and I'll, I'll usually take them off during the day because I'm like, oh, I'll just take them off. And I put them in the little zip pocket of my bag. Yes. And my daughter does that with her rings as well because she's doing art. Yeah. So she'll go to college and then she'll take things off. That, and she said to me, Mum, I think I've lost an earring. Well, if you have a couple of these in your handbag. That's a good idea. You can just pop them in there. They keep safe. And they're not going to get all dusty because no. let's be honest, handbags yeah. are dusty and whatnot, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. You can you gather all manner of dust and schmutz. <laughs> in the bottom of your handbag 
Twelve ninety nine. Meant to be at fourteen ninety nine. I want these. Twelve ninety nine for a hundred bags. Oh. Guess what Ross says? I'm disregarding my own price tag as well. Thirty seconds. We're going to go even lower. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Here. Debs is not shopping. She is not shopping. It's the birthday. We know who's going to pull you up on shopping on the birthday. You're bound to. Uh, well, we'd be, we'd be foolish not to. These have been thought out over the last year, haven't they? Judith's got three. Well done. Maker in Shropshire's got two. Susan in Barnsley's multi bought. Sarah's multi bought. Cheshire's multi bought. Andrew's multi bought. Claire and Jane multi buying. Ye May's multi bought. Oh my goodness, there's loads of you there. Um, phone lines, website, app has gone crazy. There's about a minute queue on the phone lines. Do bear with our call centre. They will get to you, I promise you. £11.99. pence. So wait a minute, is that 12p? 12p per bag. And you know, that 12 pence, that little investment is really going to look so after good. your items, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. I don't know if we've done the Ziploc bags before. I don't, I don't, and I don't know if we've done it in the different sizes. I also don't know if we've done it in quantities of like 100 previously. Guess what, says Ross. Oh, not even stopping there. Another 30 second clock. Remember, we were meant to be at 14.99. But that doesn't sit right with Roscoe, does it? He was <laughs> not on the 14th, de 14th birthday, baby, says Adam. How about under ten pounds? Yay! Yes, for one hundred bags, Ziploc bags. What other crafts do you think these would be useful for? Definitely the diamond art, because Daisy does that. Yeah. Um, let's think what else. Oh, you know, if you do paper crafting and you have your little embellishments yeah. and that, your little jewels and things, that could go in there. I always feel like we say this every time that we bring something like this to air, but fishing. Fishing, um, stitch markers you could yes. put in there sewing. for crochet, sewing your needles. Oh, you could put your um, needles in for your seed beading. Yes. Um, oh, there's so many things. I mean, because I could sit with... here for an hour. Yeah. So I've, I've just ordered, but I can't see my name. I better have gone through. Um, do you know, Willow has got, she's very crafty. She's got one of those trolleys, you know, that Liam brought on the mask oh, manager yeah. did in her bedroom. And it's given me anxiety how messy <laughs> it is already. Like, and every time you move it, like sequins or pom-poms exactly. and things like that all fall out. So I could put these, like, put your little bit, you know, the little bit. Definitely. Stickers. Stickers, yeah. Every time you move it, or I touch it with a hoover, it's literally like a cloud of glitter kind of falls from it so she needs these don't they in some kind of filing system um 9.99 jewelry makers the call screens have gone crazy happy 14th birthday lovely jewelry makers we're going to do a minute to close we're going to dive straight into our break um we've got beautiful i agate coming up with lovely debs in the next hour and, and it is and i'll say it again surprisingly affordable for something so visually beautiful amazing um, that's coming up oodles of inspiration with our debs as always um make sure you're checking out your baskets on this one we had there you are i can see you debs deborah guest designer i can see you good third row in um how many have you got stock update oh i see me <laughs> 68 left 149 of you have it in your basket. These Still good in your amazing. basket. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. Hair Isn't bobbles, it? little hair bobbles. Well, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, loom bands. Yes. They've come back into fashion. Have they? Curses those loom bands. They get everywhere. They do get everywhere. Yeah, little loom bands, hair bobbles, good idea. Hair clips. Yes. Um, bobby pins. Bobby pins. Um, we're running out of time in this hour. Make sure you check out your baskets, jewelry makers, and do not go anyway. I'm making my way over to lovely Debs for I Agate after this. Hello, jewelry makers. Happy 14th birthday. I remember the first day um, I was a little bit younger, not as old looking, and lots of things have gone on since then. But you've stuck with us. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible 14 years. Here's to many more. We've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks, not week, two weeks. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Happy birthday. Hi, jewellery maker. Happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains and make sure you save me some cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday jewellery maker. maker. Happy birthday, 
Hey jewellery maker, I'll be back with you on Wednesday the 1st of May for the birthday show. I am so excited, I've got the most amazing projects. So in the 9am, I think I was talking about this last time I was on, but I've got, and I think these are called Agate with Eye. I have never seen anything like this. They are absolutely beautiful. They're like little planets or little works of art, like somebody's painted on them. They're absolutely stunning. So we've got different projects of those in the 9 a.m. And then in the 12, my love of seed beads, I've been able to incorporate with a multicolored selenite launch. So what I'm gonna show you is how to do a spiral rope. Now it's really repetitive, really relaxing, and it gives you this really lovely effect. So I hope you can join me, Elle, and the team on Wednesday the 1st at JM. which I've been there 12. Um, it's been wonderful and you're a huge part of our lives. So thank you to everybody. Hey, yeah, you no, know, yes, yes. Happy birthday, jewelry makers. Grumpy, you were grumpy, oh dear. Well, thank you, jewelry makers, for all your loyalty. You're I an amazing. You I love you. Yeah, we love you. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. We couldn't do it without you. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here and Thomas. You going to say something? No, you're going to think about it. We're both here today to wish jewelry maker the happiest of 14th birthdays. It's going to be an incredible fortnight. We've got an amazing lineup, and all I want to do is get the celebration started. Ah, nothing to see here. I'm worn out now. <laughs> We can't not do the can can. I love that VT. It just wakes me up. It's good, oh, isn't it? Can I talk about the craft retreat? Yes. I'm supposed to, and I keep forgetting. Okay. Um, we're doing a craft craft craftopia. craftopia. Yeah. We're doing a craft retreat at the end of May, and it's um, a two-day retreat. Uh, it's going to be all of our channels. So I'm doing the jewellery maker. We've got um, Sewing Street. We've got um, Hobby Maker. And um, I think there's some tickets left. So if you want to come and do some make and takes and some workshops, it will be of all of those things. It'll be lovely to see you. So I just wanted to let you know that that's going on because we, for the longest time, we haven't done in person no. anything, have we? So yeah, we missed it. If you wanted to get together and have a yeah, four workshops over two days, so you'll get sort of two hours with each of of the people that are teaching, and I'm one of them. So um, yeah, it'd be oh. lovely to see you. Can I also say as well, it's at um, the Abbey, isn't it? Yes, it's I've which never is been there. which is lovely. Where it is, it's beautiful. Um, it's not far from the studios. I actually stayed there when we had to move out for our for our 
kitchen. Oh yeah. For our bifold doors. Um, it is so beautiful. I'm actually a member there. Ooh. It's very nice. They've got like their own, um, it's a, on a golf course. So oh, if you lovely. do golf, then you can book in a game. Um, it's got a nice spa as well. So Ooh. lovely. So, so if you do go to that, bring your cosy. And everything's included, like all of the food and there's a dinner on the what Saturday date is night. It? Is it the 26th, Ad, the Croft Opia? Of? Of May. Of May. So the end oh, of this month. I'll pop in and see you then. Yes. What's the twenty? What day is the twenty sixth? I think it's the twenty sixth. There's a Sunday. Okay, so it must be the twenty fourth to twenty fifth. Yeah. Okay, twenty fourth to twenty sixth. And I think the meal is on the twenty fifth. Oh, so lovely. It is. Yeah, I will. I definitely will. It's it's beautiful there. So I can not only will have a lovely, co pleasant company, you'll also have a nice. It, the rooms are amazing. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, now. it's very nice. Ooh. Very, very nice. Um, oh, that'll be fun, won't it? It will. Right then, Debs. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. This is so beautiful. Like, isn't it beautiful? I mean, look at it. I get why you had that reaction straight away. It's one of those, ooh, gemstones. It's definitely an ooh, gemstone. And you know, like I'm always going on about if you've been making jewellery for a long time, you get really excited about new findings yeah. or findings that you haven't seen before. Like we had those bamboo ones yeah. the other day. Um, but I feel like that about gemstones because I've pretty much seen most gemstones. Yeah. You know, there's something or come that's amazing like the peacock angel. Like, yeah. And I've not seen any agate that looks like this. No, I not mean, me. Agate's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, wonderful. Oh, it takes millions of years to form. Game. Incredible. We almost overlook that, it's don't just, we? It's just incredible. Uh, we went to um, uh, away, Daisy and I, for a few days, and we went down to Flamborough Point. Uh, she's doing geography, A level, and we were looking at all of the um, cliffs and all of the different levels in the rock, mm. all the stripes. It's amazing. And she was telling me about it, and I was saying, just think that that's how. Does she how do uh, geology then? She does geography, but wow. they do all of that. And I was saying, this is why I love gemstones. And we had this proper like talk standing in front of these cliffs I know it wasn't a mine but you could see cool. the different layers yeah. and she was naming the different layers and th to think that this comes from those layers underneath yeah. the earth yeah blows my mind it is amazing it is absolutely incredible um, now we've got three different projects you've got three different strands all which come with the same findings essentially maybe in different colors so yeah. can I just say with you get your featherweight head pins you get loads of those don't yeah, you, you get is, loads. That, is that like a pack of 50 or something I would say so looks it's like loads. it and um, then you get a length of your lovely chain and you get two lobster claw clasps and um, they're all on pre-order how many do we have Roscoe we've got a hundred of each good I will say they're affordable too. We're going to start with this amazing shape, the drums. So the other two are rounds. We've never had this size before. Look at that lovely shape. Gosh, these are gorgeous, Debs. Your jewellery's gorgeous as always. I, oh, thank you. I just... Um... I started off by just putting one on and of course you could do that and then I just sort of interspersed some spaces so it's had that kind of you know that jingly effect yeah um, but they're so beautiful you could use them in a station necklace definitely you could use them in your marlas your stretches there's so much that you can do with these and you can choose to like take the white out like I did with the pearls or you can use another transparent gemstone. You could use um, a green you know, you oh, could lovely, yeah. to go really earthy. Yeah, nice. They're so versatile. Well, they, well the, for me, they personify Mother Nature, don't yeah. they? Because you've got not only the colours, but the, you know, it's the markings that are it's, so yeah, unique little, and individual. The they're like our incredible. Own, they're like our own fingerprints, aren't they? Yeah. Every single one is unique. Um, I've never seen a gemstone like it before. It's, like, it's almost like a, a coffee in a gem yeah like caramel tones um we've got a hundred available opportunities let's take a moment to just have a little look along the strand shall we because you said it earlier on Debs and I was like yeah I can imagine that would be me too you're going to lose yourself in the gemstones for a period look of time how different they are like every single yeah. one of those is the same gemstone that blows my mind and then you'll come across one that's got like the little eyes I presume is why yeah. it's called eyes and then they, some of them have got like decreasing circles within the eyes and some have got like striation. They're just honestly, you will sit looking one. at them for ages. They're almost polka dot, aren't they? Yeah. You know, um, and and a bull's eye. I assume, I, like I said, I'm not an expert on this, but I assume, like I said, it's millions of years to form. Mm. But it's like a bloom, isn't it? Like we talk about with yeah. your uh, um, Sakura agates. Now, um, again, amazing patterns. 
you are not jewelry makers paying 39.99 so you get the strand of drums this is the only drum strand that we have it's a three kits the other two are round so if you want the sort of elongated look then definitely this is the one for you comes alongside your length of chain your featherweight head pins and the two lobster claws do you want to know, see another price point that you're not paying today? Mm -hmm. Not Ooh. paying. It's our 14th birthday. Of course, we're going to bring you some of the best possible I deals. don't know what this is going to, genuinely. Whoa, that's good. Already that's good. Oh, that's amazing. Do you think about like <laughs> sort of the uh, um, prehistoric yes. sort of caveman paintings and things like exactly. that exactly it's kind of yeah. like that isn't it it's like yeah, this sounds weird but it's like you can see it's a gemstone yeah you can see that it no, came totally out of the, does that, that make sense yeah 100 percent. i'd like to see this with amber Ooh. i think it'd be lovely with some baltic amber yes like the cognac colours and the lemon colours. Oh yeah, that would be gorgeous. Stunning. We're at 19.99 jewelry makers, but we're not stopping there. It's birthday deals for you today. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. Ah, we're gonna be saying that for two weeks because you know we deserve to celebrate it for that long. Definitely. 14 day, 14th birthday, 14 days. I know. Makes sense. Um, 19.99 is good, but it's it's going lower. My only wish is that we had a bigger quantity. Sadly, I've got 100. That's not going to be enough. We're going to expect every single show to be busy because they always are. This is, you know this. You know that it's bought for, um, especially over the course of the year. £14.99. And you get all those findings as well. And I mean, your instructions. Oh, yeah, you get your instructions. Oh, yeah. And you just throw yeah. those in. Just hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I mean, that in itself, we sell this on our sister channel for a tenner. So mm. that means you're getting everything else for four ninety nine. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's amazing. And you know, the great thing is, it's this is a pretty basic design um, to make this. If you haven't made jewelry before, you can definitely do it. But it's great if you just look at it and you know how to make that because you're an experienced jewelry maker. You've got it for reference. Yeah. So yeah, you when know, you run out of mojo, you, know, you can have a little through. flick through of your little library yeah. Yeah, definitely. of projects that our jewellery makers have done, um, our designers have done for you. Um, again, that's available upon dispatch of your order. Um, go to your order history. It says, it says uh, download content and you can print it off. Fourteen ninety nine. Do you say half the stock's gone? 50 featherweight head pins. 50 centimetres of your chain and then the two lobster clasps. For the findings alone, that's a great price. Yeah. And then you also get your beautiful IR gate. <gasps> and your instructions. And then we drop the price again. Are you really going low? I'm genuinely shocked. I told you it was affordable. But, uh, but I'll be honest, the price that was on my star buy sheet was £10 more than what's on your screens right now. And I was still happy at that price. £24.99. That's amazing. Yeah. Wasn't it, Ross? You put on my star buy sheet £24.99. This is the most affordable of the three, just so you know. Just so you know. So if you want this shape specifically, then this is the one to get. And you're looking, if you're on a budget, then this is the one. Amazing. And you can do all your stretches. You can do your macrame. You can do your knotting. Marlas. Yeah. Oh, they'd be lovely Marlas gorgeous in Marlas. I mean, you know, you could just put one here and there. Yeah. You know, you don't have to use them all. You can just, because they will really draw your eye. I mean, I went, you know, full out. You went IR gate heavy. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Because I could. Why not? Sorry. Um, 14 99 jewellery makers. Final three seconds, we're taking it even lower. Good luck. Vera, Penny, Patricia, Helen, Nicole. Uh, Barbara, Nancy, Susan, Candy, Christine, hello to you, Suffolk, Liz, Jay Marie, Paulie, Maker. Oh, I, what on earth? I mean, that's just silly, isn't it? Good grief. Just silly. Happy birthday. That's Those earrings I would sell for more than £10. Yeah. That's two. Yeah. Goodness me. Uh, oh, it's our lovely Mark. Hi, Ellen, Debs, miss you. Is that our Mark? Our Mark. Hi, we Mark. miss you too. I'm thinking of setting up a Fans of Agate Facebook page. Good idea? Yes. Good idea. Definitely a good idea. That's See you on the trail, Sal. Lots of love. Yeah, I'd be joining that page. Me too. Yes, please, Mark. Because it's cool, isn't it? It's fascinating. It's amazing, Agate. I mean, it's an old gemstone. Oh, but they're amazing. The, the variety that you get yeah. in one gemstone is yeah. incredible. And it, it, like I said, it's affordable. Should it be? Well, I don't I mean, 9 is 
completely. 50 million years. Utterly bonkers. It is bonkers. Um, we had 100. They're absolutely flying out, uh, out the door. I'm not surprised. Yeah, fans of Agate. Uh, do you know when, Mark, on, it comes on, that, that message comes on our screens, literally, of fans of, and you know, and you kind of think, where's he going with this now? <laughs> he said, yeah. And only, for, only, only fans, fans. of Agate. That's fine. Do you see where only fans of Agate? Yeah. Do you see <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it to come out like that, but just because it did. <laughs> but I think that's a great idea, the fans of yeah. our gay page. Yeah. Because we love a bit of our gay. What's not to love? What's not to love? Um, amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We had 100. If there's a little bit of a queue, do bear with our call centre team. <laughs> they will get to you. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Oh, I, I think it. things, and then some. I should. No. Over the years, over the 12 years, I should have learned to filter. Nah. <laughs> Life's too short for that. <laughs> Life's too short for filter. that. Filter. Don't say all the words in your head, Al. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Erica. Good luck, Maker. Good luck to you, Rachel, Barbara, Kathleen, Karen, Maker, Anne, Jeannie. Hello to you, Joanne, Devon, uh, County Antrim. Well done. But make sure you're checking out everybody and keep those messages coming through to the studio. We'd love to hear from you. Any questions that you have for lovely Debs, um, then do text in. I'm just going to give you, give you a little sneaky peek of the strands coming up. I think so, they work nice together, don't they? Yeah. Ooh. Um, do the questions have to be jewelry related? Um, no. I don't. Hello and welcome to Ask Ellen Debs. I mean, I don't know how much you can ask me. I'm not the brightest. You don't ask me any general knowledge questions. You can ask me a personal question if you like. <laughs> I may choose not to answer it. <laughs> yeah, text in. We'd love to hear from you. Of course and we also, would. look, that, this is the other one. So you see it's more of a fiery colour, like a sunset-like colour. So those are the three strands of your eye agate. Um, okay, let's bring you this strand. And all I need to do, jewellery makers, is do a little swap -a these are my favourite. These are the ones that I used in the pearl neck. They're so beautiful. Oh, Look yeah. at them. Love it. I love it. And just the, you could wear these on so many different occasions. I love how you've. That one there is quite formal, isn't it? I would wear that with a white shirt and jeans. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. That's my kind of going out thing. Nice. But, you know, like a white or a black dress in the summer. Nice. You know, like a long kind of summery oh, dress. Oh, yeah. Imagine that for a barbecue or something yeah, like that. Yeah lovely absolutely gorgeous and again you get your written instructions this is the project that you get the instructions for have i got the same quantity yes and loads of you shopping ahead we've never had this size before jewelry makers um are these 14 mil roscoe so you get your 14 millimeter ia gate strand plus you get the 50 head pins plus you get the two lobster claws plus you get the 50 centimeter chain oh it's gorgeous they're lovely but, and you could have one as a charm because yeah. it's so interesting just draws your eye yeah it does. you know you could have one in the middle of a slider bracelet or a slider necklace um well they're big enough to be tops of tassels too aren't absolutely. they absolutely you know yeah that would be gorgeous wouldn't it yeah one at the top of a tassel um 32 seconds we're taking it even lower it's good at 19.99 um but yeah 14 mil they're big stones should we take a moment look at this Look at this, it's like a little world. It is like a little world. Look, can you see that translucency there? It's like a it's like a, a pool, like a rock pool of translucency. Oh, they look a bit planet like these. Aren't they fascinating? Amazing. Oh, what's that one? Hang on. Like Jupiter. And then you've got your kind of polka yeah, dots look. there. 11 pounds and 90. Oh, they'd be a pair of earrings. That's a steal of a deal. 11.99. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Fascinating. There's lots of little polka dots on these. I love it. When do you get spotty gemstones? If you make a bracelet, you'll just sit there looking at it. It's quite um, mindful, really. If you want to make a mindful fidget bracelet, put this on because you just sit looking at them and you think, oh, I didn't see that before. And you just. Like, look at that one on my right. Look at that 
one. Oh, that's cool. Show How that does, to sorry. Dan. Show that one How to Dan. How does Mother Nature do that? I don't know. It's amazing. It takes 50 million years, though. This one. That is beautiful, Very, isn't it? very, very cool. They are amazing, aren't they? Oh, they're so, so beautiful. Because you also get the layers. You know, we were talking about the layers within the host rock. Um, you've got the layers in the gemstone, but also these wonderful... Um, like, you have bullseye uh, malachite, don't you? Oh, of course. Or peacock's eye malachite. It's kind of like the same thing. Can you see those? Uh, these are called bullseye agate as well. So is that the same way, then? I assume. Yeah, I, I assume they, so. They cut it to enhance that, do they? Look at that. Yeah around the actual eye yeah. gate itself we had 100 it's a birthday deal jewelry makers loving these um, you get your instructions as well so it comes with the 14 mil strand and you get all the findings alongside it we've got one more project to bring you that's that kind of warm sunset mm. color and that has the yellow gold findings um remember you get your instructions with your purchase as well debs what are you going to show us so um i'm actually going to demo with the one that we're going to bring in a minute oh lovely because i did very sort of silver um inspired i'm just trying to pick the beadboard up um very silver in, i'm just checking that i'm in frame like that okay um I did very silver inspired, so um, obviously you get the gold findings, so I'm just going to show you the same necklace with different beads. Now, how I went about doing this, because it's just basic stringing and crimping, was I got my bead board out. Mm, and trusty the, it, bead it's board. so important when you're trying to building a design and you're not really sure what you're doing, especially if you want one of your strands, so I've already done this one, to sit um, slightly lower than your other strand and you yep. have a little play about with the beads and um, I initially added a couple of bead caps in the middle and then I thought no that's too much I took them away so you haven't committed yourself to your design yet you can have a play this is like your design station if you haven't got a bead board you can do this on a bead mat um, the great thing about your bead boards of course is that you've got your measurements and you kind of it gives you quite an accurate representation um, of what to do so all you need for this and I've written out all the instructions so if you've never made jewelry before you most certainly can make this I've said what, what um, extra I've used as well so if you want to add that but these are so versatile that I think that you can you can pretty much um, add whatever you like um, so you can see the different look I've got here by adding some these are uh, faux pearls obviously um, in kind of like a uh, kind of gold color like a, a dark gold and then with the gold spaces you get a, a totally different effect than the one that we just showed you on the bust because you know I've just kind of gone with a different color scheme so it kind of shows you how versatile they are right let me get my tools so what you need is just some tiger tail mine's alive good old tiger tail need to put a, a spool tamer on that so I'm going to just take off you need to take off as much as you need for your length and then extra for crimping let me move that out of the way and then what I did was my first and I've got all the numbers of the beads that I used in the instructions. This is my first um, length, and then I just wanted another length to sit underneath it. And that just means that you string on the same um, beads, but you just do different amounts. So I used six in the top strand and 10 in the bottom. So you don't need that for reference because you can actually have a look at the photograph on the instructions and then I just put I want you to um, contrast in the middle if I'd have had one of our beautiful um, baroque pearls or um, and you've, we've definitely got some lovely pearls coming up so mm. if you haven't got any then you could um, one two three four five I mean look at this one look at look at, look yeah, at this amazing it's just absolutely beautiful I just like breathtaking so you want to get your design um, all sorted on your bead board and I used some gold spacer beads for this as well so I'm just going to tip some of those out and then I'll just check the instructions but for the shorter length I used um, 14 pearls obviously my pearls are bigger on the other necklace and on the longer length I used um, 16 and then obviously 10 agates and six. So just to just so that I got that nice drape. So I'm just gonna show you how you construct it. So you need a crimp bead. I've added the two strands actually to a jump ring at the top there, but you could add it straight to an extended chain or whatever, whatever you like. Um, 
but I actually crimped it first of all without adding anything. I just did the loop because I wasn't really sure what I was going to be adding. It was one of those designers who go along because you love the beads designs. So I've popped my tiger tail through my crimp bead and then I've gone back down through my crimp bead so that I've got a loop. And be careful when you're not adding anything to this because it can just slip off the top. So we don't want that to happen but we just want to leave a small loop and I'm just going to squish that into place. Now, if you prefer the look of, um, say, sort of a neater finish, I actually like seeing, that. I've said this before, the squash crimps, I, I just like that look. But if you want it to be a little bit neater, you can use your crimping pliers to squash that into place and then bob over um, a crimp cover and then it just looks like you've got a little bead at the end. So mm. you can actually do that. So then I added my, what essentially is going to be going around your neck, your uh, pearls. So. These are the faux pearls, but I used real pearls for the other necklace. But Why you know, not? Either or, um, completely up to the look that you want. Obviously, with the faux pearls, sometimes you get some of the material caught in the uh, in the drill hole. So if you just pop a um, head pin through there. So I'm not going to put on the full amount. I'll just put on a few just so that we get the idea of how to construct it. So this would be the longer length, and I've given you the bead um, lengths and the bead numbers actually in the instructions if you want to make exactly what I've made or you might just want to be using that for inspiration. So I'm going to pop my smaller beads just up to my crimp and if I can get my tail down through, which sometimes you can't with pearls, I will take that tail down through the first couple of beads. Now I, usually you can't with um, tiger tail and pearls so in that case just snip off your tail at this point. And once you've done your row like I've done here of your beads, we're just going to do a small one for, for time purposes, then I just added a selection of spacer beads and you don't have to use spacers like I like um, Elle's idea of adding maybe some um, Oh, amber. I've amber, I've gone blank. I can <laughs> see it, I can think of the name of it. Amber, <laughs> yeah. So, I do that all the time. Oh, and I, I'm suddenly going, um, 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 and you can see whoever I'm talking to is thinking, get on with it, I'm getting old here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even Brain hard freeze. work. It's a word like fork. <laughs> <laughs> or, can you pass me Have um, you seen the um, 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 jiggy um, Pass me, um. So I'm just going to do three on this one, just to show you. Oh, it looks beautiful. So a spacer bead and an agate and you will be using a and this is such wearable jewelry as well Debs but a lot of jewelry that you make to wear isn't like very very difficult is it I mean you know you can do techniques I think quite often we do techniques because they're fun because we love doing it yeah but actual jewelry that you see on the high street jewelry that um, is very very wearable is not difficult so mm. it's like th I'm th basically stringing or threading however you want to to call it here and just adding on some spacers uh, I just think that the different color if you didn't want to have that focal bead in the middle how many mm. have I got two um, you could just do the whole thing at gate I mean I think that would be pretty if you've had just like a slightly longer than choker length agate necklace that would be really pretty so once you've got the equal number, I'm just going to take these out of the way so that you can see. Once you've got the equal number of agates on either side, and then you just add the equal number of pearls to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, so I add seven. It's funny how odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. Yeah, interior design as yeah, well. And art, it just, yeah. you know, you'll find yourself There's a focal putting, point, isn't it? Yeah, putting threes and fives and sevens mm. on just randomly. It's, um, it, that really fascinates me. One, two, three, four. Do you want to bring the next kit while I string this on? We can, we certainly can. I love this one. You know, you said earlier on so the last warm. one was your favorite. This, for me, it's like a sunset. It's warm. Yeah, like an Ibiza sunset. Now, what's that? A third of the stock's already gone. Okay, I'm not surprised. Um, this is beautiful. There's a warmth. To, I love that bracelet, Debs. It's just because I love my Peacock Angelite bracelet so much, they're the same size. And originally, when I got that Peacock Angelite, I tried to get the six mil 
I thought, oh, that's too big for a bracelet. So I kind of made it by default because it's the only peacock angel I yeah. can get. And then I fell so much in love with this size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've made other bracelets in this size. So if you think to yourself, oh, no, actually, it's quite a statement. It really does yeah, look Yeah, I bet you get lots stretchy. of Well, you can see, especially with those markings. Um, yeah, this one's flying out the door. So you've got this wonderful, warm sun. Like, like Yeah, like a wonderful sunset, isn't it? Amazing. Plus, you get the gold-plated um, head pins. So 50 of those. Then you get the two lobster claws as well, just there. Um, so you get two of those. And you also get the 50-centimetre chain as well. Twelve ninety-nine. Yeah, this is my favourite. I love this one. Yeah, because you're very gold. It really suits you, doesn't it, gold? And it's got this warmth, uh, warm tones that go beautifully with the gold findings, I think. It is a bit of a You flaw. know, if they were to be planets, that would be Mars, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, yeah. <laughs> it would be Mars or the sun. The sun. It could be the sun if you do things like your um, planet jewellery, couldn't you? It's the solar very system jewellery. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. It is flying. I'm not surprised this is popular. Um, and again, you get those wonderful, amazing, unique patterns, the beautiful bullseye patterns that occur within this gemstone. Every single one so cool and will be unique nice for gents cufflinks oh well, yeah it's a good call because you could just put um if you don't have cufflink findings just get um the other Ooh. side of a toggle clasp um yeah. you know the t part yeah and pop this on a um head pin and then that goes through the t part obviously goes through and just leaves this on the cuff imagine how cool that would be yeah amazing look at that it's gorgeous isn't it I love it. I love this. And this is the thing, you get lost in gemstones, don't you? I think you really do. And where you would wear some large pearls just around your neck, I think that you could just wear these around you, just these. And yeah. you can maybe just put a small spacer bead in between, but I think it would make such, it would be so elegant. Yeah, great yeah, for lovely. summer. Lovely for the summer. Amazing. Loving that. Twelve ninety nine. They are absolutely flying out the door, jewellery makers. Again, make sure you're checking out. We have never had this size before. Um, in your bullseye agate. It yeah, it's just it's so striking. It's one of those gems. It takes fifty million years to form agate. That is and yet we kind of lose sight of that, don't we? Here, it's especially here at Jewelry Maker, because we're kinda of like, Oh look, it's twelve ninety nine. Yeah. It took fifty million years. Uh -huh. It's mind blowing. It's a it's that's why I love gemstones is in this gemstone. It's I love everything about gemstones and mm. it just I don't know, the agates, they just feel like you could just dig and, and mine and this is what you'd find. Or does it all make you start to start excavating? Yes. <laughs> I wonder if there's any of these in my back garden down a bit. <laughs> That's so weird, we're having this conversation. Willow, before she went to bed last night, was like, Mummy, um, we found, because they do forest school, she's like, we oh. found a bone. She thinks it's a dinosaur bone. I was like, Highly unlikely. Okay, do you think it's a human bone? Oh, crumbs. Again, highly unlikely, Willow. <laughs> and I was like, she was like, yeah, we found a bone. It's it probably planted Aww. by their teachers or something like that. But it's cool, isn't it? She, she was like, can we go, can we go um, bone and gem hunting? Yeah, it's like fossil, yes. fossil hunting. Fossil hunting. Yeah. So cool. It is so cool. Yes. So when you see me now with like... When, you, when you're hiring the excav excavator. <laughs> Digging up the back garden. Escalator. Um, oh, but it does conjure up those kind of thoughts, really doesn't does. it? really does. It's inspiring. Um, amazing. Well done, well done. Are you f back so to death? So I was just going to... That's all right. It's just very quick. So just to show you, I know most of you know how to do this, but we have got quite a lot of new viewers. So... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Deb's gone rogue. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just pop on the other crimp bead to the other end and we finish it off in exactly the same way. You just take the end of your tiger tail down through your crimp and I would usually go down the next speed but it won't go but that's fine. Give it a pull so that you've got the size loop that you want or you could already add your, your jump rings and then just squash that into place and then you're going to um, snip off your tail so obviously this isn't the correct size I've done it quickly and then what I did was I just added them both that's why I did the jump rings last 
to a jump ring at the top, making oh, sure yes. that the short one sits inside the long one. And then I just oh, added top tip. extender chain, mm. um, but you could have carried on your, with your pearls. And that's all there is to it. So it's a super simple make, um, but you know, you know what you want to do with them. They're absolutely beautiful. So many design possibilities. So even that one and the one that I've just shown you looks completely different with a different beads, Yeah, they do, just do choice of different pearls. And, Same and, and different agates, of course. Yeah. I, do you know, I'm loving the choice of chain that you've put on this as well. That's the jewelry maker chain. I had a chain bundle a while ago. Some of you might have that in your stash. We did it, had it in gold as well. Um, and I thought, oh, that would be kind of funky at the back. Yeah, but you do get chain in with, with your project, oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. you can use an understated chain, more understated if you wish. That's true, you get 50 centimetres, don't you? And it's really nice chain. And it's a nice open link chain. Yeah. Um, these projects, jewellery makers, are very close to selling out now. There's less than 10 of each of them, so I definitely would encourage checking out your baskets. Thank you, Debs. As You're always, welcome. amazing jewellery and demo. As always. Now, in 20 minutes <gasps> time. When, do you know, we do prep, I promise you we prep. In <laughs> fact, we had a meeting about the birthday. Yes. Um, and it was like, oh, you've got Dave coming on on um, Wednesday to bring the most amazing fireball pearls. And I was like, oh, lovely. Very nice. I'm sold straight away. Little did I know that you get five strands. I know. I was like, well, oh, these are good. You get all of them. All of them. All of them. Everything that you see on this tea bar is coming your way in 20 minutes time and i know what the the birthday deal is i mean or i think i know quite often dave changes it yes he does <laughs> yeah quite often um well even if it stops where i think it's going it's unbelievable these are fireball pearls one of the hottest trends ross is saying we we had the we had the conversation before we came live this morning didn't we roscoe and Ross was like, I thought it was three strands, Elle, and it was a great price. Yeah. I thought it was one strand and it was a great price. Okay. Look, look at those colours. They're all natural. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's some of the most oof. metallic pearls I've seen. They're really beautiful. They really are. If you don't know what is going on in the pearl industry at the moment, then you need to make sure you're with us in 20 minutes' time. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, it's going to open your eyes to how difficult pearls are to source now just prior to that though we can squeeze in a few more deals amazing 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 um okay also we have the very last 16 olmec jadeite oh yes six millimeter rounds just here i'll bring them Ooh, over for yeah. you there's 15 of these available and we're going to do a crazy low price tag for the it. The colour. Yeah. And translucency. Superb. Beautiful. You know they're not mining Olmec at the moment. You know, mining has ceased in, in Guatemala. I know. So it, now's the time to get it, isn't it? Definitely. I'm not saying they've stopped it indefinitely, but they're not mining it currently. Didn't they find an artefact or yes. something? Yeah. A mask. <laughs> a mask of wow. some Mayan king. God, imagine so this is obviously that. history that we don't know yet because yeah. it's obviously a civilization we know very little about. That's so cool. So they've ceased mining because obviously the uh, paleontol not paleontologists, they're dinosaurs. So <laughs> archaeologists oh, yeah. um, have gone in obviously to investigate further. So um, amazing! It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful world um, of history. So that's coming up. We're going to do a crazy low price. Let's bring you some, oh. did you say silver plated? A thousand? Wait a minute, I've just, will you, will you just, will you just humor me a second? I need these. Oh, it is like a rainmaker. I go to sound bath therapy and she's got a drum that does this. It sounds like the sea. Hang on, I'll slow it down. Close your eyes, close your eyes. It sounds just like that, Al. Like the sea. Mm. And you lie down and she does all different sound. It's really beautiful. I want to buy it just for this purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it's an instrument. You know, when Tiggy's all hyper, close your eyes, listen. Definitely, it's all calmer down. Yeah, definitely. 
I can see the waves crashing. Do you want to see them? <laughs> We've heard them. <laughs> Look at all those. The only thing is, it's quite challenging for me to show you them. There's that many in the box. Oh my goodness me. What an amazing deal. 1,000 silver plated spacer beads. And look, if I do it this way, hang on, and you look along there, you can see the different, no, no, they're not just rounds. You get loads. So you've got some, okay, you've got like stardust, corrugated. There's the plain ones. And some more, I think they're just different sizes. Then you get like ribbed. Then you get like a diamond cut oh, look at illusion that one. set. They're, they're cool in like a marquee shape. Then these next ones are a little bit bobbly. Like an armadillo. An armadillo. Or a seed, did you say? Yeah, seed's far more po poetic. Yeah, it looks a bit like um, the little seeds that the Marla, the Rud I can't say it, Rudrashka, Rudrashka that Susie did. I bought that kit. Ah. Yeah, a little seeds that go nicely with that. Beautiful. Mm. So you get a thousand spacer beads. One thousand. You're going to be well and truly stocked, aren't you? And you could use it with your demo that you've just shown us there, Deb. Oh, do you know, I'm always running out and uh, of space beads and recently i went <laughs> i made a special little pot for space beads and i w literally was scrounging around the bottom of drawers oh, and trying to get we've hold of there. them with my finger hooking and just it, hooking it hooking out the them. corner of the box yeah we've all been there Ugh. and you get more dust than you do anything and else. then you get all the other beads you don't want that are yes. at the bottom of the drawer yeah so, absolutely yeah, i definitely need these i use them every day 100 percent. i do think the spacer beads are one of the most integral findings of jewelry making and they can just elevate a design yeah. you just you know stretchies like i was saying earlier on the bigger beads i think it's nice to have a smaller bead in between because otherwise when it stretches you see the cord because of the size of the larger beads and this just stops that happening yeah amazing love it and of course makes your carrot weight go that much further yeah um okay we you get a thousand how many do we have 60 available opportunities so you're getting 200 of each design is that right yeah 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 200 it's very good isn't it so you got your three mil which are the round ones and then you've got six by four which are the more marquee shape so if we said what yeah a pound each a thousand pounds let's be honest it's a pound obviously we won't do it but it just no. does highlight how good the deal is yeah because they are precious metal plated so at 50 pounds that's 5p 5p for i mean you've got to remember the work that goes into creating that texturing exactly that texturing that texturing these are plain ones but the patterning that the detail that goes into each and every single one of your 1000 beads and you know when you used to go to bead shops and you'd get that little tray some of our viewers would remember and you used to buy the bead by how much it cost so the yeah. 5p beads were there the 10p beads were there you know um it, that's what it cost 5p yeah okay well, we're not stopping there oh okay we're going even lower good we got we've got 60 available opportunities and also if you need to relax <laughs> So it's spacer beads or a rain drum. I think it's called a rain drum. Three pence per bead. That's epic. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Oh, it's just, I could just spend hours doing that. Take a deep breath in. In. Hold it for ah. a moment and exhale. Love, I hoped you were saying exhale. Amazing. <laughs> Well, it's such a good word, isn't it? Exhale. Oh, otherwise, you'd still be there like this. <laughs> Just hold it. You'd be getting redder. 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 <laughs> we had 60 available opportunities. Jewelry makers, unbelievable. But yeah, they are 100%, I think, um, an essential to any jewelry maker stash. I'm sure you'll all agree. Gone are the days where we used to bring your spacer beads by the packs of 10, eh? 10. Didn't we? And oh. you'd have to multi buy, wouldn't you? Yes. 10. You'd have to, because 10's not going to last you very long. A thousand, yeah. We want to sell out of these today, jewelry makers. 60 second clock on your screen. I know you're excited for your deal of the day. 
How, hands up everybody, if you have run out of spacer beads at some point in your oh, jewelry making yeah. journey. Yep. Many a time. Yep. Many a, many a time. So annoying. It is. It really is. When you've got a thousand of them, they're going to last you And a they're all while. different. It's not like you've got a thousand of the same. You've no, still got true. design choices within that. Loving that. We're going to sell out of them today. We're currently at 3p per silver plated bead. Not just all rounds, as Deb just said. Lorraine, Carol, Patricia, Marion, Sharon, Paulie, Maker, Maker in Angus, Cheshire, Madge, Hello to Sylvie, Hazel, Karen, Donna, Linda, uh, Rosina, Sally. Well done. We've got 60. Good luck, everyone. Five seconds, we're going to drop that price tag. Happy 14th birthday, jewellery makers. Gosh, just where does the time go? I'll tell you what. 2p per silver That's, plated bead. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? That'll do. I was looking, you know when Facebook brings up those memories on every so I love often. that, yeah. Yeah, I do as well. Even the sad memories I'm quite gl I'm grateful Me too. for. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a nice picture that yeah. I wouldn't have looked at today. If Agree. It hadn't. Do you know what I mean? Um, anyway, it was bringing up memories, uh, and I was going through them, and I was like, gosh, as if that was like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. I remember the fourth birthday, clearly. And me. And me. I, yeah. I remember, because I've been here 12 years, I'm sure I actually remember the second birthday. Yeah, you must do. Yeah, because it was in this studio, it was when we had... Um, when we had the workshop, workshop next room. door and there yep. was the glass in between yep. and it was on a weekend so maybe it was the second uh, so i don't know it was on a weekend and we all came in yeah we did all come in like, i think we did that on the fourth all the designers came everybody in. came yeah. in on the weekend yeah and we had a nice little buffet yeah. we all brought a little plate it was far smaller then obviously yeah. Yeah. we didn't have the budget that we do now but again isn't it so far how how how, how long how far we've progressed over the years i know it's lovely and it's lovely that so many of you have been on that journey with us as well um from day one in many cases with our lovely linda who launched the birthday this oh, year didn't she linda bless her she's lovely isn't she's she? an incredibly talented jewelry maker linda she is very she's clever so, lady again, so funny linda. yeah she is funny she's got the driest sense yeah, of humor yeah. <laughs> love it love it love it right okay jewelry makers just before we dive into your deal of the day we are about to bring you those absolutely incredible olmec six millimeter rounds now jade from whatever the location whether you're talking Burmese, whether you're talking Khotan, whether you're talking uh, Canadian, whether you're talking Guatemalan, it's always about translucency, colour, and if it's a carving, an artist, artistry. Mm. These are, and I don't hesitate saying this, some of the most translucent Guatemalan Olmec jade that I think I've brought to air. We know current situation, it's very small in comparison, as in the scale of the operation, very small in comparison to your um, Burmese jade, where big vast boulders, you know, the size of a car would be excavated. Mm. With Guatemalan, it naturally forms much, much smaller. And it's less than 10% of the annual production. So much, much, much scarcer. But the mining is currently closed. And that is because uh, um, archaeologists have discovered, or rather the miners would have probably discovered it, um, an ancient Mayan king's mask. So that means it's so not exciting. coming from the ground. I know, it's wonderful, mm. isn't it? As we learn about a civilization we know very little of. We're going to do one of the lowest prices ever. Are we going straight into this? Yeah. Um, there are only 15 available opportunities. Remember, Stanley Yu, so never mind what I say, or, or um, but Stanley Yu, I, I think we would all agree, is one of the most respected names in the world of Jade. And he was saying the future is Guatemala. Previously, um, you could get it at an, a, a more affordable price tag. Not anymore. You know, top jade is top jade. Those are his exact words. I have 15 available opportunities in your favorite size. That is a six mil. I mean, look at that. Again, remember the translucency and the colour are the two valuing factors of all jades, whether they're Guatemalan, whether they're Burmese, whether they're uh, Chinese, whether they're um, Canadian, whichever be the loca uh, location, it's about the actual quality of the jade. And that is all natural colour. 
Wow. Ross has just said in my ear, producer Ross, he says, L, I think this is the best Olmec deal that we have ever done, especially considering the grade of Olmec that you're getting. Wow. 140 carats of type A, translucent, natural Guatemalan jade. Aha. You know, I referenced earlier on that they've discovered an ancient Mayan mask. Here it is. Ooh. A stunning jade mask found inside the tomb of the mysterious Mayan king. That was Gen January 2024, so the beginning of this year. That's why Guatemalan jade is not being mined currently. It is, and, and, and that's fascinating, because actually the Mayan people we knew very little about, so it's yes. all... You know, uh, um, we're, oh, it's, it's historic, isn't it? It is. It's fascinating. And here is Stanley alongside Dave. Again, it, he's, his family have been mining jade. They were previously a wholesaler, set effectively, um, of Burmese jade in the past. But, of course, the Burmese mine is now closed. So Stanley actually opened his own. Rather than sort of continuing wholesaling jade that they can't replace, he decided to open his own high-end jade jewellers. Um, and Stanley Chu says the only thing more valuable um, than a bangle is a matte strand. This is the most expensive jewellery in the world. And um, we have sold type A jade strands for over 10 million US dollars. Um, I'm, I literally have got a matte strand before me. He's holding Burmese. That doesn't really matter. Top jade is top jade. As he goes on to say, the Olmec or Guatemalan jade making its way into China now is top Burma grade and is beginning to be priced as such. There is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market. Top jade is top jade. This material is the best investment because it is still trading below that of Imperial, but it won't for long. Do you know, uh, do you know and he's not the first to kind of highlight a really important uh, um, action, if you like, in your, in your gem collecting. Because Richard Wise, who wrote Secrets of the Gem Trade, and we're on like third edition or something like that, so it's an old book, old publication. But Richard Wise is like uh, like the guru in the gemstone world, effectively. When I was doing my qualifications, Steve Bennett said to me, handed me that book, and he said, read it and read it again. Um, because I'll never retain that much information no. that he has. Um, but he actually said, if you see a gemstone that you, lo uh, that you love and you can afford it, get it, because it will probably go up in price. That's the thing. And that's what Stanley's staying, saying also. A lot of Chinese jade miners are now mining in Central America. Well, not currently. Um, this has the greatest potential of all jade currently. The future is Guatemala. The acceptance is now certified here in Asia as it is listed as Fei Chi, uh, which was historically reserved exclusively only for Burma. Fei Chi, by the way, is that water content that Dave's referenced before. A piece like this, and you can see in that photograph, a piece like this would be would be priced at the top end of necklace value. Top translucency, pollen inclusions, p coveted color and glassy texture. This is an exquisite piece. That's that's literally Dave showing him a piece of jewelry that we've brought to air. Um, there we go. Uh, I mean, you could make that jewelry makers, couldn't you? Oh yeah. I have 15 available. I'm gonna repeat what Ross has just said. I believe that this is the best Guatemalan all neck jade deal for what you're getting that we've ever done in jewelry maker history. There are only 15 now. Originally we purchased 50, bringing you the final 15 for your 14th birthday celebrations. Certified natural, it is so worthwhile you getting that certificate, jewelry makers. We pay for um, the certificate of authenticity. We pay for the laboratory checks and things like mm. that. So get that document, it's pennies to do so. And it is truly invaluable, especially in the world of Jade. Um, the best old neck deal in, in jewelry maker history, I remember launching Olmec, and well, yeah, no, first off, you had those little the little yeah. pots, didn't you? You had the little pots where yeah. there would be like yeah. five beads exactly. when we first started getting it. Then it moved to like 20 centimeter yeah. strands. Now we're looking at a full 38 centimeter strand. When we first brought you the 20 centimeter strand, Ross is saying, he reckons they'd have been this price. 
Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Now you're getting 38 centimetres. Matched, like Stanley said. Mm. With that translucency. Top jade is top jade. We're at £199, but we're not stopping there. Remember the, the quote? A piece like this would be priced at the top end of necklace value, top translucency, pollen inclusions, coveted colour and glassy texture. This is an exquisite piece. Such a piece in Hong Kong would be appointment only. The problem is very few like this reach the market. Too many fault lines, um, so are very expensive. We don't see translucency like this. We're not stopping jewelry makers at 199. Six millimeter, certified natural. Goodness me, that, that is so low. <laughs> we used to sell the little oh, pots man. for 99.99, didn't we? You know the little pots that had like five or six beads in there? That's how we started with our Guatemalan jade. That's how it all began. Look, and then, then Ross is right, it progressed to 20 centimetres. Then now it, we're at 38 centimetres. Look at the quality of that beautiful colour. It's absolutely stunning. And it's only Guatemalan jadeite that actually produces that all neck blue colour. This will sell out today. Your split payment is frankly ridiculous. I can't even say that <laughs> out loud. Um, amazing. Uh, Renfusia, Patricia, Cumbria multi buying, Sharon in Wiltshire. What Swansea getting three? Amazing. Uh, Wiltshire, well done. Alison in London, you've done it. Sit back and enjoy. I've got Joanne in Norfolk. Maker, maker on the phone lines. I've got Marie in North York. Uh, sorry, South Yorkshire. Another maker. Um, four new customers getting involved on this auction. Um, hello to you all. Very good morning. Christine in Shropshire. Lorna, Sue, Fife. Um, well done. Cumbria, congratulations. Jeff in West Midlands, Sue in London. De oh my goodness me, it's so busy. You need to be checking out your baskets to guarantee your success. There is a slight queue, I think, on the phone lines, but I will stay with you. I've got two left. Jeff in West Midlands, you've done it. Marie in Yorkshire, you've done it. Renfusha, you've done it. Um, I'm going to say good luck, Dennis and Pearl. Good luck, Sue. Good luck, Maker. Good luck, Joanne. Good luck, Maker. Good luck, Maker. Good luck, Christine. Another Maker, Lorna, Five, Cumbria and Susan. I've only got a couple left. And Pete. Oh, my goodness, this is tense. Sally in East Sussex. Please stay where you are. Our call centre are working super hard to keep up with the birthday yeah. busyness. Yeah. I hope I hope we've got we've we're delivering chocolates to our call centre team <laughs> at a later stage. Has it sold out? Wish list it if you've missed out. Because if for whatever reason any of these fall back into stock, our call centre will give you a call. So wish list is your is your friend, especially on something that beautiful and that oh. great a deal. Um, well done, everybody. What a lovely hour. Wow. Phew. I know. You're beautiful, our gates. This birthday's amazing so far. It's going to get better. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're about to say this. Now, yes, I can hear him. Um, lovely Dave is waiting in the wings. And, and, and do you know what? I'm going to tell Dave, when, when I attended the meeting for the birthday, I assumed that your deal of the day today was one strand of fireball pills. Rock, did you think the same ads? See, Ross was like, oh, no, no, I knew it was more. I thought it was three. I was like, really? Did you? We were all wrong because there's five natural fireball pearls. There are 100, I believe, opportunities, and there can only be one person that's going to make a deal like this. There is only one person that could deliver a deal like today's. Definitely, definitely. The wonderful Dave is stepping into the studio. Do not go anywhere. Do everything that you need to do now so you're ready to get hold of this Woo. epic deal. And we'll see you after this. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish jewellery maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years and I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that Jewelry Maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year, the next year and many years after that um, and all the things that wonderful Jewelry Maker is going to bring us. So thank you again 
and hope you have a very happy birthday. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobbymaker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobbymaker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favorite crafting experts. From Hobbymaker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Thanks to all the customers for all your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Um, this is probably one of those opportunities that made my jaw hit the floor the most. Not only because of their beauty, but Dave, oh my goodness, how on earth is this happening? Oh, well, I'm going to be totally honest with you. It shouldn't be happening. Yeah. And I know that sounds like, uh, you know, me getting carried away, but I, I had very little to do with this acquisition when I saw it. I said we shouldn't be selling it. You know, when I when I saw the the deal, yeah. I know it's the birthday. I know that's for all fun and games, and it's amazing and uh, amazing deals. And there's certain things that we can afford to lose on. Uh, but with pearls like this, we've never seen them. So, and and not all pearls pearls are born equal. We we do get to see pearls occasionally, mm -hmm. which is amazing. In fact, in two weeks, because of how difficult it is to get pearls because of the Chinese demand, I've done something really unprecedented. Um, this is how drastic we have to go to even try and secure pearls. Um, I don't know if I've told you this, but I've had a whole pearl harvest from Indonesia flown to Zurich, right? And um, I'm in Geneva for the Phillips auction event, taking an hour train to Zurich to select South Sea pearls, because if they ever get to the Chinese marketplace, 
y you're not going to be able to afford them. Right. So we, we are pa I'm paying to have uh, the, a whole harvest, like millions of dollars of pearls flown to Zurich. Wow. And I've got two hours with them before they have to be turned around and sent back. That's and, why you but, can't be with yeah, us. Yeah, but okay. the, 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 the problem is because they're not, because it's not being offered as it should be. It's not sorted. It's not graded. It's not matched. Whenever I buy pearls and have done with Charlie Barron, when we go and buy, we'll go to Bangkok and we'll buy four years worth of Tahitians and South Sea previously before they've blown up in price. It would all be sorted. So they'd go, well, here's the, Here's the 12 mils, here's the, here's the 14 mils, yeah. here's the match pairs, here's this, all the grades, everything. We'd literally look at a document and go, okay, we'll see the, the triple A's. Can you bring the triple A's out there, bring them out? I'm literally gonna be in a room with about 60,000 South Sea pearls and they are just, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. I've got two hours to select the pearls. I, don't, I still don't even know if we can even afford to do the deal, but that's how drastic it's going to be. Okay, and right. with, with material like this, with polls like this, you're talking about the most unprecedented opportunity. I don't even know how you get more of these. So we're bringing these to you as fireballs. If you've, if you've seen traditional fireballs, they're so named because they look like an asteroid, a comet. They yeah. have that wonderful tail. Yeah. Um, these are from, they're, they're formed in the same way, but this is the evolution of fireballs. In my opinion, and I, I'll justify it as well, this isn't just you know some anecdotal whatever, in my opinion, these are gonna be the most expensive pearls in the world. Okay. And I'm gonna take you on that kind of journey, right? The reason fireballs are so valuable, <coughs> so expensive and uh, very rare, one, they're accidentally formed, mm -hmm. okay? That you can't, you, every pearl farm in the world, whether it's Indonesia, whether it's uh, Australia or French Polynesia or the Akoya farms in the Bay of Japan, every pearl farm is set up to create a round pearl. Yes. Okay, that, that's the, the, the nucleus is round, the, 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 the layers form in a way in, in, the, in the oyster that, that you hope to form a round pearl. And when you get those, those strange shapes, like your keshis, like your poppy pearls, and indeed in the case of the fireballs, something's gone wrong. But it's a wonderful accident, yeah. right? And, and in the three years that these were forming, it slipped out of what's known as the gonad in the oyster, and essentially has continued to form. And it's created these layers, undulating layers of nacre. Okay, so you get where it started, which is that round, the, the round bit at the top, and then you get this tail. Yeah, and please. the reason they have the, the most incredible luster, which is the most important valuation factor of a pearl, is because it's all nacre. Yeah, the solid. tail has no nucleus. So everything there is nacre, and nacre is what gives you the, the, the orient within a pearl, that rainbow orient. So with Edison's, although they're huge, you don't get much nacre because the nucleus is much larger. So yeah. it's a faster way to get big pearls. Yeah. Right, and, and obviously there are, Everyone's gearing towards getting the largest pearls they can in the fastest time they can. They are businesses, they are pearl farms. The reason Akoyas are so valuable isn't because they're the largest. By no means are they the largest. They're no. actually the smallest culture pearls, really. Um, but because of the nacre, because they're slow forming, because they take a long time to produce these pearls. And in that respect, because they're in those calm, cold waters and the formation is slower, the, the layers of nacre are more compressed and you get an amazing orient. So these accidental pearls that happened to arrive on the market in like 2005, 2006, everyone went wild for it. They were like, oh my God, beautiful shape, okay. But so much nacre that you get this incredible orient. What we've got is the last stage of evolution. I'm going to explain it to you, but the, the metallic wow. orient on these is like nothing I've ever seen. We've seen metallic pearls before. We're very yeah. lucky here at Jewelry Maker mm. that our, our pearl buying has been amazing for the last few years. And we've seen some of the most impressive pearls. You will have not seen anything like this. I hope we've stressed enough. We only have 100 opportunities. I'm saying that because I joined you yesterday and we had 200 agates that sold out. Yeah. These are pearls. These are metallic pearls. Yeah. And we only have a hundred. So these are these are what's known in the market as wish list pearls. Okay. They're usually sold singularly. If you go on my um, Instagram even on and David Harry Jules, I remember just being like spellbound by just one incredible they are um, fireball pearl in Tucson earlier this year. And lots of people commented on it. But you can see here when they're when they're not pitted, when they're perfect like this, you get this incredible, incredible orient. Now, the JCK, we know this, they've talked about how a lot of people want to try and get pearls post-COVID. And Stuart Robertson, Vice President of Gem World International, recently told JCK, now this is like 2021, that you can anticipate a shortage of finer material developing until probably 2025 because the harvest seasons were partially compromised because of COVID. The reality is we were prepared for that. What we weren't prepared for is the absolutely astonishing price hike that we have seen for pearls since last fall, yeah. right? they, they've gone crazy, all pearls by the way. 
Now, if you, pearls are a small part of our offering. We bring you tanzanite, we bring you jade, we bring you uh, agate, we bring you a whole host of wonderful gemstones. But if you go to someone who just specializes in pearls, like Pearl Paradise, who are amazing, they talk about their favorite finds from Hong Kong, and they, they do this blog where they talk about each day that they're there. It's a three-day event. So the first day, they're looking for gold and South Sea cashew pearls. The second day, they're looking for you know these incredible colors and Akoya pearls. And then they basically say, on the final day, if we've done all our business, we get to look for fun pearls, usually on the last day of the show. This is when we can concentrate on looking for what are known as wishlist pearls. Right? There's no point actually putting it in your itinerary and wasting a day looking for them because you might never find them. But okay. if they have time, yeah. they're going to go looking for these incredible pearls. And as I said, they're bought singularly. That, that is them there. That's, That's what collection. they acquired on the final day of Hong Kong. And you buy them individually. You can't match oh them. You can't do anything like that. As I said, and I hope we explained it, Fireball was given to that enigmatic type of pearl because of its unique shape, which features a round shape with a meteor-like tail. Okay? The individual character of these pearls allows for dramatic flashes of color as the pearl catches the light. We've seen you know, the prices for these pearls when strands have been put together. This is just the standard bleached large though, uh, fireball pearls that made its way to Bonhams. That's back in 2014. Uh, uh, my own experience trying to source fireball pearls mm. is there. That's a strand that I offered on Jewelry Maker, the bicolor. Yeah. And I went to this gentleman and said, look, can you get me anything like it? And he said, this is the closest I can get. With the touch of color, his pearls are the ones below it. And that was like $1,980 wholesale. Wow, and then, wholesale. Yeah, and this is uh, Salim Mansouri. He then reached out to me and showed me this parcel and said, look, if you want to select the pearl strands you want, you're going to pay $4,000 a strand. But if you take everything, it works out $2,500 a strand. There, there's the strands of Bibles, which are incredible. Um, and we, you know, some of them have barely any color, so you would want to select, so you'd be paying $4,000 a strand. That is before, by the way, the absolute phenomenal price increases that we've seen recently. And this is why I actually said to the team at Jewelry Maker, I know it's the birthday, but are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. You know, and I actually <laughs> said, even if we, you know, because I know the offering is five strands. I said, yeah. separate them, just sell them one by one because you're going to lose so much money. Well, I mean, there's fine. one strand there that's seven grand. This is, by the way, this is before what happened last year absolutely i remember that photo before yeah so we've all seen this this uh you know the, this presentation that i've showed you before they talked about how the the fireball production has disappeared you know pearl essence talks about you know these incredible wish list pearls again but what i want to really get to they talk about the evolving shapes and this is why i said we are talking about the evolution right. the whole push has been how do we get that dramatic orient where, where you've got so much nacre but less of a tail Okay. okay, because the tail is beautiful, but the premium is paid for the closer you get to rounds, the higher the price you get. That's why you get near rounds, you get potatoes, you get yeah. pure rounds. So there has been that evolution. Now I want to take you back to when these kind of first appeared on the market. This is uh, David Federman, one of the most respected gemologists in the world, and he's writing about fireball cultured pearls back in December of 2006. And he said they're bead nucleated, you heard right, these pearls were grown in freshwater mussels, implanted with seven to nine millimeter balls of shell along with pieces of mantle tissue, and then put in the water for two years while a cultured pearl grew. Um, now you're really confused, aren't you? Bead nucleated pearls supposed to be round, why are they misshapen? Mm. And he says, so far no one knows. Like, it, it is an accident. You know, and they talk about that they're predicting the breakthrough pearls like this for some time. Farmers may be trying to avoid the high cost of training workers to be accomplished nucleating nucleators. So instead of placing beads in the body of the mussel, they took the nuclei just under the shell in easy reach to the mantle area. There, unfortunately, beads can't keep pearls from going haywire. So these, you can't produce this pearl. The, the oyster does it. Of course, few are complaining just yet about the failure to produce rounds because Baroques are amongst the most popular pearls these days. At first glance, these first ever top Chinese bead nucleated freshwater Baroque strands, they're selling for $6,000 back in 2006. Yeah. Right? Strands of these were selling for those prices back then. And he says the new Chinese Baroques are easy to retail at three, three and four times their wholesale prices. So times that six by four, right? So like 25, this is back in 2006, when it was a breakthrough, it came into the market. But what's incredible is, I'm not going to bore you with it, but if you go to the bottom paragraph here, he says, eventually farmers hope the wing tips will disappear, the tadpole, the, the, those tadpole tails kind of disappear, yeah. and then so will the name Fireball, and we'll all, you, you will have perfect spheres. No wonder dealers uh, like Vol are watching these pearls with keen anticipation. So they've been trying 
to get the, the tail to disappear in the fireballs okay. since 2006, but maintain that incredible, incredible Orient and that metallic nature. Okay. And I'm telling you right now, this is the first time that I've seen it with my own eyes that we have this opportunity for you today. These are traditional fireballs. They should have that long tail. A couple of them might do, but this is that last stage of evolution. They've been trying since 2006, okay? Almost 20 years, and we're here right now to offer you the perfect pearl. I believe that. We're talking about huge sizes. We're talking about metallic color, fancy colors, exotic mm. colors, 100% natural, and the best orient. This is the only time I'll ever say this, you know, and, and I'm live on TV, so you can record it forever, and I sound like an idiot if I'm wrong. These have a better orient than Akoyas, and I've never said that about oh, Tahitians. You know, I agree with you. Yeah, I've never said it about Tahitians, I've never said it about South Sea, and I've mm. seen $60,000 single Tahitian pearls. I've seen mm. $20,000 golden South Sea like a month ago, mm. single pearl. They never have an orient. They're amazing, they're huge, they're spherical. They never have an orient that gets close to a coil. This doesn't get close, it surpasses it. And it's easy to say that when you've got that fireball because you can see those dramatic flashes. But when we start to move towards more the round, but well, this is gonna blow your minds. And I mentioned that I was in Hong Kong um, six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, I was. And um, I got speaking to a lady. Now the lady I'm about to introduce you to is one of the largest wholesalers of freshwater pearls in the world. And she had with her a selection of fancy colors and, and nowhere near as varied as this. I mean, it's crazy that we're putting all these colors all together. We one. should separate them. Yeah. We should separate them. This is this color, this is this color. You've got lavenders, you've got the papayas, you've got the bronze, you've got the aubergines, you've got the peacock greens, everything in here. Peaches, this lady separates them. And I want you to see the prices you're about to hear are wholesale. And I want you to hear how rare these are. This clip of film is three minutes long. This is me trying to buy metallic pearls in 2024, right. unsuccessfully, I may add, but this is a completely candid, it, of course it was being filmed, the lady was aware of it, but I want you to just see how difficult it is for us to even get metallic pearls. And the metallic pearls you're about to see might be larger than these, but they come nowhere near the, the orient, the dramatic orient that these pearls have. We only have 100, they're going to sell out, and replacing them is this difficult. Take a little listen to this. <laughs> This is it. With my teller. No? And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? What's the payment? This one. One thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And what, what size is it? Eleven to four. Eleven to. Fourteen, 14 mil. Yeah, yeah. Eleven to fourteen. And how much for these? Uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah. Everyone different. Yeah. Like like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining. And this one. Okay, I like uh, this one here. Price. Uh -huh. This one. What color is this? This is pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic pinkish, pinkish. Yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare. Very rare. Yeah. The 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 color very rare. You cannot get. And the bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls gone very expensive now <laughs> in the market because of Nini and Yang Ni, yeah. the social media. Social media, yeah, 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 very. US dollars. US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, 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 I only, this color, only one, this size. Right. Yeah, maybe a little. Smaller? Smaller, but a smaller, not metallic like this. Okay, yeah. and, and if, if smaller, <laughs> okay, so uh, uh. can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can, no, two, maybe, two. Two, yeah. Similar. So, Similar. so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what price if I buy these two? No, yep, you. This one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. $5,500 yeah, yeah. US. This quality. This all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. So we special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. Is this lower? No? This top, our top lower is over there. So for the top white? Yeah, top white. And what the kind of, what, okay, so uh, how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah, this line is seven. Seven. Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? If you buy all Natural seven, colour, right? Natural colour, yeah. natural colour, all natural colour. We all natural colour. Just the golden and the black. We dye. This is all natural. 6,200, okay. Now, can you put clasps on and everything, manufacture with? We can, we can clasp, but if you have clasp, no, we made it now, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. I wanted you to see that, you know, the, the shock even in the studio uh, from the team seeing it, you know, firsthand. Yeah. And, and the lady was saying, look, even for the, the white material, it's like $6,000. But you get the metallic, you get those colors, $18,000. And she doesn't even have another one. And, and this is why I was saying to the team, you should separate these. Like, because we should pay a premium for the larger ones and then maybe come down. But I said, you know, can you get me smaller of that color? She said, the smaller won't have the metallic. Yeah. And the metallic is the most important factor. That's what takes it, I mean, it's still crazy, but that's what takes it from $5,000 to $18,000. Yeah. You know, that, and, and these are the most metallic pearls I've ever seen. I'm the only person here right now that saw those pearls and these pearls. And I'm telling you, although hers were larger and more spherical, this has a far greater metallic yeah, nature. Yeah, right? They, they, as I said, I'm quite open about it and being honest. Even though I'm bringing you a koi pose during this birthday, the luster on these goes beyond that of a koi's. It goes beyond it. Wow. And, and there will be collectors, I know, I see your names, that will buy these and the koi's later on in the birthday. And if I'm wrong, you'll be able to see. You'll be able to put these next to the Akoyas that we bring you from Japan, mm, okay. um, which are 100% natural, slightly yeah. smaller, and you'll go, oh, Dave was wrong. Like, the, the, the Akoyas have a better luster. So I'm going to be banged to rights if I'm not telling you right now. But I'd also be an idiot if I didn't tell you. This is the best Orient I've ever seen on freshwater pearls in my whole time in the industry. And this is why I was so shocked that, one, that we have 100, and two, that we're even going to sell them. Like genuinely, I know that sounds ridiculous, but we yeah. shouldn't be really selling them. And, and you know, you've just seen in the, the wholesale prices, you know, the wholesale. Yeah, that's true. They're like, not that, that's not, I'm not at Yoko of London. I'm not at Mickey Moto. I'm in a trade only show and I'm trying to do deals. I'm saying, I'll take all seven. Can you get me another one? Can you get me something else? She says like many years, maybe I'll get you another one. That's it. Of, mm. If you want metallic, that's the reality. Mm. And you still, you know what? I'm going to show you these pills. Take a look at this, right, that's natural. That's insane. I mean, they, they are wishless pearls. This yeah, is the evolution of the fireball. You've lost the tail and you've got these absolutely stunning shapes. I mean, a strand is so extravagant, it's so indulgent. It's ridiculous, like, and, and to have five strands is a joke, but each one of those pearls should just be on an 18 karat gold bale. That's mm -hmm. it, done. There's no like trickery there. That's what this looks like. You've got an absolute incredible collar of color Community. on the neckline. Imagine just that as, I mean, I don't know if anyone will actually do this. You'll probably separate them and work with them, but that as a necklace oh. is price and application anywhere in the world. I mean, I wouldn't expect to pay below $30,000 any retail store if I saw that. No. If that is, is in their, their display, whether it's Yoko of London who carry freshwater pearls, if it's Mickey Moto who carry freshwater pearls, if it's any of the big players, Pearl Paradise, whoever it may be, there isn't, there genuinely isn't a, a, a necklace you can make with any other pearl that looks better than that. It might be more spherical, but the whole idea of the fireball is to have so much nacre, which is the key factor, that the, the shape isn't as important. Obviously, they wanted to lose the tail. That's what they've been doing for 20 years, right? We've, we've stumbled upon the greatest pearl ever. Dramatic flashes of color, unbelievable orient, rainbow orient, the most vibrant colors. Okay, how do we offer this to the market and, and get rid of that meteor-like tail? Although some of us love that and it's amazing, the reality is that marks it down. Right. Okay, it does, like just objectively. Some people might love it and go, I wanna pay more for it, but in the eyes of the market, mm -hmm. it will mark it down. Well, it's always the so they're like, how do, how, do we move, how do we lose that tail and move more towards the, 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 more, the more standardized Baroque shapes, the, the, the teardrop shapes, the, the potato shapes, the near rounds. Well, here it is. Here it is. Oh. And you have it in your birthday. For me, I know there's, been, there's gonna be lots of watershed moments in this birthday. Hopefully I'm gonna be part of a lot of them uh, as is Al, as is the team. And there's gonna be a Koyas, and there's gonna be new gemstones, there's gonna be offerings. 
This is genuinely the most important auction, not of the birthday, but that I can recall here at Jewelry Maker. Yeah. You've got and the ultimate... And you are literally ultimate... fresh back from Hong yeah, Kong. Oh yeah, and that's why I wanted to get that clip of film and show yeah. you, because I don't think anyone believes how much having metallic adds to a natural pearl. Yeah, totally. Like if it's genuinely metallic, you saw there, $18,000, that's wholesale. Times that by three or four. Especially in a strand. But yeah, and there's five strands here. I've got a hundred, I've got a hundred. I wouldn't care if only one of these sold today. I would love to take 99 somewhere else or do something genuinely because it's this, we're never going to just appreciate you're never going to see pills like this again. Mm. We're not magicians. Like I've told you the, the measures we're going through just to even see pills right now. Yeah, true. Like spending thousands on flying a whole harvest into Europe just so I can see it before the Chinese market can see it. And I've got two hours with it. And then it's going back. Do you know, to, that's such a, such an important thing, Dave. Yeah. The fact that, you know, you do have those contacts. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for those contacts, right, Dave, you can get pearls, but you have to literally jump through hoops to get them. 100%. I mean, literally I'm literally And happy hoops. to do it. You know, yeah. I'm going to be in Geneva. I'm going to take that hour train to yeah. Zurich. And I've got two hours to try and select pearls for, for, for us as moving many forward. As you can. Are you taking someone with you to help you? Yeah, well, no. Uh, I'm taking a Connor to document it. Yeah. You know, our cameraman, I want you to see it. I want you to, because I don't even know if we can do the deal. Uh, but I have a friend already in Geneva that's going to come with okay, me, who is so. a, a, a pearl expert, essentially. And I've, I've borrowed them for the day and just said, please just come and help me. Yes. Let's see if we can get these South Sea. Yeah, what an incredible many. achievement it would be. And like I said, there'll be, I'll be, you know, film every part of the process. Because even if we can't get them, I want you to see it. Because I think it's important for you to see it. Yeah. There's one thing me telling you, and I've told you about the and I've told you about the price of pearls in the market. When you actually see it, yeah, exactly. Just like then that clip of film, we were all just like, in "Oh silence. my god!" Well, I asked you. I was like, "Dave, they're freshwater pearls." You're like, "Yeah." Yeah, she says. I mean, when she bought out the whites, she said, "This is like South Sea." Yeah. You know, this is top top, and it was six thousand two hundred, I think. Yeah. If I bought all seven strands, I'm going to give you a thirty second clock. Good luck. Do everyone. not wait. Do not hesitate. Just pull the trigger and get these whilst you can. The thirty second starts now. I'll, I'll even go this far. There are people that know far more about pearls that are tuned in right now. People who maybe only watch Jewelry Maker for our pearl offering. Have you ever seen better pearls than that? Because I know I haven't. And I've bought, no. I've bought, you know, not me, I don't have the money, but on behalf of Gemporia and this partnership, I've bought millions of dollars of pearls over the last yeah. five years. I've been to the South Sea Pearl Farm in Western Australia. I've bought Tahitians in Bangkok. I've bought South Sea, I've bought Akoyas. I've bought Fireballs. They are literally I've like never seen better liquid than that. gold. I don't even have they? to talk about these. Like that, that's what you're getting right yeah. now. I've got a hundred or had a hundred. Well done to everyone already on the phone lines. This is the pinnacle, the absolute pinnacle. Wow. And by the way, you get everything in this shop. Everything that's on your screen, you get as part of this auction. See, that's just mind blowing. I See, said when this. I, when, when I was prepping, what's I that? Se Ross is saying should have separated and had 500 quantity. Yeah. Look, this is the thing. When I was when I was like reading through the show and when we had our meeting, mm -hmm. I assumed it was one strand, Dave. Yeah. No. I mean, when when I was talking to the team, I said, okay, so it's five auctions, and they were like, no, it's one auction. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's, I think someone's messed up here. The idea that we're putting all of these into one auction. By the way, if you can wait, if you want, but you'll never get an opportunity like this again. No. That's the reality. You're looking. At the finest pearls we have ever offered and we're, we're an incredible uh, jewelry house for pearls we specialize in pearls yeah. it's a massive part of our offering here we we are thrilled to have been able to offer you pistachio acoyas tahitian south sea you know edison's keshis fireballs we've n i've never seen pearls like this oh my goodness me sorry I'm just gathering them all up, Dave. Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? Can mm -hmm. you imagine this? And you said, what do you reckon? Tens of thousands? Yeah. That look on your screen in any jewellery store in the world, naturally coloured. Yeah, I know. Isn't it wild? We've just seen it in the studio and we're all just floored. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my. Can you imagine that piece of jewellery? Mm -hmm. Nope. I mean, just absolute perfection. The sizes, the shapes, the orient, the colours, 100% natural. Oh, my God. When, the, when you get this in the daylight, yeah. that's where the magic happens. Yeah, exactly. When you get look those... at it in the worst possible oh, light, this is, Yeah, here. absolutely. Not on screen, as in in the studio. Yeah, in the studio is the worst lighting ever. For most gemstones, but certainly for pearls. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, knotting those mm -hmm. in a big statement. Oh my goodness, when we talk about I hope at least one of you does um, 
just put them all together in one epic price and application piece. Yeah. You know, I mean, many of us, and it makes sense, would separate these. I'm saying we should do that as well um, and sell them individually or maybe find some match pairs or create mm -hmm. an understated look. But if there's one of you right now that is out there that's willing to put all of these into one statement piece for the neckline, yeah. I'd love to see a picture. I'd love to hear the story of what you intend to do with it. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. And do you know what? This price that I'm going to put on your screen, I, I don't even know where to go to replace it. Be honest. Could you? No, I genuinely couldn't. I genuinely couldn't. So even you know, at any you go price. To Geneva, yeah, I'm going to be. You're not going to be able to replace it. No, I mean, I'm looking at South Sea, and I know I'm going to have to pay four times what I've paid before, and it's even if I can find material. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They are, like I said, a, a, a metallic, unlike anything yeah. we've ever seen before. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Ross, I want to start at seven thousand pounds. I want to start there right now. Um, I've, I've held pearls that aren't as good as this. And I was, I was quoted $18,000 seven weeks ago. Okay. Right? So I'm already better than market, better than trade. But you're watching Jewelry Maker and you're watching our birthday. And it's going to be crazy. But don't ever expect this again. Don't ever expect this again. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Twist them. Use all of them. Mm -hmm. I th that I, I, is a piece of jewellery that you could never afford to no, buy. No, no, never. That's true. That's so true. Like, I'll be honest, you know, if I was in Geneva, which I will be in a few weeks, or if I was in London and I saw that in a, in a store window, and yeah. it said naturally coloured, freshwater pearls, metallic, and it was just like that in a, in a store window, I'm not even going to ask the price. No. I know I can't afford it. Yeah. I know that that is Same. not an affordable piece of jewellery. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm just going to tell you, you're going to see wonderful pearls this year here at Jewellery Maker. You won't see anything like this again. Look yeah. at it. Dave, 20 odd years ago, I yeah. was, the jewellers that I worked at mm -hmm. sold freshwater pearls. Mm -hmm. Not like this. Mm -hmm. They weren't metallic like no, this. No, 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 no. Just the plain white for more than that. Oh, God, yeah. And, and let's not forget. That's 20 odd years ago. 20 odd years ago, yeah. But let's not forget. 20 odd, 20 odd years ago, pearls like this didn't even exist. Yeah. Like, these colours did not exist. No, exactly. This is natural. But on top of that, let's not forget where we are right now. In 2024, it's the most expensive time in yeah. history to even think about buying cultured pearls. Not here. Look. There's a lot of you that have already confirmed. I really, really do thank you for getting in early because I'd hate for you to miss out if this is something you fall in love with. I'm going to do something crazy right now. And I understand we're probably going to sell out, but this is our birthday. And we want you to know that we are here serious about providing you with the most incredible deals. So I'm going to take £6,000 off the price. Amazing. I'm going to take six and we're nowhere near done. That's Even when five this sells out. strands, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. £200 each? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. These and, aren't and, small. And by the way, nowhere near done. Oh my goodness me. Nowhere near done. Look at the phone lines, the web. It's a, there's an immediate reaction. I apologise if you do miss out. There's, do, there's sometimes I'll say, sometimes I will say to you, look, if you miss out today, the cheapest I can find is, is this piece on Etsy. I can't vouch for it, but it's there. Cheapest I can find is this piece here at Pearl Source. I, can't vouch, I can vouch for Pearl Source. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you miss out today, get involved. I don't even know where to send you. No. I genuinely don't. How long are the five strands, please? Uh, Lindsay, uh, we'll check that for you. The usual length, I think. So 38 centimetres? Yeah. Full length. Strands. Full length, yeah. This isn't like, we're not just showing you a snapshot here. No, no. This is 38 here centimetres. Go, it's crazy. I think all of us are questioning it, even at this price. We're going, yeah. what's the catch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I totally understand that. Here we go. Hang on. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, Al. Can you just put them on the table again? All sure. laid out. Um, I mean, why on earth are we not selling those individually? I'm literally looking at them on the table right now. And there's not a jeweler on earth, not a jeweler, not a retailer, not a wholesaler that is going to say, we're going to bang all these together in a bundle. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, actually, yeah, that's a great point, Ross. Um, a couple of years ago, I was offered this by Salim Mansouri, That's true. right? That's There's a bundle. And he said, yeah, okay, we'll do you an incredible deal if you take all of them. It's two and a half thousand dollars a strand. Yeah. But if you want to select, if you want to select five, it's four thousand dollars per strand. Yeah. And that is before the, the, the huge price hikes 
for, for any Yeah, pull. that was. That was, what, 2022? Yeah, 2022, yeah. Something like that? Yeah. I I, I'm confident in saying this is the best deal in the world on freshwater poles right now. The mm -hmm. price on your screen. Yeah. A thousand pounds. No one would believe it. You took that somewhere, they go, how much did you pay for these incredible poles? And you go, oh, I've got them for a thousand pounds. What, for all of them? Yeah. And they're 100% they're natural, they're metallic, they have yeah. that incredible orient, you've got the range of sizes. Yep. Yeah. Maker in Swansea's got two, Hazel in Hampshire's got two, Virginia in Hampshire's got two. Five interest free split payments as well. It's, it's absolutely madness. A pinnacle moment. Good luck, everyone. And we're nowhere near done. As if that's £200 per strand. I'm nowhere near done. In fact, if it's okay, I know this, I know this is, is wild. There's a lot of you already multiplying getting on the phone lines. Can I take you back to Hong Kong? It's three yeah. minutes. When I come back, I'm going to take so much money off this, you're not going to believe it. There will be more people that miss out than, than uh, are successful. You have every opportunity to get it right now. Every single one of you is guaranteed to pay the lowest deal. But I'm going to take you to Hong Kong. And what you're seeing when I take you there, it's about seven weeks ago, is one of the biggest pearl wholesalers in the world when it comes to freshwater pearls, okay? Um, she can get hands on everything. And I wanted to see metallic fancy colors, okay? She didn't have these shapes. She had rounds, okay? That's the only difference. But she had a couple, she had one strand that had this level of metallicism. And it was $18,000. The whites were $6,200. Um, I'm, I'm gonna take you there. I want you to see this because there's no smoke and mirrors here. What we're doing is colossal. This is the, the biggest deal of the birthday, the biggest deal in 14 years, in my opinion. The idea that you get one, two, three, four, five strands that are 100% natural that look like that, and we are nowhere near, like nowhere near the final price is insane. And I said, I don't know where to take you to replace these, but I will take you to Hong Kong and show you what pearls of this caliber do command wholesale. Take a little listen to this. This is it. With Mattel. And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? What's the three This one. One thousand dollars, okay. Yeah. And what, what size is it? Eleven to four. Eleven to fourteen, 14 mil. Yeah, yeah. 11 to and how much for these? Uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah, everyone different. Yeah, like like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining, and uh, this one. Okay, I like uh, this one here. Price. Ah uh -huh. This one. What color is this? This. Yes, pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic pinkish, pinkish, yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare. Very rare. Yeah. The the the, the color very rare. You cannot get. And the bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls gone very expensive now, <laughs> in the market because of Nini and Yang Ni, <laughs> yeah. the social media. Social media, yeah, 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 very. US dollars. US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, no. No, I only, this color, only one. This size. Right. Yeah. Maybe a little. Smaller? Smaller, but a smaller, not material like this. Okay. Yeah. And, and if, if smaller? <laughs> okay, so uh, uh. can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can, no, two, maybe, two. Two, yeah. Similar. So, Similar. so yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what price if I buy these two? No, if you, this one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. $5,500 yeah. US. This quality. This all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. Also, special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. Is this lower? No. This top, all top, lower is over there. So for the top white. Yeah, top white. And what kind of what? Okay, so how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah. This long is seven. Seven. Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? 
give you buy a natural skin. color, right? Natural color, yeah. natural color, all natural color. We all natural color. Just the golden and the black. We dye. This is all natural. 6,200, okay. Now, can you put clasps on and everything manufactured with? We can, we can clasp. If you have clasps, so we made it long, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. So I tried to find a deal. I said, you know, can we go smaller? She says, I've got this one, but it's not metallic like that. Well, every single one of these is. One, two, three, four, five. All of them in the same shot. Mm. It's not like the bigger ones have the best metallicism and then this one doesn't. They all have that yeah. level uh, of, of metallic orient. This is a sensational, multicolored, exotic, naturally colored offering. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you know half the stock we believe has, has been allocated. There is three times more than that in baskets that we do not have uh, enough to go around. It is time to make your decision. I'm not gonna give 30 seconds. What I'm gonna do, because we are gonna do a massive, massive deal on this. It is our birthday after all. You know, it's, a, it's really difficult for us because we wanna bring you our best uh, product, right? Our best, whether it's jade, whether it's pearls, whether it's agate, whether it's whatever it may be, it has to be the absolute best. It's our birthday. We're celebrating 14 years, but we also have to do the most ridiculous deals. So it's a double-edged sword. Right now, I'm going to give you 60 seconds. Every single one of you, you've got the same opportunity. Everyone yeah. pays the final deal. No one's getting a better deal. There is a massive queue. I know that you know that. It's in your basket already. Do you want it? Because if you do, you've got 50 seconds to make that decision, to check this out, to make this yours. A legacy opportunity, the greatest pearl offering I believe we've ever put on your screens. The, the most significant orient, rainbow orient, metallic colors on these pearls that is a price on application suite on oh your screen right now yeah. that's for me that looks that's a thirty-five thousand dollar epic opportunity as is just like that on the neckline it's already at a thousand pounds which is insane we've just established it's better than wholesale it's better than trade it's better than we can ever do don't expect this in your 15th birthday it's here today and it's gone today and in 15 seconds i don't think you're going to really believe how low we're about to take this i even said to the team there's alarm bells i said don't put all these together separate them still do a crazy deal but there's no way all of these should go in one deal well, we're going to do it. Half the price. Half. half the price. Yeah, half the price. You've got the opportunity of a lifetime right now. Um, 38 wow. centimeter strands, huge sizes, amazing quality, the best quality. My goodness, yes. And you can do it. A hundred pounds per strand. Mm -hmm. You've got five interest-free oh, split payments. Oh, my goodness. Uh, look, if, if you are on the phone lines, if you have it in your basket, you have about a one in five chance of even being successful at this point because of the amount of demand we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. Gail's got two, Wilma's got two, I've got uh, Denise has got two, Maker in Swansea's got two, Hazel in Hampshire's got two. So many people, Virginia in Hampshire's got three. Yeah. Uh, good morning, great show, and thank you for the beautiful pearls. I have mine. The prices are out of this world. Thank you, Sharon. I, I, I knew that if I came here and said, Do you know what, I saw a strand like this for $18,000 wholesale, you'd go, no, you didn't. Yeah, even if I was to show you a picture on the phone. So I said, I said to Connor, who was cam my cameraman six, seven record weeks ago, it. I said, just record everything because this is so important. Didn't even do a deal. Yeah. We couldn't do a deal, but I was like, it's important to give you guys, empower you guys with the information. Maker and Cumbria's got two, Davinia's got two, Virginia's got three, Gail's got two, Wilma's got two, Denise has got two, Hazel's got two. Two incredible opportunities. Five strands each time. That's amazing, uh, well, isn't it? Cumbria's just got Remember 10. what that lady said? That lady said to me, she said, um, I've only got one like this. Maybe many, many years I can get another yes. one. Yes. I've got a collector in Hampshire who's got 15 strands right now on that's their way to you. That's Kathleen incredible. in Monmouthshire, you've got two. Maker in Cumbria, you've got two. This is the ultimate pearl offering. The, the insane, unparalleled, peerless, incredible opportunity. Uh, Janet, Maker, Jenny, Lynn, Catherine, Kathy in Buckinghamshire, Claire, you're there, Gillian, you're there. Um, we are extraordinarily um, busy right now. I appreciate that. Over half the stock's gone. There's, there's over a hundred in baskets. Yeah. We've got five interest-free split payments. Do you know what, Ross? 30 second clock. In fact, minute clock, please, Adam. We're, gonna, we're going even lower. So if you thought this was a deal, if you thought this was a deal, he goes, God, he's gone to four and I'm getting three of these. Oh my God, he's, he's gone to four and I'm getting two of these. We're nowhere near done. I said that at a thousand pounds. I said, we are nowhere near done. But now I'm giving you 40 
seven seconds to make your mind up, to decide I'm... if these are yours. Oh, sorry. 171 people have this in your basket okay. for the final 39. Yep. yep. That's incredible. Oh, Dave, literally you're going to Geneva. I, I just had to have these. Stunning and absolutely brilliant price. That was yeah. the Vinia. That was, that was when we went to 499. Yeah, she's going to be over absolutely the Absolutely amazing she? price, yeah. Well, it's going to get even better, the Vinia. You might want to get another uh, um, opportunity on these. Jenny, you've gone for two. Kathleen's gone for two. Bristol's gone for two. It's happening. This is your moment. You've got 15 seconds. As we said, over 170 of you with it in your baskets, but I've only got about 35 chances remaining. Maker in Swansea has just taken three. I don't blame you. Because you trust us. You know this is the birthday. You know we're going to do something special. And uh, when we when we say something, we absolutely mean it. Um, thank you for getting in early. You've still got an opportunity. Um, Ross, I can't believe I'm going to say this. And my whole point was we shouldn't put all these together, but we're going to. Take 200 pounds off me, please. 200 pounds off off this epic deal that our own collectors, by the way, that have multi-bought are saying, I love this crazy deal. It's nowhere near. Um, we are now what? giving these to you at 299. That, that, that right there. Davinia's gone for three. Can't, Davinia's up to order. What did you, yeah, I'm not surprised. That's ridiculous for one. Yeah, well, look, West Sussex has got three. Swansea's Ooh. got three. Hampshire's got three. Berkshire's got two. Sussex has got two. Swansea's got three. Bristol's got two. Kent's got two. Monmouthshire's got two. Linda and Devon's got two. This is it. This is a chance. Uh, Vera, you've got two. Denise has got two. Hazel's got two. Linda and Devon, you've just got two. Dave, Virginia and Hampshire's got four. Over 200 people have this in their basket. Yeah. And, and we don't have... Anywhere near the, that. Oh my goodness. See see this strand? Mm -hmm. One second. Right here. Today, £60. Do you know what? Today, that's madness, isn't For it? For me, this is why I said to Ross and, and the team we should separate these. If we brought you this at 4 dollars it's gone. Yeah. This. But you get this and four others. And they're all of the same incredible calibre. This yeah. is what the birthday's all about. Yeah. This is sixty pounds. Different Don't strands. tell me that. Don't tell me that. That's crazy. Do you want me to stop? Well, look. We, this, did we? Is, is did we painful? not? Did we all not just collectively see? My friend in Hong Kong showed me just white fresh waters. Yeah. At six thousand two hundred dollars a strand. Yeah. Yeah. And no, you're saying, with oh, you what that. these fancy colours? The metallics, the, the incredible rainbow orient, one hundred percent naturally coloured. Oh, that's um, that's sixty quid yeah. today. I mean, <laughs> it's 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 absolutely insane. It is mad. I get why you, do, you dug your heels in about this one day. Oh, well, I just, look, for me, it's like I'd rather look after 500 people than only 100 people. Yeah. You know, that, it's not about trying to make more money. Look, we, it would be insane to do those for 60 pounds, but we are crazy. <laughs> we are crazy. We never said we were logical, did we? No. There are seven chances remaining within the, uh, within the vault drawing makers. They are incredible Dave yeah. and we do like to make our own jobs quite difficult for ourselves don't we absolutely yeah don't, don't ever expect anything else again Fourth, 15th birthday next time isn't it yeah oh, I'm going to be out of the country we, there's no <laughs> way we're going to top this there is no way we're going to top this uh, he's already booking his holidays yeah look. see you later yeah <laughs> uh, five left there's Dawn, Glenda, Diana, Joanne, Dorothy, Jeannie, Kathy, Claire, Gillian, Caroline, Kathy and Yorkshire, and Yorkshire wants three. They will sell out. Mm -hmm. Wish list it, I guess. You can. I don't think anyone's sending these back. But no. for sure it's free. Why not try it? Um, good luck. That's probably my only option. Yeah, mine too. Nine too. So you're looking at this opportunity right now. It is on your screens, believe it or not, of £59.80 pence on your interest-free split payments spread over five months. Wow. And look at the unbelievable opportunity you're acquiring. Congratulations Sorry. to anyone that has been successful. Sold out. Yeah, of course. Of course. Congratulations. Um, as I said, you can't miss a single day of this birthday. We, we've still got some absolutely phenomenal opportunities that are going to be coming your way. And... Um, we mean business. I think you've just seen that. Um, the only problem is, every op because we're raising the bar by its very nature, if you want ultimate rarity, if you want those, it's finite, right? So they're, they're, although they're epic opportunities, they're very, very limited. So I apologize if you missed out on that. Every single day is going to get better and better and better. I know you've got an amazing masterclass with Debs coming up, which uh, is going to be yeah. sensational. 
the birthday the birthday continues it just gets better and better thank you for having me Alan. Oh, thank you to you guys as well dave always a pleasure yeah. always a pleasure can't wait to see you again oh yeah same I'm uh, sure i can't we'll, wait won't some, be long won't be long we've got some incredible things in store for you guys oh. it is the ultimate birthday the best yet and it's only just getting started i totally agree with what dave has just said congratulations everybody truly breathtaking and even more spectacular when you hold them in your own two hands. Now, coming up in the 11 o'clock hour, we've got more 14th birthday deals. We've got the old spinny wheel deal as well. Um, so we can have a little dance to that. And then we've got Deb's amazing masterclass with your bicolored selenite. Do not go anywhere, jewelry makers. We'll see you in two. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish jewellery maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years. And I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that jewellery maker has brought everybody has been wonderful. And I look forward to this year, the next year, and many years after that, um, and all the things that wonderful jewelry makers going to bring us. So thank you again, and hope you have a very happy birthday. Happy 14th birthday, jewelry maker! <laughs> Jewelry makers, happy 14th birthday. I remember the first day um, I was a little bit younger, not as old looking, and lots of things have gone on since then. But you've stuck with us. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible 14 years. Here's some many more. We've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks, not week, two weeks. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Happy birthday. Hi, jewelry maker. Happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains. And make sure you save me some cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday jewellery maker! Terry here hope you're enjoying the celebration so far coming up on Friday this incredible topaz strand in the eight o'clock hour with instructions in the eight o'clock hour can't wait for you to see the finished piece it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous I love this strand 12 p.m. repousse work always wanted to give it a chance we've got everything you need we've got the pitch bowl we've got the pitch we've got the copper we've got the repousse tools we've got your chasing hammer oh, it's an amazing amazing thing to do can't wait for you to see it brand new launch for the birthday i'll see you on friday happy 14th birthday jewelry maker Thanks to all the customers for your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, jewellery maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. 
taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. so lovely doesn't it it's going to be a really lovely weekend that is i'm excited so if you can definitely do your best to be there you got deb's there i haven't met our viewers for apart from who i bump into on a mountain about but you know like when we used to have the workshops used to meet yeah, them all the time lovely. and then we had covid and it's just lovely to be able to meet the viewers again yeah i, I totally love that. agree have and a chat, have a cup of tea, have a make. Yes. A glass of wine in the evening. Yeah. Definitely. All in a beautiful location because it literally, the surrounding countryside is stunning. Oh, I'm really excited. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, oh, yeah, looking forward to that. Now, Deb, something else is going on as yeah. well on the 30 31st. 31st. It's um, the make along. So it's like the world record for the most people who are making jewelry at the same time and we're still working on it but hopefully it's an unofficial an unofficial world record um hopefully we i'm sh should be doing one near where i live in west yorkshire so if you live in yorkshire and you want to come along watch my socials because i'm going to be i'm um, finding a venue come along bring your family bring your friends just Bring a, you know, and it, we're going to be um, zooming through to the studio and then all having a make along, and then I'll get to see our viewers then as well. Yes. Oh, we're just saying, why not official? I don't know. I don't know if it, I, 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 maybe it takes a long time to plan. Probably a, a world to, record. And attempt. you probably have to get these people into watch everybody and, yeah. Maybe. I don't know, but I think we should have made it official. Maybe this can be our practice run. This is, yeah, this will be our practice. Yeah. Well, that sounds fun. Any excuse to get together and make jewellery, eh? Absolutely. I'm game. Do you know what else? Um, <laughs> now, all joking aside, and we've been loving the VT. Yeah, this is it. Coming up tomorrow. Um, I spoke to the lovely designer who is going to be set, and she is lovely. She's always a bundle of love. Uh, it's, is it Caroline? Carla, that's it, sorry. Uh, Carla. And she's, she's a regular on our sister channel oh, okay. as well. Um, and she was she was basically saying, oh my gosh, there's pretty much it can engrave pretty much everything. So it can do sterling silver, leather, silver, all sorts, all sorts. And she said she's you know you can do flasks, you can do gosh everything. Um, the X tool is launching tomorrow, jewelry makers. How cool is that? It's just an absolutely fascinating bit of kit. This. Um, so she'll talk us through if you've got any questions sheet metals, coppers, absolutely you can use it on things like acrylics polymers uh, steel, you can see it there with your cup you could do like it's basically some of the most intricate engravings it's just like honestly there's nothing this tool can't really do at 10 o'clock tomorrow um Again, I mean, you can see that it is a professional piece yeah. of kit, this. The kind of piece that, you know, personalization is absolutely massive at the moment, isn't yes. it? Um, I can say this, but um, my best friend's daughter's birthday this weekend, Jake's, Jake's daughter, oh, yeah. 
it's her seventh birthday and I've bought her she'll be at school so it's all good <gasps> I've bought her a flower press Oh, she'll love because it. Because she's very outdoorsy she and she likes flowers and things like that. So bought her a flower press from Not On The High Street, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's personalised, so it'll have Molly on the oh. front there. Really, really beautiful, I thought. Do you know the price you have to pay to have Molly engraved mm -hmm. on it, or any name for that matter? <laughs> Not just specifically Molly. If I wanted to put Ross on there, you know, Ross, there you go, there's your present sauce, you're having a flower press. Um... <laughs> personalization but you can personalize everything not just in your names you know you put there what there was on that recording was it good vibes mm, good vibes cool you can do actual drawings with this as That's well amazing i'm super excited like i said it's such an amazing professional bit of kit i can lift it up show you she'll obviously talk you uh, talk us through this just amazing tomorrow jewelry makers at 10 o'clock so you're gonna love it you're gonna absolutely look look at that you can do glass just incredible absolutely incredible now also what's that sorry the mega bundle that you were eyeing up deb's oh yes i was this, this mega morning. bundle so you get 12 birthstones you know, is it even our birthday if we don't do a mega bundle on nah. birthstones? I don't no. think it is. It's kind of like become one of our traditions. Yes, definitely. Um, so all of your birthstones, mega bundle, 12 amazing strands, including your rubies, your sapphires, your peridots, your emeralds, your aquamarine, your tanzanite. Price per strand is astonishing. Um, silly, silly, silly <laughs> says Roscoe. Keep those messages coming through as well because we are, it's our first day of the birthday celebrations. Woo! 14 years. Yeah. It's gone quick. Where does time go? Generally don't know. It feels like only yesterday that I started here at Jewelry Maker. I know, it's, and it's just take, I don't know. It, you look back and you think, that doesn't seem 10 years no. ago. It doesn't. When did you, how long have you been here now, Debs? I would say, I think. Maybe I came in on the third or the fourth year. I was going to say, are you, I don't think you were long after me, were mm. you? Um, but oh, amazing. Now, jewellery makers, we've had amazing pearls. We've got amazing tools. One of the biggest trends at the moment, not just here at Jewellery Maker, but across all of our channels, certainly on our sister channel, Gemporia. Um, certainly, actually, if you go, if you have a little scroll through places like Vinted. Oh, yeah. You know, or um, Etsy is the inspiration of the Alhambra. It's everywhere at the moment. Um, and you can, you know, the intricacy, the quality of the stones that are included, you're not wanting synthetic or base metals, obviously. We are bringing you genuine gemstones of the finest quality, um, inspired by Van Cleef and Arpels, in precious metal as well. You know, when you're talking about slices to achieve shapes like what you're about to see, um, it is a challenge. When we first launched the Four Leaf Clover Alhambra inspired strand, it sold out in a heartbeat. Mm. We have brought further commissions, but we have recently, very, very, very recently, introduced the Magic Alhambra. And there is a difference. So if we go to their website, um, they'll talk to you about the vintage alhambra which is those perfectly symmetrical exactly the same uh, size of the motif itself but the magic alhambra is where they start playing with different shapes so beautiful absolutely beautiful but again you know uh, just quickly alhambra has been around now since well they actually say don't they 50 years young it's actually a little bit older than that um, however, this is a motif that is very uh, close to Van Cleef and Arpel's heart, much like the panther is, if you like, to uh, Cartier. Gucci like bamboo, don't they? They've yeah. all got their kind of little signature, um, their little signature look. Now, we've got two strands, haven't we, to bring you, both of which are sterling silver. One is the vintage, one is the magic. So we're going to start with the magic, which is our newest one here, uh, that you've been, I'll bring it closer, that you've been admiring already. These are all beautiful, genuine gemstones, jewellery makers, and they are all framed in solid sterling silver. 
Now, when we first launched these rasts, how many did we have? 105. I have 35 left. So can you see you have the two carnelium, the two broncharonyx, well, one broncharonyx, one black onyx, the malachites, the tiger's eye, and then the malachite again. We, again, have almost almost replicated the choice of yeah. the gemstones that uh, Van Cleef and Arpels actually use. Do we have that available? From 100 that we originally launched, you could literally just add the class to that, Debs, couldn't you? Well, yeah, I mean, I worked with this strand. I can't remember when it was. I think you launched it, I think I launched you? it. Um, and I just put um, chain in between and yeah. I took the leaves and actually hung them as a charm as opposed to actually within the station. But it, um, oh, it's beautiful. And the That's butterflies, right. do you remember? And yeah, because Adam's just saying in our ear, he, he put your um, put your design alongside the Van Cleef and Arpels That's right. design. That's right. And you can, and you can, again, just exquisite, both of them. But a massive difference in the price though, massive. of course. <laughs> because Van Cleef and Arpels work with white gold. It's not just yellow gold. Yes, they So do. instead of this being white gold, this is your 925 sterling silver. So you're getting that look, still precious metal uh, at a fraction of the cost. From the 100, from the 100 that we originally had, we are down to the final 30 available opportunities. Let's introduce the graphics. This was the launch of the Magic Alhambra where you have the heart, the butterfly, the clover and the leaf. Again, Van Cleef and Arpels use your carnelian. Mm -hmm. Van Cleef and Arpels use your onyx. They don't use the white onyx, they use the black. Van Cleef and Arpels use your uh, malachite. Van Cleef and Arpels use a tiger's eye um, and also in the leaf-like design. Beautiful absolutely beautiful vintage alhambra has been around since i think it was 1948 off from memory um whereas the magic alhambra was um a little bit later in 2006 so but again lovely we've shown pieces in the past here at jewelry maker you know uh um magic alhambra pieces that have gone on to be sold on first dibs for thirteen thousand yeah, pounds and that's pre-owned jewelry yeah that was i think it was nearly fourteen thousand the one yeah. we looked at on first dibs. that's right here it is it's just little sections isn't it yeah little sections just add some some chain and as you can see that leaf is is not within the station necklace it's kind of hanging down like a charm yes i think and that's i what added a pearl. Did as well i added a pearl to mine. you did so there we go and another one yes seventeen and a half thousand pounds so we have the same carnelian hearts. You've got your uh, tiger's eye butterflies, malachite flowers, and you have the onyx in the clovers as well. Just use some of your sections of chains. You know, I, I am not the most accomplished of jewelry makers. Um, however, even I could take, you know, recreate or be mm. inspired by said design. Um, just simple wrap looping if you wanted to. We have a limited quantity jewelry makers. We're gonna be bringing you some more amazing birthday deal opportunities. Graphics alive already. Last of stock opportunities, but actually only the second time that this has been on air. Only the second time. That's beautiful. You don't need to do anything to this. You could literally take the tassels off and put a clasp on. You could because it's held together with jump rings. Yeah. So silver jump rings. Silver, yeah. So you, you get the jump rings as well. Yeah. You know, so you just open the jump ring, add a length of chain, close the jump ring. That's as, as, as complicated as it gets. That literally would be the perfect bracelet length, wouldn't it? Oh, I love that all together. I think it's such a happy strand with the butterflies, the hearts, the leaves, and you've got the clover as well. It's just so fresh, isn't it? It's Gorgeous. Beautiful. It's going to fall beautifully over the and side of the like hand. Like if you look at it with your bangle, it's perfect for stacking. Yeah. Yeah, layering up. I just think up. layering up is lovely with those kind of bracelets. Well, I mean, this is a photograph from Van Cleef and Arpel's website. You can see it. it is happy, you're right. It is, isn't it? You know, just literally on that sort of simple white dress. Just, it's all about the magic Alhambra and yeah. the gemstones and the colour and the vision that they are. That necklace, by the way, 12 motifs, $30,200. Just for the necklace, that is, you don't get the bracelet for that. From Van Cleef and Arpel's themselves. I don't know about you, but I haven't got a spare 30 grand knocking around. 
And even if I did, I'm not sure I'd pay it. Um, you know, how about actually recreating using the same materials all right this is gold yours is going to be silver the same gemstones and getting it at a fraction of the cost already people getting involved gail well done getting two london getting two davinia getting two swansea getting two mary you've got yours as well well done precious 925 sterling silver now your first precious this is the second time it's been brought to air a lot of silver in this yeah and it, if you compare the prices it's actually funny I yeah, mean, yeah 30 yeah. grand 199 pounds 30 grand but we're not stopping at 199 no you remember don't you Debs? Yes. <laughs> that's a cracking deal it is an absolutely amazing deal every single look how beautiful that is 1968 was the first i beg your pardon alhambra and then in 2006, they introduced the Magic Alhambra. Look how beautiful they are. We have this. And if, I want, if you want to see the difference between the two. So there's the Magic Alhambra inspired piece. Here is the Vintage Alhambra. <gasps> together you could have a really long line oh, necklace that, would that be gorgeous. does not cost you 30 grand no oh gosh no we are not stopping at 199 jewelry makers this is coming up we're going to bring you some amazing birthday deals next price crash jewelry members don't forget if you shop over the entirety of the birthday one of you will receive a mystery prize worth over 1400 pounds how amazing is that? All you've got to do is shop with us. That's all you have to do. At £99.99, pence, we're still no way near done. First time we've ever had anything like this. Even with those clovers, it was three figures, wasn't it? With those... No way was it. The clovers, the classic clovers was... No. Ross is saying we closed it here, the first one. Did we? Ah, when the fire alarm went off, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that's why, because we took it lower because of the fire alarm, didn't we? We take this, even though arguably they're more complex shapes, 150 of the first strand, first uh, a strand like this, 150 sold out. We had a fire alarm, so literally had to leave oh, and vacate. No. And then when we came back, because we were out there for a bit, and then we came back, we were like, okay, right, here we go. Apology price. We took it to, to a crazy 69.99. That was the first one, the first Van Cleef mm. strand that we ever launched. Sold out. We take this lower, even though surely, surely the butterflies should be more expensive. Surely they're more intricate. And the heart. Yeah. It must be really difficult to get that complete, well, all of them. The shape is just beautiful. It's a lot of silver too, isn't it? And they're completely symmetrical, those little motifs. They're so clever. Good luck, everybody. Going to take it to your birthday deals. $69.99. I, I'm already happy. Ah, that's a great deal. Every pound, every penny off. Happy birthday, jewellery makers. Keep those messages coming into the studio as well. $49.99. That's absolutely amazing. And that was the price that I was looking at some costume jewellery at yeah, the other day. Yeah, that's not precious metal. And not precious metal, Not definitely not gemstones. No. I mean, it was nice. I liked it. But yeah. It was... I, I was actually even more shocked than I usually am about the price of costume jewellery. So to think that you can replicate something um, or be inspired by something as beautiful as... A necklace that would cost you like what did you say thirty thousand thirty thousand dollars dollars yeah yeah thirty and that's the necklace not the bracelet Agreed. so you have to pay extra for that <laughs> <laughs> if you want that entire suite <coughs> amazing isn't it absolutely amazing well done and you are getting genuine gemstones of fine quality I mean, look at the grade of the malachite look at the quality of the carnelian how glowing it is look at the amazing translucency of your broncoronics and then that wonderful striking contrast of course with your Black Onyx. Well done, Neris, Lancaster. Hello to you, Lowe. Is it Lowe or Louth? 
uh, Swansea multi buying, Davinia multi buying, London multi buying, Gail multi buying, Mary, well done. I've got uh, Tracy and Merseyside, Millie B, hello to you, Lancaster, you're there as well. I only had 30. Well done. Let's dive into your beautiful clovers. Oh, that's an amazing strand. Oh, and you've got perfect pairs here. So if you want oh, ideal opportunity to make the earrings. Now we've got 20. 20 available opportunities. Wow. Colors are gorgeous. That's gorgeous, yeah. I want to buy this strand. There is only 20 available though. Again, solid 925 sterling silver framed around green onyx. And then you have your, is this chalcedony? Mix of onyx, yellow chalcedony, blue chalcedony, green onyx, red onyx. Yeah. There you go, across the entire strand. 20 available opportunities, so not that many. First price crash. Already Swansea, Dorothy, London and Helen are there. First, not stopping there. Going even lower. Whether you choose to be inspired by the original vintage Alhambra with those, what, approximately two inch sections in between. Over the top of the head necklace, a kind of design that we have, you know, has, has stood the test of time, hasn't it? Yes. And that's, that's something. Yeah, just like that. You know... With so many celebrities, royalty, oh yeah, wearing this gemstone all around the globe, or check wearing this design, take inspiration and recreate it at a fraction of the cost. At thirty nine ninety nine, well done. Again, so many of you actually getting involved. We've shown you photographs, haven't we, of um, Queen Camilla? We've yes. shown you. Uh, Princess Catherine. Princess Catherine. Does she? Oh, yes, of course she does. Yes, of course she does. You've got uh, Renee Zell. Not Renee. I always say Renee Zellweger, although she feel, I feel like she would have one. Reese Witherspoon, thank you very much. Um, Mariah Carey, loads of different celebrities, all photographed. Angelina Jolie. Uh, Adele, all of those. Um, well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. I've got to move on. Um, we've had a message into the studio. Oh, this is Shelby. Bless. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. Shelby was born the same year you were born. Aww. Oh, bless you. Shelby has the most amazing eyebrows. Yes, Shelby, you're beautiful. So gorgeous. You're beautiful. So, so, so gorgeous. So Shelby's 14 today. Oh, Shelby. Bless you. Paws up, lots of tummy rubs and treats. Shelby, paw. <laughs> yeah. Is Shelby a boy or a girl, do we know? Shelby, I'm going to say a girl. I don't know, it could be a boy's name too, couldn't it? Yeah. Good doggy. Here's a good doggy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shelby. Ah, <laughs> dogs are the best. They are the best. They are the best. Ah, 14 years young, bless. Um, amazing, well done everybody. Right, ah, thank you for that photo. Happy birthday, Shelby. We love dogs, so yeah. Always happy to receive photographs of dogs. Um, especially birthday dogs. You know, has you, has you got a special doggy birthday cake? Pause up. Daisy makes the birthday cake for the do uh, proper dog friendly birthday cupcakes. I've yeah. got pictures of, of them sitting looking and she's blowing out the candle and they're just looking like, just give me the cake. Just give, give me, me the cake. cake. What do you put cake. in the doggy birthday cake? Um, peanut butter, but it, it has to be a special one now. All yeah. peanut butter used to be okay, but now it's just the. Um, I don't know. She's, she just goes off and does it. There's special variety. Yeah. She, does, she looks for the special eat. recipe and then she does. <laughs> She's made them biscuits as well before cookies. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Your doggies are very spoiled. Yeah. They're, they deserve spoiling. They're though. my fur I've, children. I've, yeah. I've said it so many times. I genuinely think dogs are the best species on the planet. I love them. I do. I think that all they want is love. I've got two cats that think they're dogs as well. Oh, do you? See, my cat's are very aloof. Um, it's always on their terms. Always on their terms. I couldn't call mine aloof. 
It's there. So, like, you came round to my house for dinner and you didn't even see Dave. Yeah, but wow, what a beautiful cat I did see. Oh, Pearl. Yeah, she is. She's lovely. like the cat on um, that Disney. She's like a Disney cat. Oh, what's the film I'm thinking oh, of? Oh, Aristocat. Yes. She is she's a got bit. a big fluffy tail and she kind of w walks in like, I'm here. But then sounds like Owen Wilson. Wow. She's the Mariah <laughs> Carey of cats. Wow. <laughs> right then, let's see how many of you are watching Jewelry Makers. We've brought you some absolutely spectacular deals, haven't we? Wow. Um, <laughs> happy birthday, everybody. You love them, don't you? Um, Dan got, got, got worried that he'd lost said oh, cat, yeah. by the way. She was hiding, that's all. I told you, she's aloof. How about what? 4 99 for a matching pair a beautiful red onyx oh that's good very good it comes in this box as well a dad lost my cat but you hadn't lost the cat no i didn't see the cat for like a day she you didn't see her for a day yeah. i told you she's properly aloof well i hadn't seen her by that time ah uh, no well, she just hides behind the back of our, our bed I do have two cats. You did text me that as well. I only saw one. Um, Maybe she's lying. Two ninety nine. <laughs> Forget that price tag. Two ninety nine. Oh no, we're going even lower. How many we got, Roscoe? Fifty available opportunities. London says I'll have three. Thank you very much. Tell you what, that's a great price for this. How much is it, Al? There's a bird. <laughs> <coughs> Always makes me cough. Bird. <coughs> it's a bird. Pant. 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 <laughs> See what I mean? It makes you cough, doesn't it? That was... How did Frank Butcher talk like that? I loved pat, him. Pat, he had pat, such a pat, nice pat. face. He did, yeah. Pat, pat, pat. pat. Uh, Clayton Gloucester snapped up 10 of these. I don't blame you, my lovely. I don't blame you. Um, we had 50 opportunities. It's a pound. Happy birthday, jewellery makers. Um, FYI, by the way, I do have two cats. And you know, you both saw separate cats. <laughs> I know. <laughs> separate cats. Because, Dan, you made quite a bond with Dave. Yeah, I mean, by the end, it was, like, it was amazing the, the, the turnaround. journey our relationship. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> oh. The journey your relationship. Yeah. Whereas cat, um, Pearl's much more of a lady's cat, you see. She, yeah, she came up to me, didn't she? She, did yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. Um, she thinks she knows she's beautiful. She is beautiful. She knows she is. Um, make sure you check it out, everybody. We had 50 of them. One pound deals. What about deals? Um, what's the time? Oh, goodness me. Time is racing by today. Well done. Well done. Well done. Don't forget this mega bundle on your um, birthday strands as well. It's on pre-order right now. Of 140 opportunities. Ooh, that's of those. good. Price per strand, Debs. Ridiculous. Really? Is it? Are you going to tell me? No. Oh, okay. Space beads? B caps. B caps. Yeah, they're B caps. I ha A bit of Van Cleef, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness me. All of those. And they're what? Sterling silver? Yeah. 925 sterling silver. Um, you get different designs here, Debs. Are these what I think they are? Because I need them. Are they bead caps? Yeah. Oh, bead caps. But bead caps, but with differences. You used to get one design, didn't you? You did. These are like my, maybe my most favourite finding ever. Oh, really? Because they will transform a simple bead into an earring, into a... Uh, they just elevate a design. Sometimes it's all you need to completely change the look of the piece of jewellery. I love the fact that you've got the different designs within there as well. How many did you get? 50? Oh, look. Yeah, 10 oh, of each design. Flowers. So look, if I hold them up to you, you've got like a stargazer lily. Oh, I love You might be these. thinking different flowers than me. You've got a very kind of very beaded effect. A bit daisy-like oh, or forget-me-not. Then you've got like a... Ooh, what do you reckon? Like a sunflower? Yeah. And then you've got like a bigger sunflower? Mm -hmm. I'm running out of flowers. Oh, dahlia! Dahlia! <laughs> <laughs> that could be a. <laughs> I think the next one looks like a sunflower. <laughs> uh, the, this one. Oh, now there's definitely a plant, a flower that looks like this with like four petals. A pansy. Yes. 
It looks like a pansy. It does look like a pansy. Sorry, did I just deafen everyone? Listen, do you know yesterday, uh, you laugh, I was in a garden centre yesterday. I love a, love a wander around a garden so centre buying the plants. I get. I don't know what I'm doing, but I have a go. Who do cares have a as go. long as it makes you happy? And then, do you have them in pots or in the borders or both? At the moment, like this summer, because we're going to be doing the garden, that's the next project. I'm not putting any in the ground, whereas I would normally, mm. um, because it's all going to get dug up. I like pots because you can move them. Yeah, about. pots. Yeah. Uh, so I've got loads of pots. Lovely. Loads and loads of pots. Um, okay, you get all of those. Fifty. Look at the grand weight of sterling silver. Lots and lots of flowers. How about a birthday deal? One pound each. Very good. Your favourite finding, Debs? I love it. I just, yeah. I Again, I know I keep going on about this. I seem to run out of everything, but I do definitely run out of spacer beads and I definitely run out of these. In fact, I think I've got about four in my whole stash now. Oh, really? Of bead mm. caps? Mm. You definitely need some more then. Definitely. Definitely, definitely need some more. We had... How many available? 70 available opportunities. Next price crash. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Yeah, just one on the little featherweight head pin. Pop your gemstone, B cap on top, attach it to your shepherd hook. Exactly done. And away you go. £24.99 oh. only for a pack of 50. But we haven't had one for a while. Yeah, mid-morning. Oh, a deal wheel. Are we ready? Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, hang on. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. On solid sterling silverware, let's be honest, the, honest, the bullion market's the bullion mar market. What'd you say? Under 20 quid. It don't jerk. I love it when everybody's hoping for really good. Ross is hoping for five percent. So when it get, everyone goes, yay, Ross goes, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. Is that lower than you were expecting, Roscoe? It's, it's done. done exactly. It's done. I like that's the attitude, Ross. That is the attitude. At the end of the day. The powers that be decided on a deal wheel. That's, that's what true. happens. That's true. That's how we've got to just roll with it. You gotta roll with, with it. it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. All right. Just chill, Ross. Everybody get in your way. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Um, Nineteen ninety-nine jewelry makers. Well done, Val. Valerie and Cyril, hello to you. Paula, Valerie, Mary and Jerry, Susan, Sharon, Alison. Keep your text messages coming through, everybody. You know what, says Ross. Oh, he's got it now. He's got these he's got a taste for it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I need to practice something now. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Yep. Deal wheel. See if I can figure it out. <laughs> I need to, it doesn't quite, who spins the wheel like that? It's 20 again. Was it 20 again? <laughs> who does, I am on the wrong side. You, <coughs> like that? Yeah, just push it. Push it. <laughs> Another 20%, so you've just got 40% off these then. Nice. Four pounds off, yeah. Four pounds off that price tag, Roscoe. Oh my goodness. More 14th birthday deals as well. And each of your purchases, by the way, yeah, don't forget, if you shop over the birthday, you have the chance of winning. Very good. Very, very good. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> Ross is saying you've got a really good deal there. It is good. Very you good. You know, you know, like like Ross goes a bit sensible when that's the case. You say, oh, that's a really good, that's a very, very good price. Yes. Well, you got to think about it as well, the texturing, the detailing. Yeah. There are, there's five different designs exactly. on this. Just the amount that you get. Super good. 40% off. 
loving that. That's pretty good. Loving well done, that. everybody. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Keep those messages coming through and you've got the most amazing masterclass with our lovely Debs. Buy coloured selenite launch. <gasps> Do you know, they, again, I know I'm always talking about my daughter, but she came and she looked at this, she went, oh, they glow from inside, mum. They do. What are they? And I went, they're selenite. She went, oh, that, that figures. Could you, you can see, see they're magical, aren't they? They are really magical. The launch of your bi-coloured selenite. We've brought you coloured selenite, but mm -hmm. never the bi-coloured selenite. So that's launching um, in just under half an hour's time. You could use your bee caps with these, couldn't you? Yes, absolutely. I think that would work beautifully. They're so happy. They are happy. I know, and I love a colour, especially at this time of the year when you can wear all of these beautiful colours and if you're not someone who wears a lot of colour in your outfits you can add it in your jewellery yeah totally you? I like doing that I'm like that I'm really lazy at dressing I've, the older I've got the late it's true I am <laughs> no I do dress <laughs> but I'm a late I can't be bothered thinking that's the thing yeah. especially early in the morning I just chuck on the same clothes all the time so colour tends to be an accessory do you yes know what I mean? agree um that's what i do um okay let's bring you now Ooh, these are very nice yeah they are let me show you i'll need my tweezers so one sec you get two right so two leaf bales but they're also oh my goodness you've got the burr but they're also illusion set bales so look at that can you see that? So it creates the floating look. Oh, that's really clever. Look how gorgeous they are. Oh, I need some of these. That's a lot of silver invested in this. I've never seen them before, Ross. Are they new? Oh, on air once, month previously, flew out the door. Have we got quantity now? 80. Okay, well, they're going to go, aren't they? They're going to sell out with the burr. You've got the burr on the peg as well. That gives you much more of a more of a purchase, if you like, when yeah. you're actually gluing your gemstones in um, into place. Seventy available opportunities, and just under a gram per. It is. It's about ninety gram. Um, not point nine, isn't it? Grams. Yeah. Yeah. They. You can see how substantial. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They are. So if you've got something a bit larger that you want to put on a bell, these would be perfect. Yeah. Oh, like a, a big brock pearl yeah. or a big. Keshi or Fireball, for example, Ooh. that you saw a while ago. Um, okay. How about 14th birthday deal, jewelry makers? What? Thank you. They're sterling silver, Ross. <laughs> just, uh, just for the record, can I just say, that was Lauren <laughs> passing me a coffee. Um... <laughs> I know it sounded like something very different, didn't it? <laughs> it sounded like something else. That was <laughs> thanks for that, Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> totally sent me one up there. It's the coffee, okay? It was the coffee. <laughs> uh, now it sounds like I'm blaming the coffee. It's, oh, just leave it there. Um, <laughs> under ten pounds, nine ninety nine. You've got zero point nine grams um, in each of your illusion, illusion. stylized leaf bale. No, Minute no. clock says Roscoe. Wow, not base metal, solid sterling silver. You mentioned earlier on, back in the day, when you used to buy individual beads. Yeah. You know, I wonder how much something like this would have been. Oh, they didn't have sterling silver. No. So, you know, they didn't have that. I mean, you know, you'd pay 50p for a bead and you'd be all right with that. Yeah. You know, but, and then you'd get to the cash desk and like go, oh my goodness, because, you know, you got up. excited and it adds up. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's only 50p. And that, that does add up. Absolutely. We're bringing you solid 925. Again, if I turn it side profile, you can see the investment of sterling silver within these. You get two of them as well. They're not small, 18 mil, 18 millimetres. They, yeah, they're, I think 
we struggle to find the larger ones because we don't bring them as much. In fact, I don't think I've seen one this size. I don't know if I've just not been on a show with them, but um, I have got some Baroque kind of fireball pearl that needs one of these. And I've yep. been hesitant to put it onto the other ones because they're just a bit small for it, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Even design wise, I think this would look beautiful. It'll balance. Top. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. Okay, we didn't need to go lower, but it is our birthday. Very good. That's four pounds for a sterling That's amazing. silver. Beautiful. That's super good. Lovely movement. I know it says leaf, but I can also see like flames. So we were talking about fireballs and yeah. flames of colour. So it'll almost create uh um it's an extension of that flame of colour. Yeah, I think ah. that'd be lovely. That's pretty, 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 pretty. We had 70 available opportunities during Makers. Keep those text messages. Have we had any text messages into the studio? Oh, no. You've gone all shy. Text in. Come and say hello. We were talking earlier on about the fact that um, what our favourite shows we'd like to bring back. Yeah, it was quiz shows, wasn't it? Quiz shows. Oh, what about favourite shows you'd like to bring back? Do you know, I used to be obsessed with fame. Oh, like the actual movie? No, the, there was a series. Was there? Yeah, and it was probably before your time, and I was obsessed with it. Oh. And I used to watch that, you know, when you, you used to, you have to wait for your program in those days, didn't you? And then you used to go and record it on the VHS. You used to record it on the VHS. I remember the VHS, yeah. I remember that. I, I remember yeah. the video recorder with the remote control that was on a cord. Yep. I went across and you'd trip and over And you used to it hire it, didn't you? Yeah. And I remember we hired ours and it wouldn't work and the guy came out and Tyler was only about three and he said, I found your problem and Tyler had put a jam sandwich in the... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the little letterbox. He'd obviously thought in his little head, oh, this fits perfectly in there. So there the guy go. just got the jam sandwich out, <laughs> cleaned it and it worked. And it was all good. Yeah. Do you remember the VHS that used to put the, the, the cassette yeah. in the top and then push it down? Yeah, and it went... G-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-
just because it talks about the difference in the actual quality it's been it's probably been best part of a year since i've read i've read i've actually read we don't have to read it all maybe but rhodochosite is a manganese carbonate mineral that ranges from the subtle rose pink to bright pink fuchsia red sometimes found in zigzags of white throughout the stone why is rhodochosite pink well the pink color comes from the manganese in the stone and subtly changes across each layer um, as the stone forms over time raw, raw rhodochrosite forms in fractures of sedimentary and metamorphic rock often produced as a byproduct of silver mines oh. which i know further on it actually talks about this being called inca rose uh rhodochrosite pink color gem so no, no, no. the name rhodochrosite comes from the greek word meaning rose colored much of the banded form of rhodochrosite comes from argentina where it forms as stalagmites and stalactites there lies another similarity um, is this Argentinian? Amazing. Well, then, it, again, this will say it. In ancient Inca silver mines and caves, banded rhodochrosite uh, uh, is used for bracelets and necklaces and may also have been cut um, and polished into cabochons. The rare and transparent deep red form is very difficult to obtain and is occasionally cut into rare and exotic collector's gemstones. Do you see that? transparent deep red within this strand yes it is the best rhodochrosite we've bought absolutely 110 percent i've got 30 available opportunities and we're going to take it to a brand new low close out deal for your birthday do you see the transparency amazing i'd buy this strand and I'd put it with, with pearls. Oh, yes, that would be a dreamy piece of jewellery, wouldn't stunning. it? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we can show you. Jewellery editor, lesser quality with the bands. There you go. Look at this one here. Large rhodochrosite cabochon type uh, cut stone. Thousands of pounds. I mean, look at the gems that are they're accented. Um, here we go, Hawaiian peony rhodochrosite ring, POA, which means I can't afford it. Yeah. Definitely. Look at the transparency, the translucency in that warm pink stroke red. That's the quality. A 14th birthday closeout deal should be at 149. Could be 99.99. That's unbelievable, to be honest. We're going to do a, an amazing... I can't remember the last time I actually spoke about rhodochrosite, let alone brought it to air. I've not seen it for Inca Rose, absolutely ages. Oh, often referred to. Oh, it's so it, beautiful. It is, isn't it? Because Argentinium, which is this, this is, Argentinian rhodochrosite was found often in the Inca silver mines. So they call it Inca Rose. It's one of the most romantic gemstones. Um, gosh, you know when you love something so much, and then but then... With this, like I've, it's been years since I've seen rhodochrosite, and it was always one of my favourite gems. Yeah. If ever I was asked to do a showcase, rhodochrosite was right up there on my list. Always massive closeout deal for you. How many do we have? Thirty. Today, forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. Brand new low price tag, genuinely for some of the best rhodochrosite I've seen in person. Genuinely, I, I mean, I, I would say in my whole life, but I've seen that strand. You know, the one with the South Sea Pearl necklace mm. that probably would be six figures. Six figures. It's the translucency and the warmth of the color that gives you the uh, rhodochrosite its rarity. Um, that one there. Especially selected rhodochrosite drops suspended from view. Oh, can you re recreate that? Ooh. I know it's not a drop shape, but can you imagine one of these in the centre of some amazing pearls? I think that would be absolutely stunning. It would. Are you serious? We're already at the lowest price, but as we've been given authority, should we do a deal wheel? Yay. Let's do it. There are only 30 available opportunities. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> so cheesy. 
There's been a lot of dancing and singing today. It has, yeah. Ooh, 20%. Ooh, wait a minute. That is tenor. That's a lot of, isn't it? I know. <laughs> That's a lot. That's an amazing price for one of these rhodochrosites, let alone the whole strand. That's Remember, $49.99 is the lowest ever price on its own. Let alone $39.99, jewelry makers. We only had 30 opportunities. I genuinely, jewelry makers, cannot remember the last time I brought rhodochrosite to wear. Probably two, three years ago, do you reckon? Do you, at least. I mean, how old is that PowerPoint, Ross? 2021, and that's, yeah, there you go. Shows you. So pre-COVID, probably. You don't see it. It's lovely to get something like this into your collection because it's a gemstone that you don't use a lot. You don't have the opportunity mm -mm. to buy. So even if you don't know what you're going to do with it, this is one that I buy and then I, I make sure I label it so yeah, I know what it is. Special stash. Um, special stash to go and look, you yeah. know, uh, when it's I'm the not fact sure. It's so shallow forming, so rare. It's very similar to malachite, if you like, in... Not I'm not saying sort of chemically, but um, in their formation. So mm -hmm. imagine these big, beautiful rose pink stalactites and stalagmites. Ooh. It's amazing. And you can get it with translucency like your strand, but it is very rare and usually comes at an astronomical price. Yeah. I remember chatting to you, remember Marie, don't you? Yeah. Um, so I remember chatting to Marie about rhodochrosite and she was talking to me about the grade and how expensive it is. She said, you know, it is one of those gems like your... Uh, and Ruby's oocyte was another one she was yeah. saying it's so expensive now um, good luck well done everybody Barbara, Helen, Kent, Leslie, Lisa, Sue Angela, Claire, Mary, Sam, Karen Maura, Caroline, Pauline, London, Fife new customers, Caroline I, 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 do you know when we get messages from Wayne on a regular basis saying oh have you got any gemstones you want me to keep a lookout for um, but I've, it, I, it's been that long I'd almost forgotten about Rona yes. That's why I say label it because yeah. you you know because we don't see it every day. You might think, oh, that's amazing. What's that again? Yeah. So make sure you either print off your authenticity certificate or, or put a little note in there saying what you paid for it and what it is. Yeah. Because I can almost guarantee that, like five, ten years down, two years down the line, you're going to want to know what you paid for it. And yeah, you're going to want to know what it is. Yeah, because you know, and maybe put a little note on there saying paid this. And, you know write down the key factors about yeah, it Tran exactly. this is translucent top yes. grade um that deep uh, almost pinky red color which commands the most the yeah. highest prices unbelievable absolutely 49.99 was the lowest ever already now let's oh from my coveted collection oh my goodness me These are beautiful, and the briolette cut as well just pools that wonderful golden yellow. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. Wow, we, they are amazing. Yeah. <gasps> Ross, am I looking at Madeira Citrine? No way. No way. I'm sorry. Oh, look at it. You know when you when you when you when you find out you're wrong, but it's it's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Madeira citrine is extremely rare, we know that. But you're looking at firstly natural. This is ridiculous imperial topaz when do we ever see that do, 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 the auto preto mine extracts less than a carat per day really of of imperial topaz when we talk about topaz look there are certain colors yes you can get relatively inexpensively not imperial imperial topaz natural which this strand is this is banana this is totally bananas is one of the rarest gemstones quite possibly and then certainly i know i've said this on here when i presented on our us channel it was quite possibly one of the most limited collection gemstones that we've ever done across the gem really? partnership i can't believe we've got this and i can't believe it's that stone 
No way is this closeout deal. Is there only 24? I would have, I would have bought this in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I'd be buying this. The fact the fact it's Imperial Topaz, even if it had a little bit of heat treatment, I, I, that's amazing. There's an article, FYI, jewelry makers, on our Gemporia Learning Library that Matt Bennett wrote. Ah. Oh. Um, some quite some years ago, obviously, but um, and he'd actually gone over to the Oro Preto mine, and he said, and he wrote, it's quite a wordy article, but it's definitely definitely worth it. Many Imperial Topaz mine owners put more money into it than is actually extracted um they're usually very very wealthy gem collectors and it's more about sort of owning a, a oh, treasure right. chest of gems mm. um it's not a business right let's just say it that way we are talking about undeniably one of the world's rarest gemstones and uh, you know if you've got the uh, gems and crystals book um that was published gosh i got quite some years ago but if you've got that have a little look at the topaz selection what what topaz do they use Ooh. to photograph do they use london blue sky blue colorless yeah swiss no had to be imperial your first price crash i'm i'm, I'm absolutely flabbergasted like i said the oropreto mine extracted less than a carat per day and you've got what 30 carats in this strand. I don't understand why these haven't gone already, but I do also understand that this is a gemstone that not many people see that often. Yes. So maybe don't fully appreciate the rarity and the value of it. So if you are a November baby, by the way, this is one of your birthstones. So I, I want to buy a ring for Tiggy. Mm. And I spoke to, to Jake a while ago. I was like, okay, what... What gemstone? He was like, well, it has to be Imperial Topaz. Has to be. But I haven't bought it yet, and she's three. It's because it's expensive to buy. Yeah. I can't believe they're about to say this, right? It's already too low, but... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the world's rarest gems. Natural Imperial, we are, <gasps> oh no. Has it done that before, but ever before? No, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, That's amazing. I need to buy some of these, Ross. Pardon? Of course. Yeah, we get little incentives, don't we, Debs? We get little dis staff discounts. I, we are so much better off. Not 50% discount, no. by the way. We are so much better off shopping right now. As that is, uh, that's ridiculous. I 100%, oh, we're only five minutes away, will be getting involved with you on this one. 50%. That's madness. And, and after you've made your confirmation, don't do it now because you need to confirm first. Have a look at that learning ride. If you just literally Google or, or put it in Safari, your search engine, and say um, Imperial Topaz Matt Bennett Gemporia Learning Library or something like that, and it will come up, and it's, it's a really, really, really good read and highlights the rarity of this gemstone. I did not expect that 50. I didn't, I've never seen it land on the 50, No, ever. not me. Have you? No. 50 percent i result. had to land on it for this though that's insane i didn't even i would never have guessed that was imperial topaz because it's too rich and it's it's so rich and it's not too rich you can't be too rich but it's so rich yeah. in its color i thought madeira citrine maybe oh my goodness me i want this strand i'm joining you on this strand fife helen sally uh sorry kerry marishka sue bernadette anna uh, cumbria maker maker mary morag violet pat um, East Sussex, Sophia, if you want three, I would check them out, my darling. That's that's bonkers. It's actually probably one of the craziest deals I've ever seen. That was do. so exciting when it stopped at 50. I was like, oh my God, it stopped yeah, at 50%. Yeah. Do you know, again, when I first started presenting on our USA channel, I remember doing my first ever Imperial Topaz showcase. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We had, at one point, and I'm not saying that's still the case now, but at one point, we had literally about 15 separate lines 
of Imperial really? Topaz. Really limited though. Oh, it was right. the most exclusive, one of the most exclusive showcases we'd ever done because of the rarity of the gemstone. Yeah. These could have been individual solitaires. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, imagine two of those in earrings hanging from your ears and all the oh. light going through. Oh, just stunning. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's get straight into it. Yeah. Yes. Um, five minutes I'm joining on this. Now, okay, we cannot have a birthday here at Jewelry Maker without bringing you a birthstone bundle. The price per strand is going to be crazy low. I know it's a birthstone bundle, but I always see these sorts of deals as a way to get the most sought after yeah. gemstones in a, a really good deal. Yeah. Um, but for people who make birthstone jewellery to have every single one. Well, you know straight away that these are going to be recognised gems, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Because most people, not they know all, their but most people yeah. know birthstones, yeah. don't they? Um, <clears throat> they and, and can I also just say, people will pay a premium for something yes. personalised, as we said a few moments yeah. ago. You have all 12, so garnet. Um, should we put them in order? Garnet, amethyst. Oh, hang on. Aquamarine, which is insane. Clear quartz for your diamonds. Emerald for May this month. Oh, look at that. Moonstone for June. Ruby, natural ruby for July. Peridot for August. Blue sapphire for September. Pink tourmaline for October. Citrine, which is the other November birthstone, for November. And then Tanzanite <gasps> for December. Now, imagine if I, I was to say to you, okay, I've got an amazing tan tonight, I've got a beautiful natural ruby, no particular gem. Ten pound strands. Amazing. That's, that's amazing. Mm. It is, because they're not small carrot weights either, are no. they? Okay. That sounds good. How many have we got, Ross? Ooh, we got triple figure quantity. We cannot do a jewellery maker birthday without bringing you a birthstone bundle, can we? No, it's tradition. It is tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't know. Have you got a Christmas tradition that you'll always do in your house? Yeah, oh, yeah, we've got loads, but you've put me on the spot now. Go for a walk after your Christmas dinner. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah? Yeah. Wait until Granny gets there to open your presents. Yeah, Christmas Eve buffet we have. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there's traditions. We can't have a birthday without bringing you birthstone, a birthstone no. bundle. Having a what? A little nap by midday? Yeah, nice. That sounds good. Okay, we have over 100 available opportunities. The quality of each and every single one of these stones. Garnet, amethyst, aquamarine, clear quartz instead of diamonds, because that would bump the price up, obviously. Uh, emerald, moonstone, ruby, peridot, sapphire, tourmaline, citrine, and tanzanite, all in one amazing strand. The graphics are live. Good luck, jewelry makers. What does that say? I can't quite read it from there. What does it say in, bra in brackets? Not one, one strand after every... One of each strand? Yeah. Right, okay. So that's, yeah, fairly obvious. Twelve, yeah. 12 strands, one of each. Hmm. So, we have over 100 available opportunities. As we said, 10 pound a strand. So let's just, just for a second. You had Steve on yesterday, didn't you? 10 pound for your tan tonight. <laughs> yeah? Um that one down for a second I mean I'm not cherry picking here but I'm just saying natural ruby for £10 £10 for that strand oh that's lovely beautiful isn't yeah. it yeah okay it's just how about £10 for your emerald 
How amazing is this? How about jewelry makers? We take this to what? Really? What? Okay. I think the moment I say this next sentence, it's going to go crazy, isn't it? Because let's be honest, where else in the world will bring you that selection of gemstones of that quality? And if I said five pound per strand, five pound for your tanzanite, five pound for your natural ruby, five pound for your garnet, five pound for your amethyst, five pound for your aquamarine, five pound for your clear quartz, five pound for your green emerald, moonstone, ruby peridot, blue sapphire, pink tourmaline, citrine, tanzanite, all of the above, five pound per strand. We had a hundred available. When was the last time you saw moonstone jewelry makers? Yeah, it's very true. Five pounds each. 60 second clock jewelry makers. It's our birthday. If we can't do it now, then when can we? When can we? I think it's forgiven on your birthday. Yeah. I can't get over that at five pound a strand. A five That's what you would pay for a strand of kind of chips or yeah. something in a, you know, in a yeah, gem yeah. show. That's really, really incredible already. Well, Deb's just, you know, in our four walls. Do you remember when we first launched Ruby? Yep. Do you remember when we first launched Emerald? Yep. And Tanzanite? Yep. I mean, like, oh my goodness me. And they were like, what, 25 pounds in chips and nugget strands? Yeah. In short that's strands. That's what I mean. You know, we're at five pounds and they're not chips and nuggets. And we're going lower. This is all because of our 14th birthday jewellery makers. In 10 seconds, I, I don't know what Ross has got up his sleeve here, but. Oh my goodness. I do know. I remember looking last night and shaking my head in disbelief. <laughs> I do know. Last night I was like that on the desk on my on my sofa when I do I I prep on the sofa and it's like that. So what's that a strand now? Four pound twenty. That's gotta be an absolutely amazing birthday deal. That's wow. Four pound twenty for your tan tonight. <laughs> four pound twenty for your citrine. Four pound twenty for your tourmaline. Four pound twenty for your sapphire. £4.20 for your peridot, £4.20 for your natural ruby, £4.20 for your moonstone, £4.20 for your emerald, £4.20 for your clear quartz, uh, £4.20 for your Brazilian aquamarine, £4.20 for your amethyst, £4.20 for your, for your garnet. Yes, please. Now, the concept... Oh, this exact item launched in 2022. January 2022, completely sold out at this price, what, two years ago. We've reordered this especially for your birthday and we are going even, there is not nearly enough people on the phone lines for this. Okay, hands up if you're a gemstone collector. Can I just say, even if you're you're thinking, no, not yet, but I'd love to be, you're a collector straight away if you've got hold of this. Yeah, that's true, actually, isn't it? I don't know many people that have that selection of gemstone. No. We're at £4.20 per strand. That's good. And we are going lower in a big way. If you do, if you make your jewellery to sell, to gift, it for me anyway. Having that little added extra touch of someone's birthstone. You can yeah. de-strand them all if you want and yeah. just put one, one little ruby. What's your birthstone? That's like your, your signature. And I'll put your match, your birthstone on the strand, on the piece of jewellery. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> We're at 420 per strand and we go going even lower. We had 100. They're not going to hang around for long because I, I don't think you're quite prepared for this. Do you know, I was talking to Wayne this was some time ago, about these bundles. You've got to remember, logistically, this is probably one of the most labour-intensive. Yes. Because, obviously, you've got to get a source, source from everything. more different places around the world. And his words were, he was like, I don't... It's not worth our while doing these deals. <laughs> 
Because honestly, you think about the geography of that tea bar straight away. <gasps> and then we do, what's that, two pounds something? I was not expecting that. It's not worth our while doing these. It's worth <sighs> your while, absolutely. But what is it, two pounds? Fifty. Okay. Hang on a minute. Two pound fifty for tan tonight. Two pound fifty for citrine. For ruby. For Tom. For any of them. Any of them. Not one. Okay, let's go to your more available gemstones. Yeah? What would you say? Clear quartz? Clear quartz, two pound fifty. Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. That's crazy. Amethyst? £2.50, are we kidding? You don't get amethyst for £2.50. Oh, and faceted amethyst. Maybe that garnet, or although I have to say the garnet is exceptional. Look at the quality of it. How on earth is that £2.50? Oh, that's Hello, gorgeous. Margot. You would pay that for the tassels. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's a really good point, Margot. You would. Um, and again, in speaking to Wayne, our gemstone buyer, about this opportunity, he was saying it's not worth our while. And I get that. Because, um, Roscoe, can you put the list of countries? Okay, or, or, re or read them to me. Because you just got to think the whole geography of this. There'll probably be Mozambique. Oh, Africa, Brazil, China, Tanzania. Just the air miles accumulated, just acu you know, acquiring all of these. And a lot of people don't offer gemstone birthstone jewellery no. because they don't have every birthstone and you can't say oh birthstone on this bangle and then they and oh well, sorry i haven't got that one yeah sorry yeah so sorry i don't have anything that represents that so this is a way of getting every single birthstone into your stash so you can offer that um and then you've got every single one that you need but yeah. apart from f even forget the birthstone what an incredible stash for 29.99 totally uh, you know you sometimes see, Debs, crystal birthstones, don't you? Where yeah. they are literally yes. a bit of cut glass, glass yeah. um, that's coloured. More uh, often than not, actually. More often than not, yeah. You've got to be careful. Make sure they are genuine gem Yours are genuine gemstones, not crystals or glass. Genuine natural ruby for twenty nine ninety nine. That's mad in itself. Do you know what? Give me that strand for twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. I'm over the moon. And I thought the garnet was exceptional. Yeah beautiful any so any one of these two pound fifty per strand we had 100 make sure you're checking out your baskets everybody your wall oh. <laughs> your wall of fame is coming up in a few moments time and of course deb's amazing masterclass. um make sure you're checking out your basket oh goodness we're told it's going to be a super wednesday didn't i all about the launch the launch of your amazing bicolored selenite. Oh, Debs, these are beautiful. So happy, and it's just so beautiful and fun and colorful, and there's so much you can do with these. I mean, our jewelry maker viewers are so clever, they might have an idea in the head of what they want to do, but I just thought, you know, let's show, try and show these gorgeous gemstones off at every angle, because you have got that bicolor. Yeah, amazing. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? Um, magical selenite. Don't go anywhere, jewelry makers. You're water fame as well, coming up after this. Hello, jewelry makers. Happy 14th birthday. I remember the first day um, I was a little bit younger, not as old looking, and lots of things have gone on since then. But you've stuck with us. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible 14 years. Here's some many more. We've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks, not week, two weeks. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Happy birthday. Hi, jewelry maker. Happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains and make sure you save me some cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday jewelry maker.
Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobbymaker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobbymaker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favourite crafting experts. From Hobbymaker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to sand tangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gemporia Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. which I've been there 12. Um, it's been wonderful and you're a huge part of our lives. So thank you to everybody. Hey, yeah, you know, yes, yes. Happy birthday, jewelry makers. You were grumpy, oh dear. Well, thank you, jewelry makers, for all your loyalty. You're I an amazing. You, I love you. Yeah, we love you. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. We couldn't do it without you. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here and Thomas. You going to say something? No, you're going to think about it. We're both here today to wish Jewelry Maker the happiest of 14th birthdays. It's going to be an incredible fortnight. We've got an amazing lineup. And all I want to do is get the celebration started. Been amazing. It's been so good, isn't it? Look, we get so to draw good. it today. That's so exciting. Yes, it's the Wall of Fame. Right, come on, give it a whirl. Give it I, a whirl. Oh, sh shall I whirl it? Can I whirl it? You want to whirl it? You do it. Oh, it's closed, isn't it? <laughs> whirly, whirly. Whirly, 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 whirly. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we've got entry. Oh. <laughs> Twelve years. Still getting it wrong. Been, how long have we been here? Still getting it wrong. I got. Oh. <laughs> I really need to get out more if I get so excited at doing the whirly whirly. No, it is quite satisfying. Right, take it away, Deb. Let's, let's read the entries. Sorry, the, well, it's I'll not all the of the entries, entries but there's a it's good there's down. a good chunk of them. It's not going well. Neil Carrington Dean. Very nice name, 410. I'm still a newbie, are you, in making jewellery, but really enjoy making bracelets from my stash. All from JM. My entry this week is Australian Zebra Jasper. I love these. So do I. These look like the kind of bracelets you see like David Beckham or, you know, famous people. Ah, oh, yeah, like a like a, an A-lister. An A-lister. Yeah, totally. Good luck, Neil. Um, I have number 411 from Katura Dixon. Hello to you, Katura. These are beautiful. Oh, wow. Hello and happy birthday, jewelry maker. Please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a pair of sea beaded earring, um, black and silver, beautiful shape. Lots of comp uh, comments, sorry, when I wear it. Everything is from Jewelry Maker. It's a pleasure to be, to be part of the celebration. Thank you for all your inspiration. Um, thanks to all front and behind the screens. Hope all this wonderfulness continues for many years. Um, and good luck, everybody. Oh, good luck to you, Katora. What a lovely message. I love those. They're so amazing, effective. aren't they? 
gorgeous. Your 411, 411. These, oh. Oh wow, look at those. And this is 412 and it's from Sue. And she says, hi, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Beautiful pearls as always from JM, waterfall earrings. You can't beat waterfall earrings, no. can you? Put pearls with waterfall earrings and yes, please. They're gorgeous, Sue, good luck. Good luck, Sue. I have number 413. D another celebrity sounding name, yeah, I have to say. Very good names today. Dawn Nelson Whitehead. See, that's... There you go. Much better oh, than Debbie. Can you see Gershaw. that? Sorry. Um, hi, this is a single earring I made for my son um, with a oh. purple fluorite dragon's head. Very cool. Um, rose gold collared shepherd hooks with amethyst facets. All from Jewelry Maker. Good luck, everyone. Dawn, that's amazing. Very cool. That's very cool. I like your photo as well. Look at this. And this is number 414 and it's from Anna Winter. And she says, hello all. It's an abalone and appetite rosary link necklace that I made to showcase abalone jewelry at a recent fair. All components are for JM. Thank you for all of the great deals and inspiration from the wonderful guest designers. Happy birthday. Here's to many more. That's oh, absolutely indeed. stunning. Indeed. Good luck, Anna. Yeah, I'm going to be here till they, till they kick me out. <laughs> yeah. That, they're never, never going to kick you out. Never uh, happened. 415 from Caroline Brown. These are beautiful, Caroline. Oh. Uh, happy birthday, toilet jewelry maker. Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a string of mint pearls Ooh. interspersed with size 15 seed beads. Would love a win, she says. Best wishes, your uh, number 415. Good luck, Caroline. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. Sorry. Ooh, 416, Linda Oxley. She says, good morning and happy birthday celebrations. My entry this week is a few crystal wire wrap necklaces. Oh, necklaces, sorry. All items to make from Jewelry Maker, of course. I can't even say necklace. Someone sack me. Uh. Thank you, JM. Wishing a fabulous two weeks birthday celebrations. These are gorgeous. And I bet if you've got your craft store, these would sell really, yeah, really well. Yeah, very popular. Loving those. They're good fantastic. Um, I also have Linda. Um, 417, Linda Walker. Hello, Linda. These are beautiful. Um, a lovely Ooh. suite. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry this week. Bracelet and earrings are beautiful. The amethyst faceted wheels um, and a silver toggle and sea beads are all from Jewelry Maker. Thanks for keeping us entertained all winter and all the great bargains. Um, you're welcome, Linda. Thank you for the lovely message and good luck to you. You're 417. That's a gorgeous set. Um, 418, and this is from Jim Hall. It says, good morning, everyone, and happy birthday to JM. My entry, <coughs> excuse me, for the Wall of Fame is a necklace made using sodalite neon appetite rounds and a poppy jasper carved flower. Oh, that's gorgeous. Best of luck to everyone in the draw. Take care. Amazing, Jim. Jim. Beautiful. Luck. Last but by no means <coughs> least today, and again, a lovely suite of jewellery from Sue Thursfield. Hello, Sue. You're 419. Hi, all. Here is my entry <coughs> for this week's WAF. Um, it's a selection of alabaster colour travertine slices and includes a necklace, bracelets and a choice of three earring designs. I use gold-plated findings to complement the similar coloured round the outside of the circle and yellow black preciosa tube spaces. Everything is from Jewelry Maker, of course. I bought all the colours and sizes from the last sale promotion programme at super prices as I knew it would make an unusual, interesting jewellery um, as it has. Working my way down the stash with great pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity and happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. Been with you since um just after you started and enjoyed it all good luck to all in the draw sue bless your heart my darling that's beautiful that's really effective isn't it yeah lovely um number 419 good luck to you right can now we do it it's now time. now do, it's do, time do, do, give do, it a good do, whirl do. i feel like we should have the, the the spinny wheel music in the background there can you do that okay ready oh we got Talk about yourselves. Talk about yourselves. I'll just keep spinning. Yeah, just give it. Yeah, because. La la la. That's what I used to have as well, didn't they, in the eighties? Yeah, I did. Used to have the the, the attractive. <laughs> it's like a little workout. Right, Debs, stop. Oh, can I? Am I doing both? Yeah, go on. Oh, pick the winner. Okay, there's one that's receiving. The winner today. The winner is 
Three, six, two. Ooh. Kim Hopkins. Kim Hopkins. Congratulations. You are one of the luckiest ladies we know. Has she won before? Yeah, loads of times. Have you? Yeah, she's a really lucky lady. Well done, darling. Well done, well done, well done. Right, our runner up. Do, 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 do. Oh. Right. <laughs> There's a thumbnail for you, Chief. <laughs> the runner up. Oh, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Oh my gosh, what number did you pull out? Three, six, two. Okay. 377. Ooh. Christina Farrell. Christina Farrell, you're our runner, 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 runner up. Yeah. Can we do it again? Amazing. Well done, everybody. And don't forget, you've got Birthday Wall of Fame as well. I don't know where to put it now. Um, you've got a Birthday Wall of Fame, so make sure you get your entries in. Because that's going to be exciting. Thanks, Dan. Dun, dun, right dun, then. Dun, 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 dun. Um, what are we doing this hour? It's just a, to make just, sense now. Just a casual launch. We're just doing a little bicolour selenite. All of it. I love selenite just as well. All of it. <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> amazing, amazing. But before we bring the graphics live, can we talk about selenite mm -hmm. as a gemstone? Because. Um, here is a gem that whenever we bring it to air, it flies out, doesn't it? Yeah. There is many, uh, many uh, a reason why people love it visually. Obviously, that should be first and foremost. Yes. But again, uh, again, there's it's very poignant in the metaphysical side, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It. I mean, I've got selen a selenite plate that I put my gemstones on to charge them. Yeah. And I know not everyone's into this, but I am. Um, and quite often you'll use selenite to amplify other gemstones um, and I only ever really knew that there was was white and yeah. then we bought yellow and I got yellow and you know so having the opportunity to have that wonderful magic that happens from the inside of selenite yeah, it kind it of comes magic. into the outside but have it in sort of two colors just makes it even more magical well we've never ever had bicolored selenite and we'll explain that in, in, a, in a few moments time but let's talk about the actual gemstone itself it is magical i totally magical. agree with you yeah. um so what is selenite well selenite is a specific variety of the mineral gypsum uh, named after the ancient Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. Uh, the Greeks especially appreciated the beauty of selenite, even making windows with the stone. Uh, this gemstone re received its official name from uh, J.G. Wallerus, I hope I pronounced that right, in 1747 when he wrote that book. Um, gypsum as <laughs> um, a general material... <laughs> <laughs> um, has been valued since as far back as the Egyptians where it was used for decorative purposes. One unique use of selenite um, is in the Santa Sabina church in Rome. The large arch windows built in the 5th century are made of sheets of selenite, wow. not glass. Yeah. After large amounts of gypsum were found near Paris, um, a material known as plaster of Paris was created. Plaster of Paris is gypsum that has been chemically altered to extract the water from within. Um, it's also said French farmers use raw gypsum um, as a soil additive. So um, because selenite is effectively quite a dry gemstone. Oh really? A very, very dry gemstone, yes. Uh, moving on. Um, metaphysically, this gemstone selenite is most closely associated with the crown chakra. I mean, this is obviously the white, so I guess you can change that because you've got various different colours with your bicolour today. So I tell you what, um, let's skip to the bottom. It says selenite is excellent to, excellent to use when meditating or trying to achieve uh, mental clarity as it is believed to compel the person holding it to be honest with themselves. These are, the, do you know, I love this. It's just words that associate with selenite, whether it's the white, whether it's the, the um, yellow or the green or the bicolors. Um, seren uh, serenite does, you think of serenity, purification, yes. peace, 
meditation, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness and positive thoughts. You know, you've said happiness a few times. It is just really happy, this opportunity. It is a very, I can see why it's associated with the crown chakra because it is a very sort of celestial gemstone. Yes. Like we only talk about a couple of things Well, like the goddess that. of the moon. Exactly, and I just feel like I've meditated with mine. I've also got a selenite heart. Um, I don't know where I got that from, so I think someone bought it for me. And I tend to hold that and meditate. Um, and I just find that it's very, it is a peaceful gemstone. Yeah. Um, and just getting, and, but also all of that aside, if you have a look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, you get those emotions straight away, yeah, don't you? Even yeah. without the metaphysical yeah. words. Um, can I just show you this photograph? Because I will never tire oh. of this image. These are the Selenite caves. I want to go there. Like, seriously, those the, the, they, they are people in those orange suits. Wow. It's vast, isn't it? It looks like Superman's house. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Absolutely amazing. And Selenite forms an almost a little bit like slate, obviously far rarer. Um, kind of very fine layers, so it's particularly difficult to cut. But can you see that kind of reflection, this magic, the internal magic? That it's like a chatoyancy that effectively yes. forms within selenite. Now, if you team that with colour, then that's you know even more magical. Um, Today, jewellery makers, we are launching for the very first time. We brought you selenite. We've done that. It always sells out. Yeah. We've brought you individual colours of selenite. Multicoloured varieties. Never buy colour. Until today. Just, oh my goodness. Just so you know, there are 150 opportunities. You get your seed beads with it too. You, which one's your favourite? Is the, is it the fusion of blue and green? Is that your the boys in the gallery are saying this is their favourite? You see, I thought that, and then I started working with it, and every single Odd. one was yeah. my favourite. <laughs> is it the almost fruit salad? That's beautiful. Peachy pink. Yeah. I love this one too. I think it's that one is my favourite. The blue and pink. Mm. That's amazing. I can't choose. Is it the green and purple? Or is it the like zesty lemon and lime? Oh, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Now, six millimeter white selenite without the bicolor. Okay. How much do you think? 29.99, Ross is saying? Okay, yeah, 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 that seems fair. So on that basis then, 150 pounds, yeah? 30, 60, 90, yeah. Yeah, about, about 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. You get your tube of seed beads too. Not the case today. You said earlier on a couple of vows ago, oh my goodness, your jewelry is amazing, which, which we'll get to, but imagine these in the spring and summer. Yeah, they're just, I just really enjoy, you know me, I love a seed bead. I don't always get the opportunity to work with them um, here and there, and if I can introduce some, I will. <laughs> um, this, I just thought, I want something that spirals, that you can see those bicolours. Um, you can pretty much do anything. You don't have to even use a seed bead. You could put them in a station necklace. Yeah. You could add them from a chain as charms. You could use them on a charm That's bracelet. Gorgeous. That bracelet is so pretty. It's all the same technique. So, so, so pretty. And you get your um, instructions with this as well, don't you? Yeah, get your instructions from start to finish. Now, I did something that I don't often do, and I took photographs. <laughs> what do you mean, here we go? <laughs> <laughs> I took photographs because it's very hard to understand otherwise, my, I think, with seed okay. beading. So I've taken step-by-step -step photographs for you as well well um, to show you exactly how to do this and this will translate to your necklace which is on the picture your bracelet or your earrings whatever you want to do just depends how long you want to do your rope that's so gorgeous it's lovely and tactile it, did you know what that one especially if you started using the greens as well the it's greens, like wisteria the greens are here oh, look at those so i kept the greens Told her together with other greens, but you could you could so mix this and have like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah. Oh, that's it. It is a summertime bouquet. Look how zesty that is. Oh, it's lovely. 
It looks like lemon and limes, that does. Yeah, it's making my mouth water saying lemon and oh, lime. Nom, 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 Now, we have 150 available opportunities, jewellery makers. It's the launch of your bicoloured selenite. Selenite is always incredibly popular here. Um, for obvious reasons, it's so visually striking. Oh, look at it all together. Oh, oh stunning. You have this amazing chatoyancy that naturally travels within the gem itself. Plus, you get the tube. Oh, they're lovely. So just a shorter length of what I call the um, shaggy spiral. <laughs> shaggy spiral? Shaggy spiral, yeah. I like the name of that. Um, because this technique is so adaptable and so easy and so repetitive, I really enjoy doing it. I could have just done it for ages. Yeah. You so you could do like an over the head one with this. Over the head, you know, it's just, it's not one you have to sit and look at a pattern. Once you've got it, you've got it. You can also adapt it as well. Yeah. So you can really make it your own. How great as well. I don't know why this has just dawned on me. If someone maybe can't wear certain metals. Yeah. You could just literally do an over the head with these. Most almost definitely. create an ombre across them. Definitely. <gasps> Wrap bracelets. Lovely. You could do, yeah, anything you want. Look at that. They are breathtakingly beautiful. If you're off to somewhere sunny this summer, you need to get your bicolored selenite because I think it's going to look. Because again, here in the studio, this is the worst possible lighting for your gemstones. Wait until you get it out in sunlight. That's when it will really come into its own. Um, so that's what. Sorry, hundred pound strand. Yeah, you want to see that church? It's right here. So those aren't glass windows, that's selenite oh, windows. You can't really see the selenite there, can you? No, not but really. But you can inside. Oh, look at that. They're selenite windows. Oh, it's amazing, it's stunning, isn't it? Stunning, yeah. Beautiful. It's so peaceful to just look at that. It is. I can only imagine that selenite would just bring another level of calm to a place like mm. that. Because it is almost like a, um, like you said, it's celestial. Yeah. It's quite a spiritual gemstone. Yeah. Um, so it makes sense to actually see that within the church yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. Now, we're a hundred pound a strand, but we're not stopping there, jewelry makers. Oh, no. Um, we've got your demonstration. You get your instructions as well. Don't forget the launch of bicolored selenite. So again, take that beautiful rare gemstone that is so challenging to cut. Firstly, because it forms in layers. So to act, especially to get a, sh a, a spherical shape. How about then, jewelry makers? As we said earlier on, thirty pound strand. That seems fair. You're getting your sea beads for free. No? No. Not happy with that, no? Come on, it's the birthday. No, okay. We can do better than that. But you get your sea beads for free, Debs. You get these. I oh, know, I love sea beads. And your instructions, let's not forget. Very good. And let's be honest, we said £30 for a normal selenite strand. This is bicoloured selenite, yeah, that's which very true. again, the whole process of, uh, of achieving that colour is not going to be an easy one. No, I don't even. I can't like to no, think how no, you do that. Me. I can't. I wouldn't be able to tell. It's so you subtle either. as well. There's no lines anywhere. It's just like blends into each other. It's so beautiful. It is a blend. I agree. The go-to size. Already, lots of you getting involved at one four nine. That's basically thirty pound per strand, and you see beads for free and instructions for free. Brand new is the official launch of the bicolored selenite opportunity. Um, beautiful in the shaggy spiral. A shag <laughs> I like the shaggy spiral. Shaggy type. spiral. That's what I'm calling it. It's actually a spiral rope, but it's shaggy. I'm calling it a shaggy. I like spiral. that. Wait, how many strands? Twenty pound per strand. Twenty pounds. What's it usually a strand? Thirty. Thirty. Yeah, you've got a third off basically oh, with that good. price tag, and your seed beads and your instructions for free. Beautiful. Unbelievable. See that perfect fusion. I think the green and yellow is my favourite. You know. I know, isn't it funny? Yeah. You, you start off with probably what you would most be drawn to usually. Yeah, which is probably that one. Yeah. Because that's a bit yeah. braver, that one. Exactly. Do and you think? Yeah. You start working with it. I did put a couple together. Um, yeah, and then it's, they do go really well together. So you can put a couple of those together. You can put all three together. You can, um, you know, you can do absolutely. Well, there's so much. I can't even go through everything. You're the jewelry maker. You know what you want to do with yeah, it. Yeah, and I think there's a different, you'll love one. And then it'll be like, oh, I've got that outfit. Well, I'm going to wear this one exactly then. Exactly that. It's different occasions as well and, 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 and clothing. 
99.99 jewelry makers. I feel like we're overlooking the seed beads, but you do get them. 11 O's. 11 O's, thank Miyuki, you. Rolls Royce of seed beads. There you go. Still want your price, Debs. Still. Oh, good. It's the launch. It's the launch. First time ever in 14 years. Ah, like I said, it's taken all year planning. So once, uh, once this birthday event is done, we move on to the next birthday. Yeah, it does take a really, really long time because I was helping out in the office this time last year and it was just so busy. Very, very, very so labour busy. intensive. Good luck, everybody. 99 pounds and 99 pence. You know what to do. Uh, it's just joyful, isn't it? And it's, it's the thing is, you can have a gemstone of one solid colour, like an opaque gemstone, but selenite has got that internal magic, hasn't it? Oh, it has. And, you know... If you put something else with it to, like I've put some little, um, what have I put in this one? Oh, just some little, I remember a while ago we did these, when I did the Capriccio, we did the glass beads. Yeah. And um, we got loads. So I took sort of the baby paint, just so this was very tonal. But you could do a completely contrasting colour and you get a completely different look. So this is with the seed beads that are in, in with the project. I love that. If a gemstone could make a sound, selenite would go, Oh yeah, it would go. Oh yeah, beautiful. Probably more in tune though. Seventy-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's the five strands of your beautiful bicoloured selenite plus your tube of your sea beads and also Deb's amazing instructions. We had one hundred and fifty. They are flying. I've already got two full rows of names. Mary, Barbara, Ruth, Catherine, Anjum, well done, multi buying, Pat, Gillian, Yorkshire, William. Mary and Jerry, uh, Angela, hello to Hilda, hello to Lavinia, Multibuy and Kerry, Aberdeenshire, Joyce, uh, Lancashire, County Antrim, I can't keep up with you, Caroline and <laughs> Stirlingshire, well done to you, um, Lynn, Wendy, Nancy, London, Morag, Maker, Maker, Amanda, Gillian, Cambridgeshire, you get the idea. It is busy, busy, busy on the web, on the app and on the phone lines. Um, in our 14 years, and we said earlier on, you know, we really have grown. It's been one of those wonderful journeys and we have to evolve as all businesses do. Yeah, of course. You know, we'll, um, and we're always striving to bring you something new something exciting and bring them to you at an achievable uh, achievable prices as well do you know again it's something that i had a discuss uh, discussion with scott our managing director i was like you know yes our price range has broadened yes true yeah so we've got we could we can do the uh, more expensive pieces mm. but still amazing for what we're actually offering oh yeah but in com uh, compolar opposite we also do far lower prices than we used to do what, since when do, have we ever done anything for a pound years ago mm, we weren't allowed to we weren't allowed to bring anything to air for less than six pound 99 and that includes your beading threads and things yeah exactly now jewelry makers we've got a big quantity the official launch of bicoloured selenite. I can't even get my head around how they do that. Me neither. I don't want to know. I just want it to be magic. It is magic. <laughs> We're going to put 60 seconds on your screen. We've got your demo as well. And then we're going to take it lower. How low? Ooh. Oh, look at that. I like that you don't have to choose, that you can work with all of them. You can get them home and just play around with them and just get inspired. Look at this, hang on a minute. They're gorgeous together. Sorry, Adam. It's just a lot of strands of happiness right there. Look, they're gorgeous. They're so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. Every single one bringing that beautiful, can you see the movement in the chatoyancy? Oh my goodness me. They're amazing, aren't they? They're beautiful, really beautiful. And that movement is all down to the, ne uh, the the natural formation of the gemstone. First time. Make sure you check it out. The more of you that are there, the lower we'll go. Never been on your screens. Oops, never been on your screens previously. Look at those. Look how amazing they are. That's not me rolling the the, the gems. That's their natural internal. What on earth? That's amazing. Oh, 69 99 Yeah, so what's that per strand now? £14 per strand. So that's half of what they'd usually be. Yeah. That's amazing. It's our birthday though, isn't it? That's so good. 
and, and half what the natural white one would be. It is all down to the fact it's our birthday celebrations. Gosh, they're amazing. Every, every single one. Um, okay, I'll leave this with you and we'll, I'll keep you updated. Debs, what are you going to show us, darling? I'm going to show you how to do the shaggy spiral. Shaggy, shaggy. Why do I, I keep shaggy, in my head Scooby. I'm going, shaggy? 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 Shaggy Scooby? Scooby Snacks? Now, I said they look like Superman's house, and I really let Dan down at that moment. Dan, what's Superman's house Fortress called? Fortress of Solitude. Uh, oh, so house, I would. It's or? it's the for fortress of solitude. Has he not got a house? He lives in Smallville, doesn't he? No, that's Clark Kent. My my son may never forgive me as well if I don't say the right name for Superman. Are you Hem Henry Abode. Cavill? No, Christopher Reeve. Man. Oh, Christopher Reeve. Yeah, Christopher original. Reeve. Oh, I think they both did a really good. My brother, I'm sure I've said this before. My brother went to see one of those films being filmed where he comes out of the tires. My dad took him to Elstree Studio. Oh yeah, he used to work in the cinema. Yeah. That's very cool. So, yes. I had a big crush on Christopher Reeves. Yeah, me too. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. Love it. Anyway, um, so anyway. Enough of that. Sorry, Dad. We'll just carry on with the shaggy spiral, shall we? Shall we? So, this is in um, a photographic and word form in your um, instructions, so you'll be able to see it step by step. Now, this sort of spiral is entirely dependent on, on the sequence of Bs you use. So I'm going to use a three and a three combination, but if you use a five and a two or five it will change and you can have a little play with that you'll know what i mean when you see what we're doing so i've got some wildfire you can use wildfire fireline eslon um, any beading thread that you like to use um, you can use colored beading thread if you want to sort of go i'm using this black today because i want you to be able to see what i'm doing for a necklace i think i used about two meters of thread but you can add in thread as you go that's fine so i've popped on a stopper bead and then you want to leave about enough to um tie in your clasp or to add a wire guardian depending on what you're going to make so by adding a stopper bead you just um, take the uh, bead that's not in your project down and then you just go back up the same bead and what this does is it just creates a stop so that your beads don't fall off and then you can just remove it at the end so i'd say probably leave about a 20 centimeter tail so that you can add the clasp on at the end and you don't have to um, needle all the way through so what you need for this design are your selenites look at the color of these on the overhead i mean they're just stunning so you need your selenite beads i used a contrasting bead but you don't have to do that it's quite nice if you use a different shape it gives you a real lovely um, effect of texture so these are actually slightly smaller um, and they're little just glass rounds that i did if i don't know if you remember when i did the capriccio bracelet it was these that i used for that they came in all different sizes so you probably if you bought those you'll still have some of those in your stash you get the 11 o's you need 11 o's which you do get in with the kit if you haven't got any and then you need some eight o's as well so we're going to work the core is going to be eight o's and the embellishment the shaggy spiral is going to involve 11 o's now i'm going to work with a certain bead count that i'm going to that you'll see in the instructions but you can modify it so we're going to start off by threading on three eight o beads so that's what i have and just drop them down to your stopper bead now you could thread all of these beads on at once but i'm going to do it in stages so it makes it easier to understand then i'm going to add three 11 o's one of my selenites and three 11 o's and i'll show you so when i said i was taught i worked in threes it's three of my 11 o's either side of my feature bead and three core beads three and three it just makes it easier to remember so I'm going to drop this down and I like to just pop it over my finger so that I can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to come back up all three of the eight O beads now at the beginning is the only time that you add three eight O's from now on we're just going to add one and I do say that in the instructions so if you hold on to your eight O's give this a pull and it will create your loop. Now, if you try and keep your little shaggy loops to the right-hand side, or if you're left-handed, you can keep them to the left-hand side, and that will just help you as you go along um, to see what you're doing. So from now on, we're just going to add one eight o, and then our sequence of beads, which doesn't change. So one eight o, three 11 o's, 
and you can use all the same beads if you want so I could add a selenite again but I'm just adding a contrasting bead this time so this can be anything you want I'll tell you what looks really nice is um, like a drop bead or a little um, unusual shaped bead it gives it a lot of texture and then I'm going to add three 11 O's again so this is always going to be the same this fringe it's going to be three 11 O's your focal bead and three 11 O's I'm going to drop this oh that's what you've done in this isn't it that's what can you see why the texture looks different yeah because you've got a different alternating bead so if you have a look they're actually sea beads I can't remember what they're called but they're like little uh, leaves mm, they literally look like oranges and lemons so if you see you've got like a pointy bead so if you've yeah. got briolettes or even you've put pearls in there because they're completely different it adds that kind of different texture if you want it to be all quite round then just add a different color selenite or even the same one that's gorgeous, Debs. Yeah. Love it. So I've dropped down exactly the same combination as I did before, three 11 O's, but I've changed the focal bead there, three 11 O's. Now you always come up three of your core beads. That doesn't change. So that will include the eight O that you've just popped on. So I'm going down three of my eight O's, and that includes the one that I just put on. And then just give that a pull. And what will happen, I'll just get it and then I get my fingers out of the way, is that that loop will sit on top of the other one. I'm not sure how close we can get on that ad. Can we get any closer, please? Yeah. Move closer. There we go. So what you get, you get like one little shaggy um, loop shaggy? sits on top of the other one. Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add one a toe again, three 11 O's. This time we're going back to the selenite bead. Come here and three 11 O's. Drop it all down so it's just repetitive from here on in. I'll show you what I've got. Okay, I'll pop that down on my mat. And then I'm going to go back up three 8 O's again, including the 8 O that I've just popped on. So go down to the bottom and just go up. those three eight o's there that includes the one you've just bobbed on i'm keeping my loops to the right so that i can get hold of it and you can see that it's starting to build and what it will start to do is spiral around so let's keep going eight o three eleven o's my contrasting bead three eleven o's drop it down and as you can see, it's starting to spiral around. So I'm just keeping as far as I can my last one to the right hand side. I like to put it on my finger like that because then I can have mm. a little bit more control. I'm going to go up the last three eight O's and that includes the one that I've just put on. Up and through and then pull. So that you're starting to create that shaggy loop and as you keep going it's exactly the same it's just repetitive from here on in depending on the color beads look how different it can look so this is exactly the same pattern but I've used contrasting 11 O's and it really makes the selenite pop if you have a look at the bracelet I've kept it more tonal. So I've used the selenite beads and just exactly the beads that you saw me demo with, but these were the like the baby pink option. And then all I've done on the end is add a um, wire guardian and my clasp. So that's that one. If you keep on the overhead, I'll just get the necklace. On the necklace, I just kept going. It's exactly the same pattern. Um, it's exactly the same beads, but I just used the other variety of bicolor in this. Um, and instead of putting on a clasp and making a bracelet, I added to my wire guardian some rosary links. But you could go all the way if you wanted yeah. to go all the way around your neck. So you get that, that lovely effect there. And then if you don't want to go as far, if you just want to do, I think there's mm, about eight of the selenite on these. You can actually oh, make look at those they're beautiful you can make the earrings so what i've used here i think these are miyuki drops 
um, in a sea foam colour and I've just used Miyuki Drops, little ones, as my contrasting bead. So you can see with these that depending on the different beads and the different colours that you use, you can get very different effects with your jewellery and this is all with one kit and this is just giving you ideas because what I just showed you is simply the technique. This one onto my wire guardians I've just added a macrame knot and some matching cord and I've used another form of seed bead drop there just mm. because the colour went so nicely. So when you've <coughs> got to um, your length that you desire so it can be any length obviously it'd be shorter for earrings um, longer for um, a necklace you just take either three seed beads your clasp or your wire um, shepherd's hooks three seed beads and go back down or you can do it using a wire guardian but when you go back down you just have to tie your half hitch knots through to sort of finish off that thread and I've gone into that in detail in the instruction because we always say that and we assume everyone knows what a half hitch knot is but if I just very quickly show you you would take multiple passes through your clasp so I've not added a clasp there because we don't know if it's going to be earrings or if it's going to be a wire guardian what whatever you want if you don't have wire guardians just use three 11 o's your clasp and three more 11 o's or two you get to a point where you take your needle and you go down underneath the existing thread that's there give it a pull so that what you're left with is a loop go through the loop pull that knot down in between your beads and that's a half hitch knot oh. so if you're ever wondering how you tie off, then you go around and do more of those and then thread your tail so if you're looking at the instructions and you wanted to know what that was that's a half hitch knot and you just continue with that pattern all the way as long as you want whether it's an earring whether it's a bracelet <clears throat> or whether it's a necklace oh. But I've done photos, so you'll see it all close up so that it makes sense. Um, you know when you were making this? Yeah. Literally, I was thinking... Oh, sorry. It's all right. I was literally thinking of this, Debs. Press it again. Oh. Is it a flower? Oh, yes! It looks so much Is like that wisteria? wisteria. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I mean, that you can really... Because it gives... If you want them to be more loopy, instead of doing... Um, two 11 O's a selenite two 11 O's do four make yeah. it more loopy have a have a experiment Ooh. with the different um, numbers of your beads you uh, can go more loopy or less we? loopy do you reckon I don't know that's challenging for us to get more loopy especially Adam more loopy or less loopy basically <laughs> um, okay I've got one more little project that I can bring to you as well this is not the bi colour but it is coloured oh they're lovely um, and they would complement it beautifully they wouldn't would. they, yeah, they would. um, so you get all your sizes how many have we got Roscoe 50 available lovely little edition we'll do it in one price crash as well so if you want to extend Deb's kits um, so you've got them in the 6, 8 and 10 Oh, and the two sea beads. They'd be lovely, wouldn't they? Yeah, they're a good side. contrast. They're pastel-y. Yeah. Good for bridal. Yeah, so like your lemon and limes, you could uh, you could add to it. Maybe to cool the colours down. Yeah. Um, if you want, that is... What? $49.99. Is that right? That's, that's going to sell out. That's then, really good. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lovely. Oh, I love those. So they're more sort of the, like the baby pastel. Yeah colors they're gorgeous pastel palettes i love pastel colors yeah beautiful really really pretty like it's it for me that's like country cottage beautiful definitely do you know what i mean yeah definitely they'd be lovely with pearls wouldn't they if oh you yes did, if you did your alternating bead as a little pearl whether it be a faux pearl or a real amazing one. loving those jewelry makers make sure you're checking out your basket what a day it has been i've loved it I've loved it and I'm really glad it's over because I've got pins and needles She's in got my left these, foot. Well, yeah, it's the chair. It's that chair, oh, isn't it? Sorry, pins and needles. Oh. <laughs> when it goes all funny <laughs> yeah. and you can't feel and it. And you can't feel it. So, uh, yeah. You know when you wake up in the middle of the night and say you've been sleeping on your arm funny, you're like, you're ah! Like that. 
uh, or you go to stand and you're like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, coming up tomorrow, my goodness me, very, very, very excited about the launch of. Um, it's the X Tool launch that will engrave pretty much anything. Um, not just in in literature either. Debs, you're amazing as always. You know I love you. Thank you, and I love you. When are you back? Monday! Yay! That's me again. I know, sorry. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Drive safe then. Thank you. Um, do you know what we've got coming up on Monday? Clearance, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, the clearance deal. Woohoo! Oh, no, oh, no. Might not be. Oh, okay. Might not be. There's a few little items... We'll let you know. Anyway, I'm <laughs> back with you tomorrow. Sorry, I've got the 20 seconds, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Um, X tool coming up tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Deal of the day. It's going to be absolutely amazing, jewelry makers. Happy 14th birthday, you lovely lot. And I'll see you bright and early. Bye. Happy 14th birthday, jewelry maker. Thanks to all the customers for all your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, jewellery maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future.